Hello everybody, welcome back to another Microsoft Flight Simulator live stream. I hope you're all doing well. Happy Saturday, my friends. Um, I don't know why the thumbnail, you are all wrong. Yes, you are right, correct, I am going to say that. I don't know why the thumbnail is showing up the way that it is. If you look here on my streaming services right here, this beautiful thing here, you can see thumbnail is set to LaGuardia, to Detroit, over to LaGuardia. I don't know why YouTube is uh, deciding to be the way that it is this morning. That is okay. We're filled with all kinds of YouTube problems this week. So, um, yes, anyways, every, everything that I can possibly do is out of my control. I've set the proper thumbnail. I don't know why uh, YouTube is not showing the proper thumbnail. Uh, even in, like, the sponsored link that I sent to any builds, it's still showing up as uh, this, MPTO. Um, I can try and edit it. Uh, let me see if I share this. Uh, copy... And then if I come in here and I edit this and I go like this and I put this and then I hit enter, mm, nope, still the same thing. Let me try and remove this altogether like that. Okay. And then I'm going to edit it and then I'm going to add this into the end like that. And then I'm going to do that. Nope. Still the same thing. So I don't know what's going on. Sometimes YouTube likes to carry over thumbnails. It, it can do weird stuff. So, um, anyways, it's okay. We're here. We're doing, uh, what is the thumbnail on YouTube showing? That's more importantly, like, is it showing when you go to click on a video? Is it showing, uh, view your channel? Let's see. Yeah. See, so if you go to my channel, it's showing the proper thumbnail which is really weird. I don't know why on the random link uh, or on the, the share link that it's not showing that. Caleb, 13 months. 
Appreciate you, man. Hope all is well. Thank you very much for 13 months as a first class member. Says United States Ops. You got it, my friend. Yes, sir. Some United States Ops. I've noticed a bug on this airplane, though. We definitely don't. Spirit doesn't offer Wi Fi, do they? There's no way Spirit offers uh, Wi Fi. So that's really weird. Uh, weather is looking spicy. Yep. Is this LaGuardia scenery good? Uh, no, not really. If I'm being 100% honest with you, Tanush, uh, it's unfortunately the only LaGuardia that we have right now. So, yeah. On the channel, it's correct, but on YouTube, home screen, it's showing the wrong one. Yeah, so there, not much I can do when YouTube's out to lunch. I don't know what's going on. So, yeah. Thumbnail on my page was the Avianca Ops. Okay, so it looks like half is going for half people. Anyways, hopefully people are reading the title and not noticing that we're not uh, uh, going in. Um Dominic, thank you very much for 15 months. It's getting closer to that 24 months. Also, can't wait to see you at FSE and Lost Wages. Should be a good one, man. Definitely looking forward to that. It's going to be a great, great week down in Las Vegas. Uh, can't make Detroit jokes today since that's where we're actually going. Exactly. We're going to uh, Detroit finally after uh, our little uh, mishap. When was that? A couple of, had to have been... Well, months ago, at least, a month or two ago. Um, thumbnail on my homepage was Avianca Ops. Okay, well, weird. Like I said, man, I, I've, I've done everything on my end. I, I can't I can't control what YouTube is, is putting out there. So I just, uh, yeah, I've done the thumbnail. I've done everything that I'm supposed to do. So you're about to land into LaGuardia. Nice, very cool. Wish they would update the Charlotte scenery and another developer would come out with one. Um, instead of Feel There, don't we have other... I thought we had other Charlotte scenery besides Feel There. Yeah, obviously Feel There, in my opinion, is probably a, like a D-tier a D developer. Uh, if I'm being 100% honest with you, maybe sometimes they're a C-tier developer, but most of the time you're getting like D. You're getting like a, a 3 or a 4 out of 10 uh, from these guys. That Not really. You can tell that they're more so doing it for uh, a paycheck or, or for, for, some, for some quick little income. Um, they don't put a lot of work. They don't put a lot of detail in their scenery. They're very just bland, kind of just meh, you know? So, uh, FSDT Charlotte, <clears throat> that's the one you should be getting. I knew I knew somebody else did a Charlotte, yeah. So, uh, feel there, I don't think they do Charlotte. It's FSDT, maybe he's thinking of a different airport, but. Emirates Aviation, good to see you, my friend. Welcome back, hope you're doing well. Uh, I'm having a good day. Can we sell those dirty engines a little closer? Livery looks good, dirty. Uh, I don't know if it's good or dirty. I don't know, I just downloaded it off of... Uh, um, the Phoenix livery manager, they have three or four spirit liveries that you can choose. They have like mismatched engines, which is kind of cool. It's like different cowlings on the engines. So instead of it, like saying spirit.com, they're like mismatched and stuff like that. That's pretty cool. I like that one. Um, <coughs> looking forward to the return leg. Hopefully runway one, three will remain in use. That way we can do the river visual one, three. We'll be joining for the return leg. Happy Saturday cap and chap cam. Good to see you, my friend. Welcome back. Hopefully the weather persists, man. We've got some pretty nasty weather inbound here to New York city. Uh, if I turn on the little weather tab here, if I remember how to do this map, uh, nope. Uh, weather up here, dir, right in my face. Yeah. We've got some pretty nasty stuff rolling into the New York area. Um, you can see it's pushed out of Detroit, so hopefully Detroit's nice. Looks like it will be probably on our descent down into Detroit. We actually pass right by Toronto. Um, but the return flight back into LaGuardia, I'm assuming all of this is probably going to be pushed over there by that time, maybe up into Connecticut, so that'll be interesting for the return flight. Um, but yeah, Spirit has fast, cheap Wi-Fi. Okay, they do. Interesting. I didn't know if they uh, they offered. I figured being a, a, a UL... Uh, CC ultra low cost carrier that uh, they wouldn't be offering any type of Wi-Fi or anything like that. So that's cool. Uh, Whitestone or Flushing departure cap. Uh, we're departing out of runway one three. We'll have to take a look. See, I, I haven't planned anything yet, Tony. Um, we're going to be on the uh, uh, going to be on the LaGuardia seven departure, and honestly, it looks like we're probably going to go with the. I mean, the best one would be the Masspeth climb. Uh, we could do flushing as well. But I'd really like, I mean, we never turn right. We always get the left turn out. Uh, we'll probably do the flushing, the flushing climb, and then we'll go out like that around. We should get a beautiful view of uh, Manhattan, as long as we're not up in the clouds by the time we get that. But yeah, we'll do a left turn out. We'll do the flushing climb. Um, 
probably makes the most sense for that. Uh, I'm going to pin that, actually. We'll leave that right there. Beautiful. Cool. Um, <clears throat> how long will the flight be? It's about an hour and 15 minutes, an hour and 20 minutes over to Detroit, and then the return flight, uh, probably a little bit shorter because we're going to have a little bit of tailwind for the return flight. Windsor 30012, gusting 21. That'll be fun. 10-mile uh, visibility broken at 15, overcast at 2,000. Wow. Okay, so the weather is not looking good <laughs> into Detroit. So there we go. Um Beautiful, cool. So, friends, welcome aboard. Obviously, doing some spirit ops today. If the thumbnail is uh, uh, not being true to the to the, to uh, to where we are, because it's weird. Even in Discord, it's not showing up. It's it's going as the Avayanka ops. I don't know why it it's not. I don't know, man. Super weird. YouTube can be very, very, very weird sometimes. I don't know why it's not showing up as the proper thumbnail. I'll hopefully after the stream uploads it'll be the proper thumbnail and i can go and put that into the discord and uh, i hope people aren't joining because they think we're doing more uh south american ops because uh today's gonna be a lot of fun man always a blast in and out of new york um i have done one thing though with the simulator um i have removed <clears throat> jfk and i have removed newark so that's what i'm going to start doing every time we fly into new york or we're planning to do some new york ops I'm going to remove the other New York airports that we're not flying into during that day. Uh, performance seems to be much better. Much, much, much better. Um, so if you are struggling with performance in New York like I have been doing, um, I can suggest, like I said, remove some of the scenery that you're not flying into. So right now I don't have uh, JFK installed and I don't have um, Newark installed either, EWR. So uh, that is the... Uh, that is. Uh, the plan moving forward, and I will do so. Uh, we obviously got a huge update for JFK as well from Anybuilds, which we're going to plan to fly out of tomorrow. We're going to do some JetBlue Ops out of uh, JFK. So you know, alternatively, I'm going to remove the LaGuardia, and I'll keep the um, <coughs> I'll keep the uh, Newark scenery uninstalled as well. Um, so hopefully that's better on performance. Hopefully it just makes the whole experience flying into New York a little bit smoother because I've had issues, uh, especially with JFK, with these two other airports loading in as well. Um, all right, friends, let's go ahead and jump inside the aircraft. Let's get this bad boy programmed, ready to rock and roll. Again, about an hour and 15 minutes, hour 20 minutes into Detroit um, this afternoon. So let's get this bad boy programmed, ready to rock and roll. You can see my frames in the bottom right corner. Considering we're in New York, um, we're averaging around the high 50s and stuff. We'll see if it maintains that way once we get everything powered on and we actually start taxiing. But uh, like I said, I did a few tests here and there, and and, and so far it's been it's been pretty good. Uh, Captain Lee, good to see you, man. Welcome back. Hope you're doing well. Johan, I don't know what's going on, man. Uh, plan for tomorrow is out of uh, we're gonna do some jet blue ops out of uh, JFK. I don't know exactly where we're going quite yet. Um, but we will be doing some jet blue out of JFK. I'm thinking we do like a single flight. I was thinking, thinking, I'm not quite sure if this is my plan, but I was thinking maybe JFK to Nassau. I think that would be a lot oh, of fun. Snap. So yeah. I got that two years badge. Oh, no baby. Way. It looks smexy. It Glad looks to be back smexy. regularly, CPT. Huge no floaties to you, Captain Lee. Thank you very much for the $5 donation. I appreciate you, man. Huge no floaties, dude. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Incredibly kind, man. Truly do appreciate that. Thank you for the continued support of the channel, my friend. Uh, Dan Barry is here. Mr. Mopar is here. Bomb Tech is here. Good to see you, man. Kimberly, good to see you as well. Uh, it's not YouTube's problem. It's Dan's fault. We could blame Dan. I mean, it is Saturday afternoon. It could be Dan's fault. Uh, battery switch one and two to the on position. Beautiful. It's going to bring the aircraft to life. We'll go ahead and engage the external power. Wonderful. Let's go deers left side, right side, and center. Get all those to the nav position. We'll continue our flows. Crew supply, sorry, cap and purrs, cap can get on. We'll go and get our crew uh, ground control on. Crew supply can come on. Nav and logo lights are on. APU master start switch is on. We'll get our no smoking to the auto position and emergency exits are armed. Beautiful. Let's come down here to the electronic flight bag. We're going to hit our Phoenix tab. We're going to import from that. We can see LaGuardia over to DTW. It says 34 minutes because I filed about an hour and a half ago. Um, cool. It was two years yesterday. That's so satisfying. The new badge looks hot. It looks great, man. The golden maple leaf. Now you have to get to your platinum and diamond maple leaf. So diamond is in another two years. Platinum is another year. So very cool. JFK to YVR. Mm, it's a little bit long for a Sunday, Jerome. <clears throat> I would like to do that one again, but it's a little bit long uh, for, for a Sunday. Um, okay, cool. Let's go to our 
uh, ground services. I'm going to open up those doors. We're going to go to Mass and Balance. Uh, we've got 168 passengers over to Detroit this afternoon. We've got 2,500 kilograms of uh, cargo, and we've got 7,600 kilograms of fuel. Looks like we have 9,500 in the tanks right now, which is a little bit weird, but we're going to go load aircraft. We're going to go GSX, and hopefully GSX can do all Captain that stuff. Lee. Great timing, practicing using my new rudder pedals, which has been a challenge since I did not have one before, but I think I'm getting the hand of it. Nice. Have a great flight. Huge no floaties to you, Cal. Thank you very much for the $3 donation. I appreciate that, man. Huge, huge, huge no floaties. Thank you very, very much for your support, man. Really do appreciate that. Hey, Cap, what about JFK to TNCM? Again, we just flew into St. Martin not that long ago. I love to keep St. Martin as like a... Um, uh, it's a little bit of a special airport. I don't like overuse of flying into there. Um, we will do some more Caribbean ops. I do want to go. Um, it's been a while since we've been down to uh, TJSJ. So there's 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 places that I want to go down there. But um, yeah, we just did St. Martin like a couple weeks ago. So a little bit. Uh, I'd rather do like NASA or something like that. So uh, Jerome, 12 months. Thank you very much, man. One year. Huge no floaties to you. Thank you very much for support. I really do appreciate that, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Incredibly kind. Really do appreciate you, man. All right, cool. <clears throat> They're doing their thing. We're waiting for the baggage loaders. Fuel trucks are already here. I mean, whew, lightning fast in the JFK today. They ain't messing around. Lightning fast in JFK. We're only refueling. Like, we only need like a thousand, literally a thousand kilograms of fuel. So this should be pretty quick. I don't know why I was saying 9,000 earlier, but anyways, I'm showing 6,600 now. Uh, so we're literally getting a thousand kilograms of fuel. So that should be pretty simple and easy. Uh, we'll set our barometric pressure, 3012, good. Let's come down here, we'll spend some time on the McDo. We'll go to our knit ref tab, we're gonna do our knit request. Uh, call sign today is Spirit Wings, what are we, 794. Spirit Wings 794, we'll throw that into there, beautiful. Um, we can go to our flight plan page, LaGuardia, departures, we're planning runway 13. If we have a look-see at the weather here, we can see weather into LaGuardia. Winds are 110, 15 gusting 21 into LaGuardia. So it looks like those winds have made their way down here from Detroit. Uh, gusty winds. We are going to plan runway 13 for departure. That is the closest one. Uh, we are going to be on the... I think it's the tennis that we need to take then. If we can't take the LaGuardia out of runway 13, uh, I think it's the tennis that we're looking for. So let me go to charts and it is the tennis six arnav yeah that's the one we want okay so we'll take the tennis six departure that will be the one that we're expecting good uh there is no uh transition and we'll just go ahead and insert that it's going to be radar vectors direct gale on course good into detroit this afternoon um detroit live weather three zero zero twelve gusting 21 uh spicy let's see what arrivals we have now did they land on the two sevens chat or is it is it detroit and it's way too busy so they're always landing on the two twos or the two ones obviously with winds three zero zero twelve gusting 21 i would prefer to take runway two seven i don't even know where are we parking where do they park this aircraft uh where do you park ba -ba -ba. Um, okay, let me see where they park, and then we can kind of figure that out. They go... That doesn't really tell me anything. Um, yeah, so they go all the way up top here. They, they park up here onto, uh, over up onto Echo, like up into here. Um, two seven right would be ideal for the winds. It would be a little bit better. It would be almost like a 30 degree instead of like a 90 degree crosswind. Uh, 12 gusting 21 on a crosswind. I don't even want to know what's going to happen to the airplane. Um, yeah. Uh, they are landing 2-1 left IRL. Yeah, but we don't... You know what? Listen, man. I, I've noticed a few things. That, I'm going to be honest with you, chat. I've watched uh, over my last two days that I was off. Um, you don't have to repeat yourself, Tunish. I see you, man. You just repeated it three times in about 30 seconds. Just give me a second, man. Give me a second. I'll read chat. You know I read chat, so don't need to constantly repeat it and repeat it. Um, with no ATC online into Detroit, um, and the way that this airplane acts with crosswinds, um, 
I'm, I'm, I'm looking like I'm going to be taking runway 2-7 right for the approach. I understand real life. They're landing 2-1s and 2-2s. That's fine. That's real life. We're not real life right now. Um, if there's no ATC online, I'm probably going to take 2-7 right just because the wind factors. Um, watched a couple streams over my last two days. Uh, more importantly, I watched uh, I watched Flight Deck to Sim fly, and he was having a nasty crosswind into Barcelona, and, and he kept on repeating that the way that the aircrafts and the way that the winds interact within Microsoft Flight Simulator are not realistic at all to the behavior of what they do on the aircraft. Um, same as V1. Uh, V1 was streaming, I think, when was it? Probably on Thursday, uh, I think Thursday afternoon, V1 was streaming. And same thing, he was coming into Orlando and he had like a, I don't know what it was, like a 15 or a 17 gusting uh, crosswind and he was coming in on, on one of the runways and he ended up like landing Remember that these are real world pilots, so like I'm gonna trust what they're saying. He ended up landing almost off the runway to the right because the wind counteracted the airplane in the, the wrong direction that it should have when the wind hit the aircraft. Anyways, crosswind landings in this simulator are very, very subjective um, is what I'm more so getting at, especially as I'm learning from like the real world pilots of how the aircraft behaves under these cer certain circumstances. Um, so if I can avoid getting crazy crosswinds, <clears throat> I'm going to do my best to do so. So uh, with the winds 300, 12 gusting 21, yes, I understand that they're landing 2-2 two and 2-1s in real life. We're going to play in 2-7, right? Because guess what? We're in a simulator and we can do that. So I'm going to expect ILS 2-7, right? I don't care if you guys want to land on the other things. That's perfectly fine. I, I, I'm not going to shame you or think any differently if you want to attempt one of those crosswinds we've done a ton of crosswinds recently so uh we're just going to land make make it a little bit easier and land on the two sevens um with that we're going to be on the feral two arrival so we'll select that one good uh we want the jackie transition that is correct as well and we're going to go to our approach vias today and i think we want it via friends <clears throat> we're going to have a quick little look at that let's go to approach and we go two seven right uh, we'll pin that right here. Good. ILS 27 right. And if we look, see, you can see it from friends. And we're actually going to be flying over Canada. We're going to see a beautiful view of Windsor uh, and fly right over on the approach, actually. It's pretty cool. There's the, the border between Canada and the U.S. So cool approach into 27 as well. And we'll take it via friends. So we'll go ahead and insert that. Beautiful. Um, I think they're done with the, oh shit, yeah, okay, fueling's already done, we're just getting the couple, uh, the baggage on board, passengers are boarded up as well, got 101 passengers left to board up, but other than that, we're looking good, so that's going to be the plan for today, we'll leave that like that, um, it's a $60 simulator, of course, of course, I, I'm not, I'm not, like, shaming Microsoft at all, I'm just saying, like, oh, I've always thought that the crosswind component, and not even so much the crosswind component, just the actual wind component in this simulator. Listen, man, this is a huge aircraft. There's no way that six knots of like wind would push the airplane the way that it does in the simulator. I've always said this, um, when you're flying these bigger jets, I feel the way that Microsoft does this is it, it injects wind the exact same way that it would inject it if you're flying like a Cessna 172. Um, to me, there's no difference the way that the wind characteristics feel between flying a GA and flying like an actual jet in the simulator. Um, and that's one thing that I really hope gets fixed for Microsoft 2024 is just that the wind reaction on these bigger aircraft should not, you know, a six knot wind should not be pushing an A320 the same way that it pushes a Cessna 172, right? And that makes sense. Um, so that's kind of like the big thing and some of the things that I hope get fixed for 2024. Um, again, I don't fly in the real world, uh, but uh, all I can do is listen to the real world guys like V1 and Flight Tech to Sam and both of them concurrently have have said that the the wind components are are very off the aircraft does not feel like that even with like a 15 knot crosswind or something like that you know um so yeah hey cap can i log off at summit cruise and rejoin before descent uh during a long haul of course arc yeah no problem with that man yep if you're going to step away from your computer i actually think that they suggest that you do that you disconnect and, and you reconnect when you're back at your computer you know uh sf what's up man good to see you dude welcome back doing some spirit ops today out of LaGuardia. 
over to Detroit. Should be a lot of fun. Uh, I thought it was just me having ugly crosswind approaches. I swear uh, I was a pro on X-Plane. It's, it's done very differently, Sean. Very, 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 very differently in this simulator. Um, like I said, man, to me it just feels like the, the wind component is just through the roof. It shouldn't, like I said, it, it shouldn't react the way that it reacts with like a six knot wind or something like that, right? Just doesn't make very much sense. Uh, best private jet for Microsoft or X-Plane 12? <clears throat> Harry, great question, I don't know. Chat will probably be able to answer that better than I will. Um, I don't know, I, I don't know which one would be better. Um, True, I've always felt that they were off every time I face strong crosswinds in Microsoft. Great uh, to have it confirmed. Yeah, absolutely, man. Absolutely. Tower is online. Did Tower jump on? Uh, yes, it looks like we have LaGuardia Tower on 18.7. Hopefully this isn't a clusterfuck and everybody's trying to call for clearance. 18.7. We'll bump that over to them now. Uh, you're right, Captain. Taft for LaGuardia for the time of our arrival doesn't look promising. Uh, 12014, gusting 23, 5 mile visibility, rain. Yeah, it's going to be uh, nasty. Nasty. Yeah. Do you ever feel like going back to X Plane 12? Uh, not really, Eduardo. No. Especially now that I've lost my ortho hard drive. My hard drive got corrupt. It stores all of my ortho. 7.2 terabytes of ortho has been destroyed, basically. Um, so, no. Now I really don't want to go. Yeah. Um, have you had the chance to ride on the McNamara Terminal Train yet? Uh, no. Never been to LaGuardia in real life. Never been to New York in real life. Uh, it's on my bucket list. Tony and I have been planning about... I'm going to go for a weekend, but I, I swear I'm going to just burst with all the food that we want to eat while I'm there. So, bigger aircrafts in the future as soon as we get them, man. As soon as we get them, dude. I don't know if you've been paying attention, but the... Uh, the, the third-party market for Microsoft is pretty stale, man. Uh, we're currently awaiting all kinds of add-ons to release. We've got the 777 from PMDG. We've got the MD-11 from TFDI, which, by the way, chat, yesterday they sent me over my NDA contract, which means, fingers crossed, that I should be getting the MD-11 soon. Now that the NDA is signed and it is over to them, so an NDA, obviously, if you don't know what that means, stands for a non-disclosure non agreement, it means that I'm not allowed to talk about anything until they tell me that I'm allowed to talk about it. So uh, hopefully I'll be flying the MD-11 in my off time, kind of learning the aircraft, learning the systems. It's been a while since we've flown an MD-11. Um, and hopefully, fingers crossed, <clears throat> pardon me, fingers crossed, um, we get the airplane sooner than later and I can start creating content for you guys with it. So we'll have to wait and see for that one. I was at DTW. It's a Terminal 2. They have their own interior train uh, and one in between. Ah, never been to Detroit either. So there you go. Cool. Very cool. Nope, I didn't know that that was a thing, man. My apologies. Greg, what's up, man? Good to see you, dude. Welcome back. I hope you're doing well. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, we want the 777, not an MD-11. I mean, I'll take both, to be honest with you. I'd love to do some, like, Lufthansa Cargo MD-11 overnight flights and stuff. Dude, that'd be badass. Yeah. Hey, Cap, my TCA side stick is a bad delay after the Phoenix B2. Any idea why? Uh, no. I don't know why it would be doing that. It shouldn't affect anything to do with the aircraft or add a delay. The only thing I can think of is performance. Uh, maybe try using alternate rendering displays in the Phoenix app before you launch the simulator. Maybe that's causing it. There's like some input lag or something on the aircraft. I know some people have had to do that, so yeah. Looking for the uh, forward to the MD-11 cargo over overload. Yes, absolutely. It's going to be badass, man. 380 will be cool if slash when that releases. It definitely will release. I, I'm kind of mute about that, to be honest with you, man. I just don't do crazy long-haul flights. And really, I know Emirates sends the, sends the 380 on like shorter flights and stuff like that. But for the most part, those are like ultra long-haul aircraft, right? So, yeah. Agreed. I want both. In fact, I'm waiting for the MD-11 so I can start doing FedEx ops with it. Yes, absolutely. Two terminal trains that have been between two terminals. They uh, have, I meant, it's nice having one, getting used to uh, it again this summer. I think most major airports have, like, trams or services between the different terminals, right? Um, I love the way that Tampa Bay Airport, you have, like, your main hub, and then they have little trains that run to all the little satellites and terminals and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. Uh, Tampa's a great airport. If you've never been to Tampa, it's, it's laid out quite well. <coughs> GSX will take an hour to load the 380. <sighs> I don't even want to know, man. Yeah. 
Right dog, what's up, man? Good to see you, dude. Welcome back. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, I'm more so looking forward to like the triple seven, the A220, the Q400. I personally am more of like an hour to two hour flight type of guy. That's what I prefer. I prefer getting up, hanging out at cruise for a little bit, and then starting our descent. Um, I don't like sitting for very long when we're doing flights and stuff like that. So I'm I'm looking forward to a little bit more of the medium to regional guys. Yeah. If looking for some shorter FedEx MD11 real world ops, they have short routes out of Memphis for the sim. Of course, David. Yeah, absolutely, man. Absolutely. Um, okay, cool. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and jump inside the aircraft. We're basically fully boarded. We're just waiting for the last couple passengers to get on board. You can see here we've got 11 passengers left to board, uh, but everything else is pretty much good to go. Let's come down here. We're going to go to our ground services. I'm going to close those two doors. Beautiful. Let's go to the overhead. We're going to spool up the APU now as well while we're sitting here on the ground just so everything's ready to go. Uh, we do have ETC. I've, I've been listening and I'm pretty sure it's been a clusterfuck. So we'll listen to the ETC here quickly and we'll go ahead and grab our IFR clearance. I got our tower. Good uh, afternoon. Spirit Wing 734 with uh, ATIS information. Bravo. IFR to Detroit. <clears throat> Frederick, 734 hours. Guardian Tower, hello, Grants coming up online. You can contact M124.9 or see you in a minute. Alright, 121 decimal 7 for ground. And, uh, just to check, uh, this is Cluster Cluster fuck has uh, commenced, fucking, check. Uh, <clears throat> 1564. A school's a 380 is, and AN225 is next level. That startup procedure is mental. Uh, I mean, if that's what you're into, sure. For me, nah. I'm not really, uh, I'm not really into that, to be honest with you. But again, if, if that's what you're into and that's what you enjoy, nothing wrong with that, man. For me personally, when it takes 45 minutes to just start up the engines on an aircraft, that's where I'm a little bit like, mm, I could live without this. I like my, I like my, uh, I like my nice Negative modern two two aircraft, two two you know? Two I like that. Shark, Starting to look back and explain 12 again because a lot of the stuff, like the wind components and generally more variety in add-ons. Um, yes and no, Eduardo. For, for add-ons airplanes, sure. There's definitely uh, a, a bigger list, but I, I also feel like within the next within the next six months to a year, that's going to be completely different. There's going to be more airplanes and more variety for Microsoft. So, again, we're just playing the patience, man. Just the waiting game right now. The work to fun ratio gets out of hand with those planes. I would agree. Yes, but again, everybody is a different, right, Mike? Everybody has a different. Maybe that's what people look for in the simulator, right? People want to get in. They want to spend an hour setting things up, and, and you know, so yeah. Yeah, that's how they want. Ground to low spirit ring 734, ATIS information, Bravo, IFR2, Detroit, please. <clears throat> spirit wing 734, LaGuardia ground, hello, no flight plan on file, please do file. God damn it, man. There's 100% a flight plan on file. Fucking hate this. Uh, we should have been out of here already. Instead, we're refiling flight plans. And 225 is different from other planes. Don't have it, but I enjoy seeing others fly that beast. It's it's a handful. We've and, done it uh, once. So it's uh, been an absolute... Good uh, afternoon, yeah. uh, love P3D for the clear, big airlines, but once I come to Microsoft, can't to, uh, see myself Washington going back. I would agree, 100%. Yeah. Cap, do you United think the wind component on how the plane interacts with Microsoft can be improved or uh, reacts realistically? Negative. I think so. Yeah, absolutely. Just like how they're changing the ground effect in Microsoft that. Flight Sim moving forward, I said uh, absolutely, yeah. Finally got the old Airways, uh, US Airways livery for Block 2, took V2 CFM out last night. Nice improvements. They are great. Yeah, they are very nice. They are very nice. And ground spring ring 734, you should have that now. Spring 734, still no flight plan, sorry. I filed it three times, man, so I, I don't know what's going on. Try disconnecting, reconnecting. <sighs> I'm about to just disconnect and depart. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Requesting uh, IFR clearance to uh, Dallas International. United 1291. Wait. Clearance on request, stand by. Am I saying this might be me? Am I saying 7.30? Hold on a second. Never mind, chat. This is 100% on me. 100% on me. 100% on me, chat. No problem. Um, cleared Tunis departure. Okay. Shh, this is me, chat. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. 
I don't want to hear it. It's Saturday. Leave me alone. <laughs> this is my fault, chat. <laughs> I don't want to hear it. Uh, ground, uh, Spear Ring 794, that was definitely on me. Did you just send a PDC? No problem, I just got it. Thanks, man. Uh, shh. Wasn't me, man. Wasn't me. I might have fat fingered and connected as a different call sign onto the client. And that's why he was saying he couldn't see me. Because, uh, yeah. Um, okay. He is going to send that to me now, I think. I don't know. I think he gave me the, the clearance. Anyways, it's exactly what we what we planned. Uh, 1961, the Squawk is uh, 2266. One by five. 2266. Okay, good. Good. Go on and on. Like, I knew it wasn't going crazy. I was like, I, listen, man, I, I knew that I had already filed the flight plan. Wings, That's why I was just like, what the hell? As Davis says, uh, it affects the brain. One, Three, Not mad, Bravo, just disappointed. <laughs> nice. If you bleed is on, good. External power is coming off. Fuel pumps uh, are on. Seatbelt signs uh, are coming uh, on. Red beacon light goes on. We are ready for push and start, my amigos. That should get the ground crew moving here. GPU should get disconnected. Does it all automatically now through GSX. I actually really, really like the integration uh, with the aircraft through GSX and the tablet now. It's uh, it's pretty cool, man. It is definitely pretty cool. Uh, let's go to our departure performance now. Actually, sorry, I lied to you. We're going to go back to the Phoenix tab here for a quick little second. We're going to go to our mass and balance. <clears throat> and we're going to send all those numbers down to the MCDU. There we go. If we go to our NIT B page now, we should see 60.0. 31.6, 7.6 on the fuel, good. Initial cost index will be five and we're going up to 36,000 feet today. Uh, flight level 360, beautiful. That's all plugged in, that looks great. Init B is all done now. Now we can go over performance data. <clears throat> we'll grab some numbers here on the departure performance. So we'll go up here to departure performance. LaGuardia, we are departing on 13. Surface conditions are dry for right now. We'll do a flaps one departure. Force toga no, anti-ice off, packs on, sync load sheet, sync live weather, calculate V-speeds, 37, 40, 41, one slash down, 0 0.2, 55 on the flex temp. We're going to send all that data over to the MIC do, and then we're looking for 1020 across the board. So 1020 slash 1020, get that up into there, and then we're going with 1020 on this guy as well. And Beautiful. 794, LaGuardia ground, do you still need that PDC? Uh, I have a PDC. I don't know if you sent it or if it was just sent by the tower controller earlier, but you can send me another one if you'd like. I've got squawk of 2266, if that's good. Yeah, that's all right. All right, cool. We'll just keep this one. And uh, LaGuardia Ground United 1291. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, cleared to the 10 6, climb to the departure. Expect 36010 minutes after. Okay, Your so the 10 6 departure is. Top altitude, 5,000 feet. So we'll get 5,000 feet plugged in. Good. And there is the tow. They're doing their thing. We should be able to uh, continue pushback. And we're going to go nose right facing echo. Apron, good. Park break is released. Dell Samson, eight months. Huge enough floaties to you, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Incredibly kind. Really do appreciate it, man. The new G GSX integration is awesome. With wish the PMGG would do the same. Me too. Yeah. A three ten and you on March sixteenth. No, whenever the, whenever the new sim update is coming. <coughs> Pardon me. I think it's the twenty sixth. Twenty sixth of March is when that's coming out. All right. Let's pull up engine number two. Delta fifteen. Enjoy. Delta sixteen sixty two. Where are you going, man? Uh oh. Are you this is where are you going, man? Uh, negative. I told you to hold short of runway 22. JJ, what's up, man? Good to see you, dude. Welcome back. Yeah, on top of... The scenery looks very default. Ground markings and jetways are bad. Correct. That is welcome to, uh, welcome to feel their scenery, man. Yeah, they don't do a lot of work. That's what I was saying earlier before. This is why I can't really suggest any of the feel their sceneries. They use a lot of default, basic, bare-bone assets. Um, no custom ground markings, no custom runways, no custom uh, ground, jet uh, Delta, bridges, uh, nothing. Bravo, uh, ready to tell nothing. You, you don't uh, get any of that with field air scenery, which is why, I, again, I, I find it, I find it very difficult for me to suggest that people spend their hard-earned money on field air scenery. It's just not very good. Yeah. Um, 
Four words no one wants to hear on ETC. Where are you going? Correct. Yes. Park brake is set. All right, looks like we got a good start on engine number two. Let's go ahead and spool up engine number one. Enjoy. New York Center is online. Nice. Very cool. Yeah. 737 900 worth the money. I'm thinking about that. Uh, I mean, if you want to fly a 900, it is for sure. If you don't own any of the other PMDGs, it's great. It's right up in line with the other ones. So. Did I miss something? Is Sim Update 15 delayed? Uh, no, I think it's coming out on March 26th with the re was the release date, I believe. Hey, Cap, just got home from training, landing a 172 and 20 knot crosswind was a good way to stay awake. There you go. Very cool, Wayne. Very cool. Almost the same as tower there. So that's what they do, Average Beaver, actually. In case you didn't know, that is exactly what they do. They use the exact same assets between, uh, between Tower 3D Pro and Microsoft Flight Simulator. They, they literally use the same assets. That's why the airports look so shit. That's why the airport terminal looks like it came out of FSX. Like that does not look good. I don't know how much they charge for the scenery, but... Yeah. No bueno. No bueno. Um, okay. Two good engines. Engine mode selector to the off position. Ground spoilers. Armed. Flap set. Position one. Uh, predictive wind shear system on and to auto. Auto brakes over to max RTO. APU comes off. APU bleed comes off. Beautiful. Uh, we need a trim value of down 0.2. There we go, down 0 0.2, beautiful. Good, cap the flare law is the same with other aircraft as it is with 320. Like cutting the power back, etc. does it still differ? Uh, depends, Mike. You don't want to do that on like a, a GA, like a smaller airplane. It also depends on your airspeed. There's so many things, Mike, that it depends on too, right? So, yeah. Is there a 25% discount on any builds JFK? There is right now, yes. We're gonna be flying out of there tomorrow. Yes, yes, yes. Block time, fuck. Yes, no problem, block time is on. Ground Spirit Wing 794, ready to taxi, runway 13. 794, LaGuardia Ground, hello, runway 13, taxi, yeah, double bravo, papa. Double bravo, papa, Spirit Wing 794. BB, papa. All right, and we'll have a quick look at our charts here so we don't mess anything up. Uh, double bravo. Double bravo to papa. All right, double bravo left onto papa. Good. Let's do it. Park brakes off. <clears throat> Nose light comes on. If you have not showing a bug, you got to use the layout generator to drop the JSON file to fix it. Uh, if you have the not showing bug, I don't, I don't even know what that is, sir. I'm going to pretend like I know what you're talking about. United 1291, the Guardian, I have your clearance advisor ready to copy. All right, Bravo Bravo United should be this side here. It should be Bravo Bravo. All right, we'll be looking out for that PDC. I appreciate the update? It. What do you mean the update? Shouldn't you just update it via your any builds launcher? I'm very confused, JJ. I'm sorry, man. Very, very, very confused. I'm going to pretend like I know exactly what you're talking about. Yes. Takeoff config test is done. Good. Ding the cabin. Good. Done as well. Beautiful. We're taking off now. See you in Detroit. Sounds good, mate. When you update the airport, it's not showing up in the sim. Interesting. I guess on. Interesting. Hey, look the ground. Good afternoon. Uh, just and the fix, they have posted the, the fix for now. Got you. Okay. Jet Blue 399, the Guardian ground. Hello, expect DDC. Cabin is now secured for takeoff. You guys still can't hear that, but I promise you that you just told me that the cabin crew is. Yeah. Just realized you're streaming. Sorry for blowing up your DMs. Not like we don't stream on a on a Saturday afternoon or anything, right? <laughs> Get the free one for LaGuardia. It looks the same, and it's got better terminals. Hmm, interesting. Okay. 
I might have to take a look at that. We just had a Walker Air arrive. Next left is going to be on Papa. <clears throat> Get the free... Sorry, I got that one. You have to download the layout generator to fix it. Pretty easy. Takes 10 seconds. Okay, if I'm having issues, thank you, JJ. I was very confused what you were saying initially. Thank you. Airwing 794, contact tower 118.7. Have a great flight. 18.7. Thanks for ATC, dude. We'll see you soon. See ya. All right, out here should be Papa. Next left onto Papa. Delta We're turning over to Tower now. Mr. Javi, uh, good to see you, my friend. Welcome. Hope all is well. Yeah, that Delta 1662, that track should be moving now. Monsieur Javi. Hope you're ready to hear that for a full week in Vegas. Monsieur Javi. Tower, hello. Spare wing 794, holding short uh, 13. Rydog, 61 months. Incredible. We are ready for departure, Spirit Wing 794. Spirit Wing 794, at 15, goes to 113, clear for takeoff, out of 10 6. 113, cleared for takeoff, 10 to 6, Spirit Wing 794. All righty, chat. Let's go. It lights are all on. We're ready to rock and roll. Did ground crew verify that all the wheels are securely fastened for the plane? I saw that, man. Did you see that it like it crushed a car as well, parked at the airport? Imagine coming home from a trip and you go to your car and it's just been crushed by a wheel that fell off. Dude, I'd be so pissed off, man. Holy hell! That would be crazy. Uh, I missed your milestone. Gmark, 36 months, three years. I'll get to all of that after our departure, Gmark. Thank you for the support, my friend. All right. Uh, joystick cam is on. Sounds are up. Let's do it, friends. Swaddles to 40. Or about half. Good. Chrono comes on. Good. Let's go flying. Manflex 55, SRS runway, auto thrust, blue. Takeoff power set. Airspeed's live, slight yeah, nose down, yeah. pressure on the side stick. Disarmed. New York Center, 125325. Thanks for ETC. We'll see you soon. Spirit 794. 12532 for us. Flip that over. Into the clouds already at 3,000 feet. What's the uh, temperature? Plus six. Engine anti ice is on. Let's go flash clean. Correct, Y Dog. They don't. Yeah. New York Center, hello. Spearwing 794, 3,400, 10 to 6. Spearwing 794, uh, near departure, weather contact. Uh, climb maintain 1 to 12,000. 1 to 12,000, Spearwing 794. JetBlue 885, runway 13 left, clear land, the wind 12013. 12 left, clear land. 
can bring you back. All right, cool. Autopilot's coming on. Flight deck. United 5, contact Washington Center, 133.72. Good day. It's being weird. Lovely looking clouds today. They are. Yes. All right. United Nose like can come off. Wing lights can come off. Runway turnoffs can come off. Ground spoilers are disarmed. Beautiful. Can't see much out of there today. Very cloudy in New York. Very, very cloudy. And he should give us radar vectors direct gale any second now. Fingers crossed we get that. He might even send us to Mislin. Are the clouds default? Yes, they're just on ultra. Yeah. Just on ultra. Spear wing 794, turn left, proceed direct gale. Left turn direct to gale, spear wing 794. There it is, chat. Beautiful, left turn direct gale on course, passing through 7,500 feet. Give you a nice little wing view here. Us making the turn. Cap, do you think that you could get 2-2 two, two right yeah, for a while, uh, or, or stick with 2-7 right? Uh, I have no clue to do. Probably stick yeah, with 2-7. We'll it's, see. Uh, we'll see what the winds do. We'll see if we get ATC. If there's ATC online, they may switch us over. If there's no ATC, I'm going to take whatever is uh, whatever is easiest for me, whatever is best. Has there been an update to the FrameGen mod? I've installed it, but performance is not the same. Uh, 0 0.90, I believe, is the still the most recent FrameGen mod. 0 0.90. I think their longest flight is Newark to Oakland could handle that flight uh, being crammed into their seats without internet which is this one Spirit Wings is their longest one how do you avoid getting those bugs that make some of the parts blurry on the aircraft while using frame gen uh, it really depends on the airports that you're flying into and how much VRAM you have I still do suffer some of those problems sometimes it depends on the airports that we're flying in and out of all right, more moisture out there. We'll get those on. We're through 10,000 feet as well, so our landing lights can come off. Wonderful. And I'm going to keep the seatbelt signs on for now. Um, I'm going to keep the, the uh, seatbelt signs on until we get up above all this, this weather. I got my FSX uh, hotel changed. I'm with all the cool people now. Hey, nice, Mr. Javis. So you're at the Rio with us? Nice. Don't give Dan your room number. Unless you want midnight visits. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. For Spare Wings, it's the longest flight when I saw Frontier. It was hard on my knees. Hmm, interesting. Interesting. Tip blue 1127. Climb and maintain. <laughs> flight level 320. <laughs> I don't play Cavs games. Lies. Daniel makes the games. Spear wing 75, climb maintain 16,000. <laughs> I maintain 16,000, spear wing 75. Hopefully it gives us higher. He only cleared us to 12,000. You're tempted on FS Expo? We should, G-Mark. Okay, uh, missed some people here. Uh, G-Mark celebrating um, three years. Incredibly kind. Thank you very much, G-Mark. So it's finally have done it. 36 months. Thanks for the great community. Does this get me a jump seat on any upcoming flights? Yes. Correct. Huge no floaties to you, G-Mark. Thank you very much for the support, my friend. And we've got Rydog celebrating 61 months. This is five years strong. Blame Dan. Huge no floaties to you guys. Thank you for the support, G-Mark. Thank you for the support, uh, Rydog, as well. Appreciate you guys, man. Thank you very, very much for supporting the streams. Incredibly kind. Did Spirit finally go belly up? <clears throat> I don't think Spirit's going to go belly up, dude. Their merger with JetBlue got blocked. But I don't, uh, yeah. I'll give them uh, Mopar's room number. Yes. Correct. That is the right response. Does Rio come with cockroaches? Most likely. It's Las Vegas. One would think. I didn't give it to you already. Climbing team for level 360. Level 360. Thanks for wing 794. All right. 360. I don't think he gave it to us, but we're going to climb now. 36,000 feet. Let's go. On the up and up. On request, expect the PDC. American 67. Cross runway 22 right on Juliet. Thanks to be at Juliet and Alpha to the American Gate. Two, 
still not showing the right thumbnail. Center, so Bay, weird. I don't know why. I don't know why YouTube is not showing the right thumbnail Perfect for the stream. It's very odd. Uh, New York Center, two, uh, they were going to merge with JetBlue. They were, yes. There are also two very good apps out there, Auto FPS and Smooth Flight. They adjust TLOF and OL, uh, TLOD uh, to maintain FPS, designed mostly for VR guys, but some here could still benefit. 100%. Yeah. Do you know the 737 Max United landing gear collapse? Uh, I did see that, yeah. Three, two, zero. Jokes on you. I'll have all the good weed stored in my room. Y'all won't get shit. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right. Auto FPS is very good. I've heard great things about it. Yeah, heard great things. Can you hire for your Can we get the change over to advisory? I saw that, Jay Stevens. Pretty crazy, man. United Free Kitchen 2. After two, my apologies. After some change proof. Take change proof for Kitchen 2. Jump with 260 climb maintain by level 230. Yeah, there was a scorpion in his, like, uh, in his sleeping garments. Pretty crazy. Rear wing 75 climb maintain by level 220. Cap your miners, every single time you take off or land, I'm always doing the same so I can't watch. Sorry, Biles. Would you ever fly on a 737 MAX? Uh, I have, many times, yes. I've flown on Air Canada 737 MAX. Dan and I flew on a 737-900 MAX. Thankfully, no doors blew out, but Dan and I were on a MAX. Yeah. We were, we were. Engine anti-ice can come off. Good. Adrian, what's up, man? Good to see you, dude. Welcome back. Hope all's well. And climb and maintain. Let's do flight level 200 for now. All right, direct Biggie and Pooh Dooser on Delta 1662. 18,000 feet, standard barometric pressure. Uh, biohazard, what's up, man? Good to see you, dude. Welcome back. Hope you're doing well. Delta 1634, leave my airspace, Cleveland closed, frequency change approved. Happy frequency change approved. Saturday, my friend. JetBlue 1127, contact Washington. That was a great see ya, by the way. Whoever that was. Great to see ya. Alright, we are we Direct Gale. Over to the dark side, and, uh, I'm actually quite far north of Toronto. We do fly over Canada. Yeah, New York. For quite a bit of that. Uh, Delta 505, we're coming to You're on a, a max for six hours? That's, uh, yeah. Did you see the United Max 8 gear collapse at Bush and Houston yesterday morning and as they five, turned zero, uh, to exit five. the runway? I didn't see it, but I saw the pictures, JJ. Yeah. Five, zero, five, cross I feel like that's a one-off, though, one but zero, who knows, man. <laughs> With the Max zero, right now, zero, one, who one, really one. knows, dude? Zero, one, one, they could have found zero, another fault. Uh, I don't know what's going on with Boeing and the whole Max stuff right now, dude, but it is not looking good for them. If it wasn't for, like, government subsidies, I'm pretty sure they would be uh, DOA. I don't think that Boeing would be around anymore. That's just me, but I uh, I just don't see it, man. Delta 1662, climb maintain, flight level 3, Just don't zero. see it. There's your old Delta 1662. The max has to be uh, made out of Airline plastic. 794, if I didn't give it to you already, climb maintain, flight level 360. 360, we're on our way up. Thanks, Spearwing 794. Maybe the second or third time. Ecap, how are you, my fellow stoner? Quick lift, good to see you, man. Welcome back. Hope all is well, dude. Good to see you. Apparently, it, was, it has a runner issue that contributed to the incident in IAH. Well, if they were turning off the runway, they would have most likely been on nose wheel steering. I don't know how much the rudder would have played an issue with that one, but I don't know. I don't know, but the rudder wouldn't make a wheel fall off or their gear collapse, so I don't know about that one, but... Um, I know that they have, there's like a, <clears throat> there's like a, I forget what it is, but there's like a, it's like a huge washer and nut that keeps the tail piece on here. And I know that they were, they had to look at those or something like that. They were fast cap, tried to turn at 30 knots. Jesus. It's only rated for 15 knots. Hmm. Interesting. 
Davis, 51 months. Wow. Incredible, man. Huge no floaties to you, dude. Thank you for support. Appreciate you, dude. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hopefully, you're going to be with us down at FS Expo 2024. Climb and this is war, man. Flight level 260. If it's Boeing, right, it ain't flying. Zero now for a Weird, man. Entry. Probably just slid into the grass, then the gear collapsed. Maybe if they're doing it at 30 knots, that's a little bit spicy. It's a little bit of a spicy turn. Doing a flight from Delhi to Toronto is Air Canada 43. Real flight done the 777, but I'm using the 34600. Very cool. Nice, mate. Sucks that Air Canada doesn't have any 340s anymore. Never got to fly on one. From what the ETC and pilot said, they were in a rush to get off the runway. Hmm. Very weird. Very weird. That's a lot of G's on that aircraft at 30 knots trying to make a turn like that. That's a lot. That's a lot, man. What do you for a cap? Airbus or Boeing? I like them both. I don't really have a favorite, to be honest with you. I like them both, man. Jay Stevens, my man, six months. Appreciate you, dude. Huge enough floaties. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Incredibly kind, man. Thanks so much for six months as well, cap. Here's my uh, puny little six months. Hey, dude, all those other guys started with six months as well, Jay, so... Don't feel bad, man. In 60 months, you can go and flex on all them, right? Thank you for your support, man. Appreciate you, dude. Six months of love from Jay Stevens. Thank you, my man. Appreciate uh, it, dude. Let me know your back. Tokyo Drift? Okay, okay. Weird, man. The livery right, looks wait, orange in this look. Mm, it looks very yellow to me. I don't know. It looks, looks very yellow. Currently doing a long one in my 737 on Chicago to St. Lucia. Very cool. Fun. Uh, oh, I missed that one, Jerome. Someone put a gun to your head and made you choose Boeing or Airbus. Well, that would never happen, so we're not going to play those circumstances. Who's going to put a gun to my head and make me decide if I want to fly Boeing or Airbus? Ay, ay, ay. Someone put a gun to your head and made you choose. I, Embraer. I'm saying Embraer and I'm going to die. <laughs> Star 777, huge enough floaties to you, man. 13 months. Appreciate the support, man. Thank you very, very much. Extremely kind. 13 months as a business class member. Thank you, dude. Appreciate it, man. Put a gun to your head. Make you decide. If anybody really needs me to decide about Boeing or Airbus for that, I'm going to be a little bit... Uh, yeah, that's... That's Delta a little 25, much. 33, climb, maintain, flight level 300. That is a little much. 300, zero, zero, uh, 25, 33. Scandinavian 957, Cleveland Center is closed. Uh, frequency change approved. Scandinavian? Uh, before you go, I got the plane a, an area of... Uh, moderate hey Gap, any chance for some ETR ops? I'd like to get in the ETR. I can't promise you if that's going to be soon. Or I, I do want to get into the ETR sooner than later. I'm not going to give you a date because people just jump down my throat whenever I give dates if it can't happen. So we've got a lot releasing over the next couple of weeks slash months. So we're going to be fairly busy. Uh, we'll jump into the ETR when we can. I do want to go back and do some ATR ops. I've also had a bunch of people tell me that it's broken right now until the new SIM update comes out. Ooh, a little bit bumpy. Uh, until the new SIM update comes out, which is uh, March 26th, or there's an update for the aircraft, but I've, I've heard that it's a little bit iffy right now. There's quite a few things broken with it. Do you listen to hip hop? I listen to everything, man. I listen to everything except country. Can't really do country music. Someone threatened to take away all of your weed, Boeing or Airbus. See, that's a little bit more. <laughs> I can relate to that one, Daniel. Um, my coworker and I had a laugh about that. I fly for United, and the fastest I've ever exited was 20 knots. Not sure why uh, the message retracted. Ah, very weird, Jerome. Very, very, very weird, man. Yeah, usually, as far as what I've seen, I think it's usually around like. <laughs> Mofar. I think it's usually around like 10 knots you're supposed to be making turns and stuff like that. No more than 10 knots or 15 knots really, so yeah. We'll have to test that at the expo. No, 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 no. Literally dispensaries on every corner in Vegas. Is nine It'll be good. Dennis, turn left heading zero, Cap, how do I install zero, Microsoft Flight Simulator? Uh, you purchase it and then you click the approach. install button. Just like you would install any turn other left, game no, that you've ever bought in your life. So it was a 90 degree turn, so they were trying to make a 90 degree turn at 30 knots. Well, I mean, no wonder the gear collapsed. 
they're lucky they're lucky that it was only the gear that collapsed couldn't that put like crazy stress on the aircraft too altitude i show flight level tree tree zero and descending yep we're climbing now Let's see who can smoke the most and land the butter. I mean, you're already looking at this guy. Come on now. Come on now. Both Boeing and Airbus offer you a sponsorship. The one you choose is the one you stick with. Boeing or Airbus. All right, I'm going with Airbus. I'm going with Airbus so I can do this. Simple. We both got our tray tables out. That's why we're going with Airbus, chat. We're doing it. We're going with Airbus. It's happening. Hundred and four knot headwind, quartering headwind right now. By the way. You forget what he's saying and still butters. <laughs> Sometimes. Depends. New York Center, smoke the weed tray is exactly, man. Charlie, Unsubscribed. Nice. Smoke 139, nice. <laughs> oh, man. The 10 knot rule replies to 90 degree turns. 15 is fine for anything uh, else. And, gotcha. Uh, smoke okay. 139. That makes sense, you know? Have a choice of runways here for it was you. scientifically We're proven that Boeing pilots have more testosterone than Airbus pilots. Right, uh, one I don't know about that one, out. man. I enjoy uh, both. I really do we enjoy will, both. Uh, greatly appreciate one three left. That's able. Smoke 139, Airbus might have a trade table, but Boeing is a more spicy airplane to fly. You never know what's going to uh, go flying off. Yeah, 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 especially now. Since no one yeah, operates a 34600 uh, anymore besides Lufthansa and Mahan, uh, I just look at flight radar and chose a 777 or a 350 or 380 flight and do those in the 12340. Uh, Nothing wrong with that, man. Yeah. I do have Washington Center for you Best way to practice bit. for VATSIM? Uh, watching streams, can. man. Watching streams, connecting as an observer, G-Man, uh, is a great way to do it as well. Um, you can do your flights and connect to VATSIM as, as an observer. You don't have to speak with anybody. Nobody can see you. Um, and you can kind of like practice that way. I think that's a great way to do it as well. Hey, Cop, got to see you come to streams before work. How are you? Zachary, good to see you, man. It's been a while since I've seen you in chat, man. Hope all is well. Good to see you, dude. Any decent free flight sims out there? I'm broke. I mean, you got mobile sims and stuff like that shortified. I don't know if there's anything on PC that would really scratch the need. Maybe, what's that one? Flight gear? Is flight gear still around? Is that still a thing? How do you connect as an observer? I think it's an option arc when you go to connect on the client. When you connect on the client, I think it's, uh, yeah, I think you can. We'll wait until we get the hand off to Washington That's what I did, followed you for a month before I go on live. See, nothing wrong with that, man. Sorry, Super easy. I'm not even saying watch me. Yeah, There's so many streamers we'll out there, man, the you know? Washington. You can even go over on uh, Twitch and stuff like that. There's actually minutes, streamers, uh, so flight sim streamers uh, that so you can away and just stream like the, the, the ETC okay. side of things. And that's really cool. It's a checkbox. There you go. I think we're at cruise. We are. 36,000 feet. Let's bump up our cost index here. We're going to go with like 55 to deal with that headwind. Should give us Mach 0.79, which is perfect. You can see top of the tent. Top of descent is about 243 miles. About half hour. Good afternoon. Should bump our speed up here just a little bit. You can expect that there's the ILS runway 22 left. Depart Calverton heading 240. Depart Calverton heading 240. Then just going to maintain 5,000. Right. 240, just going to maintain 5,000. Say America 219. American 219, just confirm you're expecting your ILS. Very uh, cloudy down there today. Did you get better performance in X-Plane or Microsoft? I'm a 4070 to the 13th Gen i7. I get like 30 to 120 FPS. I've been considering reinstalling it just for the PMG 737-900 Horizon 787. I get better performance on on Microsoft most of the time, but yeah. Got our new Caribbean fight. The water looks so good. Uh, it does. I think tomorrow we're going to fly down to Nassau, wayward. I think we're going to do JetBlue, JFK to Nassau. Is that a thing? Hold on. Before I open my mouth. Is that an actual flight? Let me just check. KJFK, I'm pretty sure it is. KJFK to MYNN, which is NASA. Yes, search. Yes, it is, chat. That's what we're doing tomorrow then. 
JetBlue, New York to Nassau. How long of a flight is that? Uh, flight info. That is a two hour, it's only a two hour and 30 minute flight. Two hours and 44 minutes, okay. That'd be perfect. With boarding and deboarding and replays. Yeah, yeah. All right, so tomorrow that's the plan, chat. JetBlue, JFK to Nassau. That will be the plan Delta for tomorrow. Delta 1265, turn left heading 210, left turn 210. Uh, Johan, thanks so much, man, with 140 South African Czar. Huge no floaties, my friend. Thank you very much, Johan, for the continued support of the channel. Incredibly kind, my friend. Really do appreciate you, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Are you a Wings fan? Uh, no, no. Born and raised in Ottawa. Unfortunately, an Ottawa Senators fan. Unfortunately. Have you ever had canes? If so, what's your opinion? Raising canes? Delicious. Cane sauce is fantastic. Crinkle cut fries, fresh tendies. Honestly, man, to me, as as somebody <clears throat> who doesn't get it all the time, it, um, it's like a better KFC. I feel like their chicken, their batter, their seasoning is very similar to um, very similar to KFC to me. It's like a way better KFC. If that makes sense. You like your honey garlic wings? I love chicken wings, Dan. We need to we need to see if there's a place we can go get some all you can eat chicken wings, Dan. In uh in Vegas. Like good, good all you can eat chicken wings, you know? You ever done PIA ops before? There's some sick mountain approaches up in the north of 320 and ATR. I haven't no. I have not. What's for lunch today? Uh, I think I have a spicy peanut chicken bowl. I don't know. Part Delta of my factor meals. Had raising canes while in Denver for training. The cane uh, sauce three, is three, fire. Three, so three, good, four. Travis. So good, man. Uh, one three left, eight yeah. firm. If you want one three right, I can give you one. Hey, Cap, right. when was the last time you went to uh, yeah, you Jersey? Three, Ooh, 55. been a while. Uh, been a while. I think the last time was when we were flying right, the ATR. I'm not even sure if we went there. Hey, Cap, Surface has been asked multiple times what rudder pedals do you recommend? I just got the TCA Cap and Pack, but I need rudders to pair well. Uh, thank you again, uh, Johan, for the support. Appreciate you. Depends how much you want to spend, Quick Lift. If I'm being honest with you, man, if you just want to have one rudder pedal and you don't want to ever have to worry about buying another rudder pedal, go to get the Thrustmaster Pendular Rudder System, man. It's five, six hundred bucks, but boy, oh boy, man, you're, like I said, you'll never have to buy rudder pedals again. Ever. So. Definitely might want to consider that one. Um, there are some cheaper options. Again, depends how much you want to spend. So, could go to one of the Gordon Ramsay restaurants. Oh, we are 100. percent We're going to we're going to Hell's Kitchen. 100. percent 100. 100. 100. percent Got a question on the block too. The nose is very sensitive when making turns on the ground. Any suggestions? Uh, turn the sensitivities down. Go turn your reactivity. You don't even have to touch the sensitivities. Just go and move your reactivity. If the reactivity is at 100%, try it at 50%. If you still find it's too sensitive, put it down to like 10%, 20%, 5%. Have you tried the AI cabin announcements? I have. Yeah, Flutter. What's up, Cap? Got here late. Had to rewind to check out the departure of my hometown airport. Pretty sure they don't use the Marine Air Terminal anymore. I think JetBlue. Who uses it? I don't know, man. We're uh, we're here. This is JetBlue's. Or sorry, this is Spirit. This flight happened uh, yesterday, the seventh of March, two days ago. And there's the terminal that they parked at. So they're they're still flying out of there. For now, I guess at least. I don't know. But Spirit wing seven ninety four maintain Mach decimal seven eight or better. Mach 7, 8 or better. We're currently doing 7, 9. Spirit wings, 7, 9, 4. All right, cool. Are the AI announcements any good? Is it worth the money? Uh, I mean, listen, dude, I got to be honest. If you're buying an airplane for AI announcements, I think you need to go back to the drawing board. They come with the airplane, so it's not, it's not like they're really worth it. I don't know. You... Are you asking to turn them on or not? Um, I don't know, dude. They're, I mean... It depends if that's what you're looking for. If you like to have an interaction with some, like, pretend like you're having a cabin crew or something, sure. 
I recommend getting a reservation if you're going to Hell's Kitchen. Yes, absolutely, Matthew, 100%. Um, the only problem with that, Matthew, is uh, you have to give them a credit card for the reservation. And uh, if you try and cancel after 48 hours or less, they charge your credit card. Uh, I think it was like $50 per person that doesn't show up. So obviously we're gonna be in Las Vegas with a ton of people. I don't wanna just like get get a reservation for myself and leave everybody else out. So I have to figure out who would be willing to go. And then exactly that, like I don't wanna overbook too many people, do you know what I mean? LaGuardia, apologies, we're already ready to go only one. Uh, Alexi, what's up, man? Good to see you, dude. When do we go back to Argentina or Chile? They're amazing approaches. Uh, I don't know, Doc. Good question. I don't know. Oh, I'm allowed to order this time? Yeah, absolutely. The only time you're not allowed to order is when we go to Sonic. Sonic is only for me. I'm the only one. We have to make sure that they have cherry limeades for the entire week that I'm there. So, yes. I'm unfortunately the only one that can order. What do you think of the Boeing 737 MAX issues and incidents? Uh, I mean, it's, it, it sucks for Boeing, dude. Obviously, there's some some discrepancies going on over there at, at Boeing. They better figure that out quickly before uh, more people's lives are lost and, and, and airlines are, you know, not looking to add Boeing to their fleet, so. You have a Platinum Amex? Okay, it's going on Mark's credit card, by the way, guys. If, if, you, if any of you wanted to go to Hell's Kitchen, all of you need to send a DM to Mark. Mark is also going to be paying for your dinner. It's ninety-five ninety-five for the Hell's Kitchen. Uh, if you want the the four-course meal, two appetizers, a main, and a dessert. Yep. Hey, well, I thought we were in the sauna. Oh yes, you're right, Mr. Javis. You can come with me. Mr. Javis has his Sonic. Uh, he has a Sonic card. We have approved him. Pre-approved. Pre-approved to have cherry limeade. You are correct. Sold. Can't escape them. They'll have uh, your information. Exactly. Yeah. I'd be willing to go on the Caps. Uh, I'd be willing to go if it's on Caps credit card. I wonder if I can convince Thrustmasters, part of my sponsorship, <laughs> to pay for like 10 of us to go to... <laughs> hey, Thrustmaster, can you pay for 10 of us to go to Gordon Ramsay's? Do you plan on flying the Concord? Do you know what I think we should do, Dan? is um, if we do plan on going there, we should go yeah, Monday night. Cross, uh, I feel like Monday night, there's only gonna be a handful of people left over. And I think that's gonna be a little bit more of like a, a, a quieter night, if you will. And we can probably get in no problem. We'll, 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 we'll reserve it over the next like couple of weeks. But if we do Monday the 24th, um, that's as like our final meal type thing. We'll do a Sunday meal with everybody like we always do. But then Monday night we could do our final meal in in Vegas as uh, uh, we'll see. I, I'd be down to do that. So if you guys are, that's fine. Whoever's the oldest has to pay. Rules are rules. Daniel, Daniel's on the senior citizen list almost. It's getting old there, Daniel. We're gonna bring your cane to Vegas. Hundred dollar meal per diem, totally a thing. It is, yeah, but per person. Do you have the next Salt Lake City uh, flight planned at all? Salt Lake City. Uh, I was actually going to do some ops on Monday, Zachary, out of Salt Lake City. Yeah, Monday. I love Salt Lake City. Monday we were going to do Salt Lake. I think we were going to do Salt Lake to Vegas and back. It's a great little turn. I love doing those. That was going to be Monday. Is Spirit like the American Ryanair? Uh, I would say so, yeah, they're an ultra low cost carrier. I've never flown on them, so I don't really know what the service is like. But next week, the 737? Correct. Yes, next week, 737. Where are we going? When? Now? We're going to Detroit now, or are you talking about in Vegas? We're going to Vegas in June. Funny fact, I don't own uh, any credit cards. <laughs> I'm United 1530 in New York Center right now. Happy to see you on VATSIM. Uh, happy to see you on VATSIM finally. Oh, you ran into us finally. We're always on VATSIM. But... Wait, what, Mark? Am I supposed to be over? Am I supposed to be on Unicom? 
If I'm in front of you, that probably means that I'm over to Unicom as well. My old job per diem uh, could be as high as $120 a day, especially in large cities, and we got the money regardless if you chose to spend it. See, that's badass, Andre. I don't get that type of deal when I'm with Thrustmaster, but I do get a per diem per day. I think it's between $75 and $100 is what my usual per diem is with Thrustmaster when we're out away on these events. So, um, yeah. I'm gonna solve a Rubik's Cube right now. Hopefully I finish before you arrive to Detroit. All right. You called me 792. Okay, good. All right, well, we're over to Unicom anyways. Mike, what's up, man? Good to see you, dude. Welcome back. Hope you're doing well. Weed impacts the hearing. No. See, look, he had the wrong call sign. Although I don't know if I would have heard him regardless. <laughs> I don't think I would have heard him, but shh, shh, shh. Yes, I would have heard him 100%. Duh. Uh, weather, what are we doing? Winds are 290 at 13. At least they're not gusting anymore, chat. 290 at 13. I still want to land on runway 27. Are you guys going to yell at me if I land on runway 27? We have no ETC online. I don't give a shit. I'm putting my foot down, chat. I don't care. We're landing on runway 27, okay? Um, although I don't think we should be on this arrival. This arrival is going to actually be a little bit weird. Uh, from Kobo. Yes, must yell. What's going on with the FSS E-Jets 175? I mean, your guess is as good as mine. <laughs> your guess is as good as mine. Should we take a different approach into here, chat? I feel like we should be taking a different approach into here. Uh, let's go through all of our approaches here. Because that's a little bit weird. This one sets us up big time for the... Uh, hmm. The Bonds, too. No. The Kraken. No. The Cougar. That'd be a good one. The Feral. I mean, I guess we can take the Feral. And then I guess from, like, G Motor. Obviously, this probably stands for General Motors. We can just go and then pick up the, the thing. Because there's no way we should take it all the way out to Kobo. So if we actually go G motor, G motor direct to, let's see how bad this fucks things up. Pardon me, sorry my French. Um, flight plan. So let's go from G motor. <clears throat> it's gonna take us to friends. How far out is friends? Friends is like way past Windsor. There's Windsor. So yeah, G-Motor to Friends is what we should do. So we'll go... That'll make like one small thing. Let me remove you. Remove you. Remove you. Remove you. Insert that. Beautiful. And then that should be a much better approach. Much more smooth, streamlined. Top of the sense in 155 miles. Still nothing but clouds out there. Detroit, when can we be in saying, is that Detroit? Maybe we'll actually see Detroit. I don't know, dude, the weather's pretty gnarly today here. Uh, what is the weather still doing? What are the clouds? Overcast at 1700. We may see Detroit breaking through the clouds, but overcast at 1700, gonna be a little bit spicy. <clears throat> there is no honor among friends. <laughs> I've heard legacy carriers for the most part. Yes, they cost more ultra low cost carriers, but they're better in most cases. I am, um, I'm very excited. I'm going to be flying Porter down to Vegas. So I'm very uh, excited to experience Porter Reserve. Uh, 36 inches of legroom on an Embraer E195 E2. That's three feet, chat. Three feet of legroom. I mean, I should be nice and comfy. It's about a four and a half hour flight from Toronto down to Vegas because of the headwind. Um, I get a meal. Free Wi-Fi, free alcoholic beverages, including cocktails, wine, and beer. So I may be showing up in Las Vegas already ready for Las Vegas, if you know what I mean. So that should be fun. Don't forget the time changes tonight, Cap. We expect tomorrow on time. Shit. It is tonight, right? It goes from 2 a.m. to 3 a.m. Yeah, good thing I have an alarm on my phone that'll just... Tell me when all that's happening.
Perfect amount of room for feet picks. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Ay, ay, ay. Only if we hit 100,000 subscribers by then will I even play with that idea. <laughs> oh, bad. Not for another three weeks in the UK? What's that? Oh, yeah, it's always so weird, man. There's two weeks of people coming in here like, Captain, why did you start so early today? Or, Captain, why did you start so late today? Yep, there's always two weeks of that. I always forget that. Every twice a year for two weeks, we have that. People are in here like, what are you doing? Why are you streaming right now? Are you early today? Do you have something to do? Looking forward to more daylight? Yes, absolutely, man. Absolutely. More daylight, warmer weather, longer days. Yes. I lose an hour of sleep, but also an hour less of being on call. See, there you go. Win-win, Daniel. That's right, you're on call this weekend. Detroit, the home of Robocop. Now the first two movies was so good, can't go wrong with Robocop classic movies at their best. I remember watching RoboCop with my dad when I was younger, but honestly, man, I can't say that I've watched RoboCop any time within the last, like, 15, 20 years. I do remember watching them with my dad. My dad used to watch all kinds of, like, uh, all kinds of great movies, man. My dad used to show me cool-ass shit. Um, I can vividly remember the movie Backdraft. You guys remember that movie, Backdraft? I think it came on, like, 93 or 94. Remember that one like crazy. Him and his him and his roommate always used to watch that one. Um, I can remember uh, where some of the other ones that he used to watch. RoboCop, uh, Terminators, like all the Terminators, the original Terminators and stuff. Joe, my man, welcome up into business class. Huge no floaties to you. Thank you for the support. Appreciate you, mate. Good to see you, Dylan. What's up, mate? Good to see you, dude. Welcome back as well. Hope all is well. Today I had overcast four thousand feet in Dubai. Interesting. Hmm. Hey, Cap, is there a big difference between flying in the U.S. and Canada? I'm going to do my first flight in the U.S. Basically the same, man. Basically the same. North America is all pretty much the same. Yeah. T2, the best movie by far. I don't know if I remember any of them, man. You've been playing the RoboCop game on PC? Hmm. Interesting. And the new RoboCop Rogue City is really worth getting so much nostalgia? Interesting. I don't know if it would be worth it for me, but... They just need to get rid of daylight savings times to keep it summer hours? I would agree with you, 100%. Hundred percent, man. I don't understand the point. Listen, like the original, the original reason for behind daylight savings times was because of farmers. It gave the farmers an extra hour during crop season. That is literally the only reason for daylight savings time. It's crazy, man. Um, we, I agree with you. We need to abolish daylight savings time. It also, you know, seasonal depression is very much a thing come winter time. Because you wake up in the morning at 7 a.m., you go to work, you come back, it, it's nighttime. You don't you don't get to see any sun. Um, so seasonal depression is a real thing. And if, if I feel like if you were to take that off, you'd still have, you know, it'd still be bright out at 5 o'clock, not pitch black at 4.30 p.m. Cap, do you know if any Mexican and Canadian airlines use kilograms or pounds? Uh, I believe everything is in pounds. I believe. All right, Cap, the girlfriend is on the way. You better uh, butter it into uh, Detroit for me. I predict a 155 on the 1500s. Good luck, and we'll talk soon. Take care, Captain Lee. Thanks for the donation earlier, man. Hope you have a great afternoon with the girlfriend. I think the reason for them not changing is because kids walking to school in the morning. Why is it? What do you mean? Wouldn't, they just, wouldn't you want it to be a little bit brighter anyways? That 4.30 sunset when we go back to standard time hits hard? Yeah, it's brutal. Not farmers, but golfers. <laughs> That's a myth. It was originally introduced to save energy resources during World War One. Lighter for longer, so not much oil, etc. Needs for lights. Really? I actually would believe that over the farmers. Do you use a radio panel on Vatsim? I do. I have the Logitech radio panel. Yes, I do use that. Av Polo, welcome back. Hit the blinkers, chat. Also daylight, <coughs> also daylight saving times for hunters and fishers. True. What's SLP two fourteen Metar? Uh, I have no clue. I've got the Logitech radio panel. I'm struggling to set it up properly. It keeps flashing when changing frequencies. Any tips? Uh, have you gone to the Logitech website and downloaded the proper 
plugin for Microsoft Flight Simulator, Trav, uh, Tris. Flying from Denver to LAX in United 777-300. Nice. Is the Series X any good? I would not be the one to ask, Andy. I've, I, I haven't owned a console in many, many, many years, man. I've been PC only. Cap, what are your thoughts on the new pricing for Beyond ATC? I mean... A lot more accurate now, Captain Howdy, that's for sure. Um, I think that they're going to be able to sell it to a, a much wider audience, which in return should get them more sales. As I always tell people, it's, it's you know, economics 101. I understand everybody wants to be paid for their time and deserves to be paid for their time, especially developers when it comes to this stuff. But, you know, when, when you have a pricing model and you price it just so high... You know, I think at $30, it's half the price, man. I think there's a lot of people that would be interested in that. For $30? Definitely on the right track, that's for sure. Definitely. A console would be fun this winter? I don't know, man. I don't, I don't see the perks of owning a console. I know that there are some, like, you know, PlayStation-exclusive games and stuff like that, but I don't know. Not really, not really interested in any of those. Running AMX from Bogota, Mexico, JFK. Another long day. Nice, man. Beyond ATC was trying to get rich and got called out. I mean, it's just, you know, it's pretty, like I said, man, it was pretty obvious, dude. I don't think too many people, when you, you're paying $60 plus, 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 and you have the opportunity to just go fly on VATSIM or Pilot Edge or IVAO or POSCON or any of the other networks, it's a tough sale, man. Tough sale. Said this where else, but in my opinion, console Microsoft Flight Simulator is like a budget Microsoft. It is for sure. Yeah. I still want to upgrade graphics cards. I don't have to get a motherboard or super unit power supply. It's a pain. It is, Andy. I mean, you don't necessarily have to. Some of the newer cards are actually using less power than the older cards. So it depends. One, it depends on what your current setup is and your and your and, and two, it also depends on what you want to go, you know, what what you're looking to get. So just remember that, man. It's not all the time that you have to, you know, you have to do those things. Just be does anyone think that the Flyby Wire 380 will come default in 2024? I mean, I've been saying that for a while, Reed, but I don't think so. Not with them releasing their own pictures and stuff now. They've been promoting and releasing pictures and stuff. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. But I don't see it. I still see it. I see it coming to both simulators. Whether it comes out for 2024, I don't know. Currently paying to fly IRL, so the Xbox is a cheaper route for me, so I can achieve my dream of flying IRL. I mean, sure, I, I understand it. I just I agree with what people are saying. It's definitely a, uh, it's definitely a watered down version of what you can get on the PC, especially as far as like third party content goes. That's just that's just the truth. I don't think anybody's being rude um, in saying that it is a watered down version of the simulator. So. I already get low 20s at major airports. Think my PC would give up on VATSIM. Yeah, it would, it would be tough with the model matching for sure. Yeah. You have an i5 9600K and a 650 watt power supply. People said, oh my God, bottleneck. It's a 4070 future proof. I mean, yes and no, because it does have frame generation. And I guess that's more so on will all the developers for major titles and games allow frame generation and incorporate for it i think that yes a 4070 could be an i5 9600k <clears throat> that's you know you're pushing five years or not maybe not five years but five iterations old now that cpu is getting a little bit you know kind of like mine the i9 10900k you know i'm i'm four iterations behind now so uh, they're starting to show their age a little bit. They're not bad CPUs, but they're also not top of the line considering, you know, the, the 13900 and the 14900 or alternatively the 13700 and the 13, uh, the 14700, the, the, the performance increases that those CPUs have over our renditions of the 90, 9500, 9600 or the, the 10900K, um, they're, they're, quite big the, the the jump in performance between those two cpus so yeah i don't know man i don't know captain i got the logitech radio but i can't get it to work i tried everything uh at startup it just flashes and then turns off 
So again, have you have you gone to the Logitech website and you, have you downloaded the plugin that gets installed for Microsoft 2020? Uh, if you have and everything's good, when you're in the aircraft, look at your keyboard, push the page up button. The page up button for whatever reason is defaulted to turn on all of the systems, the electronic systems of the airplane. So if that's not working, I don't know then. Try a different USB port on your PC. I don't know. I love how people say that the 4060 is better than the 3080 Ti because it's a 4000 gen. I mean, in an essence, SF Aviation, mainly because you can, you natively have frame gen on a 4060, that would be the only reason. Is, is it better performance wise? Probably not. 3080 Ti is pretty beastly. Yeah. Fully agree with that. I do sometimes look into PCs because I want to go all the other planes and can't get on Xbox or so just put that money into flying. Nothing wrong with that, man. Nothing wrong with that. CFM or IAEs? Uh, it says it right in the title, man. Right in the title. We are using the IAEs today. I think I'll enjoy console more. Uh, also, I missed upgrading the 3070 last year due to Bitcoin craze. Yeah. That was, that was fun. Yeah. Hello from Fountain Hills, Arizona. Helen, good to see you. Welcome aboard. I hope all is well. Beyond ATC could be great learning for going on to Vatsim. Well, that's the thing, Kev. And that's exactly what we were talking about, Kevin, is at the original pricing, $60 plus, 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 because you had to add on minutes and to, for like real AI voices and stuff. Is that worth using for a month? Because at, at what point are you going to want to move away from using AI ATC to real world ATC, right? Like, I, I don't care what you say. At some point, using that program, you're going to want to start jumping on Pilot Edge, VATSIM, IVAO, right? Like, it's it's inevitable. I'm not saying that it's not a good program or the ATC isn't going to be good, but it's also inevitable that at some point you're going to want that real interaction. You're going to want that real person giving you instructions, not some AI program, right? For some people, maybe $60 plus 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 is worth it. But for most, I would find that that's not really going to be the case, man. That's a lot of money, dude. It's a lot of money to be paying for a little bit of training uh, for you to eventually go over to, 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 to VATSIM or any of the other networks, right? That was our, that was our big thing of why the pricing to me didn't make much sense. Um, I think it, it, it has good possibilities and, and it has, it definitely has some potential. That's for sure. Um, especially at this price point now, at this price point, I don't, I don't think too many people are going to complain about dropping $30. I think it makes a lot more sense at $30 than it does $60. And that's kind of crazy if you think about it, man. They literally cut the price in half. It goes to show maybe they were thinking a little bit too high. Maybe somebody was somebody was looking for a, a get-rich-quick scheme. But, yeah. We all watch you and enjoy your live streams. Well, thank you, Helen. I appreciate that. Incredibly kind. Uh, what PSU for a 4060? I have no clue what the, uh, I don't know what they're, they're rated for, for the 4060. I don't know how much power draw it. I would assume it's probably under 200 watts. I don't know though. 200, 250. You think you're doing the river visual? The winds are in the complete opposite direction, Kyle. I don't think we're going to be able to do the, uh, the expressway. Um, when we left, the winds were the complete opposite weather. Winds are 110 at 60 knot, two and a half mile viz. Well, that escalated quickly into LaGuardia, didn't it, chat? We left like 45 minutes ago. How long ago? 51 minutes ago, and it's already turned into that. Ooh. Oh, you're saying the river visual for 15. You are correct. That is a thing. Uh, where is it? For 13, sorry. It's the river visual runway 13. Yes. <laughs> Not with those current conditions. Two and a half mile visibility rain, broken overcast at 1400. I don't think so. Weather minimums 3300. So no, <laughs> no. According to the chart, we would not even be able to do that even if we attempted, man. It would, it would not like us on that one. So no, unfortunately not, but who knows, right? Things may change. It's probably going to be about another hour, hour and a half until we're back and even considering that. So maybe that storm will have uh, rolled through. If we look at the weather, we looked at this earlier too. If you look at the weather and kind of see how it's routing right now. Um, 
it's pushing up like this. I'm hoping we don't catch this. I'm assuming that this is what's moving in right now and that's what's causing the issues. This band right here is probably moving in. It definitely is. So that band should be gone by the time we're on our return flight. But we might have to worry about this band here. We may get a little bit of clearance. You can see there's a little bit of, uh, you know, not so nastiness here. Maybe we get that little window where we fall into this little window. But yeah, that's that's some nastiness coming right up into LaGuardia. So we'll see. We will have to see. Fun landing for me at JFK. Oh, yes, it will be. After a little bit of thinking, I think the point of Beyond DTC is, uh, I don't know what that word is, because even after using Beyond DTC, you still need to take tests and you still need to train and it would be a waste. I mean, at $60, I think it's incredibly expensive. I think that's kind of what we were getting at, Tanush. At $30, I think it's much more achievable, man. I mean, we spend $30 on a single airport scenery, right? So to have a, a proper training tool, in beyond ATC and be able to have ATC everywhere you go. Yeah. Have you had any performance issues with the updated JFK? I got the Inbuilds JFK and had to use the light GSX. It was heavy, even with frame gen. Um, the scenery is heavy. I haven't updated to the newest version, Kyle. I'm gonna do that actually after the stream. Um, and we're gonna plan to fly in out of there tomorrow. We'll be doing out of JFK. We're going down to Nassau tomorrow. Real world jet blue ops. Won't be long uh, until GPUs have chat AI features in AI. Maybe. Just jump into maths. I'm sure you'll be nervous and make mistakes, but you won't regret it. Um, just keep coming between two small familiar airports and spread your wings from there. I, I agree. I mean, that's how I did it, but... You ever do any Austin flights? Yep. Yep. You can't do the River Visual 13. Wish we could. Yeah, it's... The, the winds are no good. You're willing to fly from South Korea to Santiago, Chile. E, that's a long one. I don't know about that one. Maybe. Maybe, but... Yeah. I think for people that want to fly offline with AI traffic, it's good. Sure. Yeah, like I said, man, there's there's definitely I said sure. <laughs> there's de <laughs> there's definitely some some it, it definitely caters to a certain group of people. I'm not I'm not denying that. I, I agree with you that there's gonna be some type of people there are some simmers out there that, that are gonna want to use it for that exact purpose. But how many people are doing that? That's what I say. Like, right? Sure, there there's a percentage of flight simmers that prefer flying offline and that's that's fine and that's normal um but i would say that the majority of us once we get to a certain stage we're looking for you know a little bit more realism we like flying on vatsim for those reasons i don't know is there a v2 for fly tampa toronto coming out i don't know about a v2 but it's getting a big update manolo uh hopefully we get it sooner than later not everyone will buy it though want to go over to vatsim it doesn't have to be a stepping stone so this point uh isn't eliminated i can agree with that one as well yeah, I know some people that just don't fly online, right? They don't want to deal with other people. They don't want to deal with other users on, on VATSIM or Pilot Edge or whatever. I get that. Sure, like I said, but I feel like that's a very small percentage. I think most people, when you get to a point of your flight sim career where it's like, okay, I've mastered flying the aircraft. I know how to do ILS. I know my arrivals. I know my departures. I know my transitions. I'm ready to take this to the real, right? I'm ready to go fly on Vatsim. I'm ready to go fly on, on Pilot Edge. I feel like that's a natural step and a lot of people will eventually get to that point. Not all, I agree with you, not all, but I think most, a, a major percentage of the community is eventually gonna wanna take that next step. Because there's something incredibly satisfying about pairing real life ATC with, with your real life ops or the ops that you're doing. Doesn't even have to be real life, but. I tried Vatsim and I didn't like it. I want Beyond ATC less stress and no stuck up controllers. Again, man, you know, I, I understand what you're saying, but like the stuck up controllers, that's a very rare thing, man. Very rare. I, I'm not disagreeing with you. We've seen it here on the channel through my thousands of hours flying on Vatsim. There are some controllers that are a little bit more stuck up. They're not having a good day, whatever it may be. I hear you out. But I would also say that 98% of the time flying on Vatsim, you're not gonna have any issues. And if you are having issues or you, you don't fly during, don't fly to major events, don't fly to major airports when there's when there's events going on and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Like it, it's, 
most of the time you're not going to get that experience. Most of the controllers on the network are great, patient, normal people like you and I. Um, so, I, you know, if you had a shitty experience, I feel bad for you. And, and hopefully that, that, that obviously sucks. But I don't think that that's the norm. Uh, I, I also don't think, you know, judging off of doing one or two flights is really the, you know, the best way. There, there are some great controllers out there. I mean, there's also some great ARTCs. Um, some great, like, sectors, right? So... Just keep that in mind, man. Um, okay, initial descent, I believe it was 6,000 feet. I'm going to start our descent to 6,000. Also get the seatbelt sign on here. Good. And then let's go ahead and have a quick little look-see here at the charts. And turn off weather. Turn off weather. Thank you. And then for the arrival, what was it? G motor at 7. But I believe it was uh, friends at 7 as well. Okay. So we'll go initially down to 7. And then we'll go from there. Direct, yeah. <laughs> so simple, right, Gavin? Like, all he had to say, man. Like I said, I I feel like he knew we were streaming, and I feel like he was just taking advantage of the situation, and that's exactly why he acted the way that he did. Most people don't stream either, right? Most people that fly on Vatsim aren't streamers, and they're kind of just doing their own thing. They don't have to worry about controllers being like that, right? Um, he definitely set us up there for that one, 100%. I, I fully, I fully believe that we were set up for that one because, as mentioned, we've we've had it a numerous times afterwards now that um, you know a controller will give us direct to a VOR and he'll actually spell it out for you, right? Most of the time, like I said, dude, ninety nine point nine percent of the time when you get direct to VOR, they're gonna say the VOR, so they'll say direct who's your Oscar, Oscar, Mike, VOR. That's exactly how it's done in real life on VATSIM. So the fact that the controller didn't do that and just said direct Hoosier and then basically baited us when I said, oh, I don't see Hoosier, immediately jumped down our throats and said, oh, well, the Hoosier VOR is Oscar, Oscar, Mike. And if you would have studied your departure charts, you would have known that that was on your departure, right? Like he, he some five head, you know, the guy was trying to be like, actually, right? Like that's, he, he baited us for that 100%, but I don't know. Uh, he got his five minutes of fame. I wouldn't even say five minutes. I would say 30 seconds, but uh, yeah. When did that happen? Ah, oh, man, it was a couple months ago, maybe like a month or two ago. Uh, we were flying out of, for the first time, may I add, <laughs> for the very first time, I'd never flown out of that airport. Uh, so I was very unfamiliar with the, with the airspace. Um, and as soon as we departed, tower control, ground control was great. Tower controller was great. Tower handed us over to departure. We were with departure for all of about four or five minutes. And we went uh, with the departure and departure was just like, uh, yeah, well, I just explained what he just did. He gave us a direct. And instead of explaining or instead of saying like, you know, when you look at like, uh, you know, when you get direct to VOR, it doesn't say who's your, right? Like, it's not a waypoint, so it, it's just, it's usually a, uh, it's like an acronym or whatever, right? It's, it's three, three letters. So instead of saying that, instead of saying, like, direct who's your Oscar, Oscar, Mike, like every other controller in the world would do, he, uh, he just proceeded to give us that without actually giving us the VOR. So I was a little bit confused for a second. I was like, hmm. You know, I'm going to direct, I'm going to direct, and I'm not seeing Hoosier in here, the way that he's saying it, so I'm a little bit confused, I'm like, hmm, interesting, and without me checking my charts, I just said, can you repeat the waypoint again, please, and he said, Hoosier, Oscar, Oscar, Mike, if you would have studied your departure charts, and he just like went off, and that's when it's just like, you can't help but laugh, right, it's like, come on, man, are you a fucking adult, or are you a child, like, this, is, but you know what, dude, some people get off on that shit, man. Some people, that's, he went to bed happy that night. You know what I mean? Some people get off on that shit. Some people are weird, dude. Some people have like weird, like, you know, weird shit going on. In the, I don't know, dude. But. Uh, how do I fix the grainy clouds? Uh, move your clouds to ultra, I think, right? So. Dude, that controller triggered me so bad when he did that mess. I, again, dude, who cares, right? Like, it's more so chat, like, laughs about it now. Um, 
chat loves it, dude. Every stream we're getting Oscar, Oscar, Mike. Like chat is voting for me to do an Oscar, Oscar, Mike emoji. I think chat loved it more than more than I did. I really don't give a flying, you know what? You know me, man. How long have I been doing this? This shit just rolls off my back. I don't give a fuck. That controller wants to have that type of, uh, you know, that, that's fine, dude. I got, got way, way more things in life to worry about than that. Whether I pissed off an Oscar, Oscar, Mike, <laughs> VOR. Uh, controller really, it's not me, Dan. Like I, like I literally just mentioned, every single stream, somebody brings up the Who's Your VOR, Oscar, Oscar, Mike. It's become a theme here on the channel. It has nothing to do with me. I'm not proactively in every stream bringing this up. It's it's chat who loves to talk about Oscar Oscar Mike and who's your. I mean it was like a, like I said it was a pretty it was a pretty funny like little sequence of events especially my response to him which I told him I was very very sorry that I didn't study my depart my departure charts and I wasn't aware of all the VORs around the uh, around the airport. It was uh, yeah, it was a funny little sequence. And then we also told the next controller, the center controller we told him uh, to buy him a coffee because he was a little bit grumpy. We all had a good time. It, it was pretty funny, to be honest with you. A little bit silly in the moment, for sure. Guy doesn't need to be a dickhead like that. But also, I think he knew that I was streaming, and I think he knew that he was going to get a rise out of me or Chad or whatever. You know what I mean? And be careful, Daniel, talking that way, or we're going to blame you, and it's going to be Dan's fault. Oscar, Oscar, Mike emoji? People really want that one, man. I feel like it's one of those iconic moments of 2023 for us. I have a question. Do you know a one-hour flight from Spirit? Um, I mean, there's probably a bunch. Go on Flight Radar 24 for us. It's a great little website, man. Flight Radar 24, you can put Spirit Wings. You can even check all the flights that are going on. All of them. Got to make some merch. Some Oscar Oscar Mike. That'd be a great one, actually. You know what I should do? Dan, can you make an Oscar Oscar Mike emoji? And we're not going to put it on the channel, but I'm going to get some stickers made for Vegas. And we're only going to get like 50, 50 of the Oscar Oscar Mike uh, stickers made. And we'll make it so you have to come up to us. He says, I ain't making no Oscar Oscar Mike emoji. Chat, if anybody is interested, because Daniel's upset at me now. If anybody is interested, Oscar Oscar Mike emoji, send them on over to me. And uh, maybe we'll get some special stickers made for Flight Sim Expo. And you have to come up to me and say, Oscar, Oscar, Mike. It's the only way you get a sticker. You have to come up, and, or you have to come up and say, Oom, Captain, Oom. Wayward, 40 months. Thanks, dude. Appreciate you. So thanks for fantastic content. Really love hanging out with you and everyone. Wayward, thank you very much, man, for 40 months. Appreciate you, dude. That's a long time. Huge no floaties, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate it, dude. My controller was the first name, Oscar Wiener. I'm telling you, Skyworker. Listen, man, Skyworker's a real world ATC and he was there for that. And he even remembers and he agrees with me when he said 99.9% .9 of the time when the controller gives you a VOR, unless it's like a well-known, well-used VOR, they're gonna tell you exactly what it is. They're gonna say, who's your, direct who's your Oscar Oscar Mike. That's all he had to do. It was that simple. It, it takes an extra quarter of a second to say Oscar, Oscar, Mike, you know? He was baiting, 100%. 100% he baited us. Don't forget to bring the cup of coffee. Ooh, that'd be a good one too. Yeah. Make a bunch of oom stickers and leave them at the Vatsim table during FSE. <laughs> that would actually be pretty funny. <laughs> They'd probably have no clue what's going on, Dan, right? They'd be like, what the fuck? <laughs> Why is this guy giving us oom stickers? Oh, man. What happened? I wasn't there. Uh, what stream? Uh, we were flying out of Indianapolis. I think we flew the A300. It was like one of the first streams that the A300 came out. And we were doing Memphis to Indianapolis and back. And it was on the departure out of Indianapolis back to Memphis is when that happened. Uh, was it a bad control? I mean, I don't know the guy. I've never met the guy. I, I, he seemed like a competent controller. He was also just a pompous dickhead, but I mean, you know, whatever. That's who he wants to be, that's who he wants to be. Prince of Pilots from asking and clogging up the frequencies too. Well, exactly, right? Exactly. And like I said, it takes all of what? A quarter of a second for you as the controller to, to just add the, the, the three letters of where the pilot needs to go to, you know? So I wouldn't even know how to go direct to a VOR, to be honest. 
well, I mean, they act as waypoints, right, Strody? So it's super simple. Like, it would have been direct, and then we would have had Oscar, Oscar, Mike, like, right there, right? That's, that's, that's as simple as it could have been. But it wasn't, because the controller made it not that simple. But, yeah. You have to do some highlights from the situation on your streams. It would be fun. Again, man. I, I, no. <laughs> no, I, I don't, you know, listen. It's already received more attention than it probably should, just because of how funny it was at the moment. Also, like I mentioned, it was a release stream. I think we had like five or 600 people watching at the time because we were flying the E300 for the first time. So it was, it was one of those moments as well, right? Where the guy was, like I said, I think he just tried to take advantage of how many viewers we had and he knew what he was doing and he knew he was being a, you know. Hail Gap, I have a 3080, 32 gigs of RAM with an i7 12th generation. Does the frame gen mod tear up your card over time? Do you think I should try it or just wait for performance updates in 2024? Uh, I've been using the frame gen mod since before Christmas and I've had absolutely no problems. Obviously there are some, pro some problems, but it's not like, you know, the ghosting of menus. So if you go like this, you see how the menu is kind of ghosting but I don't know too many people that sit there and do this with their camera that have to worry about ghosting. But to me, that's like one of the biggest things, the shadows, the shadows get a little bit weird too. So, um, but other than that, man, I've, yeah, I can highly suggest it. I mean, look, we're getting 90 FPS right now. I mean, yeah, just study your charts next time cap. I mean, listen, I'm not, I'm not also, I'm also not disagreeing on him that we probably should have taken a look at that, but even looking at a chart and like getting a thing, like, I don't know, man, it's kind of rare that like, I'm going to look and I'm going to be looking for VORs on like a chart, right? I believe the chart just said, expect radar vectors. I don't even think the chart said, expect radar vectors to oom. I think the chart just said runway heading, expect radar vectors on course or something like that. And it just so happened to be that Oscar, Oscar, Mike was one of the VORs off of the departure or something. I don't know, man. Um, yeah. Low key, the controller got yelled at prior for not knowing the, uh, <laughs> who's your VOR and had to prove himself on stream. <laughs> Maybe, man. Maybe, dude. They, I, mean, I, I don't, you're not necessarily wrong, CST, either, though, man. Like, you should always review your departure charts, right? I, I agree with you. I'm not denying on that. And, and maybe I didn't do a, a, a good enough of, uh, like I said, the way that I remember it was that it was just a radar vector departure. So it was runway heading until vectored on course. Um, instead of giving us on course, he actually gave us one of the VORs that was also part of, it wasn't part of the departure. I don't know, man. Weird sequence of events. Weird sequence of events. Are we going for max reverse or idle reverse? Uh, how long is this runway? I think we have to go, we want to vacate as quick as we can. Uh, no, we're going full reverse so we can vacate either Victor 2 or Foxtrot. We're going up here to the Echo side. Um, I actually think the gate that we're looking for is uh, up here, like Delta 21 or Delta 20 or something like that. One of those two. One of those two gates, if I'm looking up here on Flight Radar 2-4, it looks like they went into Delta 20? Delta 21, wait, where's that? Hold on, where's that little pier? There's this thing, that little pop-out thing. Yeah, they went right here. Yeah, Delta 21, I can't see exactly what it is, it looks like Delta 21. That's Delta, no, okay, so they went to Delta 19, right here. Delta 19 is where the real aircraft park, so I don't know, we'll go somewhere up into there. So we wanna vacate up onto uh, either, like I said, Victor 2 or Foxtrot. That would be ideal. Foxtrot, maybe we just go all the way up to Foxtrot to Echo 2 to Kilo and Echo into the ramp, Delta 19. We shall see. Just watch the uh, Oom clip. Yeah, it was a good one. Hey, Gap, I'm almost, uh, I'm almost in Detroit landing 2-2 right. Nice, very cool. Love Detroit any builds. They did a great job with it. They do. Yeah, there's another Detroit coming out as well by good friend Alex. Uh, Sue, Alex. He's here on the channel. He's uh, He also has a uh, Detroit coming. Um, what were the uh, 2-9-er-7-0? Very low pressure here. 2970 is in. We are through 10,000 feet now as well, so we'll go landing lights on. Uh, I'm going to pause the music. We'll get our sounds turned up. 
good. And just to confirm, we do not have any ETC into here. Correct, no ETC. We do have New York Center still online, so. Question is, did you get the block timer? I did, but I was a little bit late on it, JJ. We had just pushed back. So we'll add another minute or two onto that. But yes, we did do block time, and then there's our flight time. Hour 13 minutes, hour 17 minutes. It was quick, very quick, uh, because of where we park in LaGuardia, it was a pretty quick departure. So she out of uh, runway 13. This is your home airport, very cool. CHM Klez, thank you for your support, man, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Just look at it, it must have been on purpose by the controller. Uh, I, I don't know, who knows, man. Like I said, who knows, man. Maybe he was having a bad day. I don't know, man. Maybe he was having a shitty day. Who knows? It's still a shitty thing to do, right? And that's why some people... And the, what, what started this whole conversation was... That's why some people don't like to fly on the network. Because you have controllers like that. That, for whatever reason, are having a shitty day. They're having a bad day. And they feel that they need to take it out on you, the guy that's flying... You know, in your simulator. I, I don't know, dude. I don't know. All right, six down to 5,000 feet. Uh, intercept was at uh, 2,000. So we'll take it down to three. We'll go from there. Uh, we'll also get our LS switch on. Obviously a little bit of ways out from that, but we'll turn everything on now. Remember that one time with Oom? <laughs> nice breakout into Detroit. Nice, very cool. Hey, Gap, how do you mess with the in-game sounds without going to the sound menu? I have a sound uh, mixer, Keith. Exclamation point mixer, Keith, in chat. That's how I do it, man. Uh, you can also, alternatively, you can just go down here to your audio mixer, and you can just open up your volume mixer, and you can control sounds this way. So instead of, like, opening up, you can just, you know, you can find Microsoft Light Simulator and, you know alternatively do it like that it's not going to do it for you because i'm on an audio mixer but yeah that's alternatively how you, you could get that to work that's part of the realistic experience maybe man but again i can't stress this enough for a realistic experience the controller would not have done that the controller would have said just like in real life, direct Hoosier, Oscar, Oscar, Mike. FedEx, whatever our call sign was, FedEx 1300, direct Hoosier, Oscar, Oscar, Mike. And then I would have read it back. FedEx 1300, direct Hoosier, Oscar, Oscar, Mike. Done. That simple. It took all of a fraction of a second for him to add Oscar, Oscar, Mike onto the end of it. You know what I mean? That's it. If that was real life, that's how it would have been handled. In real life, there's there's usually no egos, man. The controller's not there to try and, you know, get a while out of a stream or get a while out of the pilots, right? There's no, there, there's none of that. So, you know, I would understand if it was like, uh, you know, like we completely botched the departure or something like that, but that wasn't the case. Can you show the Phoenix app? Uh, no. Why would I show the Phoenix app? I believe it has some sensitive information on it that I don't want to display, and I also don't... It doesn't, like, open on the bottom, so... Yeah. Cap just found out that i got to update my payment info to renew my membership. It will uh, cause my time being a member to start over. Uh, no. No, it will not start over, Jay. Do not worry. It, it, even if you were to miss a month or two, it just removes that off of your... your um, you, you will get your... It'll still stick together and stay together. Just check out the freeware LaGuardia. It looks better than uh, the... Uh, well, the one that we're using is um, Feel There. So maybe I'll have to look at the freeware one. Doing some crowd surfing down into Detroit. We're at 7,000 feet. We should... Uh, break the restriction here. We've got 6,000, 5,000, 4,000, 3,000. Speed's going to come back to clean speed now. 230 knots. There's our descent to 6,000 at honor. 
Hey man, greetings from India. If you don't mind me asking, what is your job IRL? Matt have I am uh, very lucky. I, I'm, I've been a full-time content creator here on YouTube for uh, three or four years now. Four years. Uh, did you saw that freeze for a second? I did, yes. I think we need to get some anti-ice plus nine. What are we saying, chat? Anti-ice? Sure. Let's be good pilots. Plus nine. I think it's anything below plus 11, right? You want to have the anti-ice on? So we're sitting at plus nine. Really do like the new model for B2. It's so much easier to butter. Yes and no, Tom. I, I wouldn't... I don't know. It's very different than the first model. But... Yeah. I can burn out once Vienna Airport on Vatsim. Um, the controller was very mad. Don't know why. He told me to go around uh, and got mad to the approach controller who gave me clearance to land. Hmm. Weird. I don't know. Thomas, what's up, man? Good to see you, dude. How do you make it show what flight level you should be at in your route? Uh, by s making sure when you set up your aircraft... In your init ref tab, you should have a cost index and a cruise altitude. If you have that in there, everything should be set correctly. All right, we're going to arm localizer. We're going to arm approach as well. Should cap glide slope, should cap approach. So there's loc star, good. And then we should cap on the glide slope here in a second as well. I'm going to pull my speed back here a little bit. Speed kind of got a little bit away from us. Definitely want to slow that bad boy down. There's glide slope star, which has been captured. So bring that speed down. If we can get it around 220 knots, we'll go flaps one. We are still currently about 12 miles out from the runway at 4,000 feet, so lots of time. No gear down in flaps two till we get uh, 2,500 foot call out. Sound can go up here a little bit. Um, I don't know, should I be on CTAF frequency for this? Do I do, what is it, dot CTAF KORD? Is that what it is? The CTAF frequency for KORD is 12075. Let's try it, chat. We're on, can we get CTAF in chat, please? We need, a, we need a CTAF emoji too now here. And chat, for those of you that are worrying and trying to wonder how I figured that out, I literally just put dot CTAF, dot CTAF, space, KORD. And then it gave me the CTAF frequency for ORD. So there's CTAF, 12075. Let's tune to that frequency and have a good laugh. Detroit CTAF, Spirit Wing 794, about a 12 mile funnel, runway 27 right, Detroit. I don't, probably nobody on that frequency. Wait, why am I, shit. <laughs> Fuck. Chat, no problem, we're... <laughs> Even when we fly into Detroit, guess who forgets that we fly into Detroit, chat? Are we in Chicago? <laughs> One, three, five point nothing. Oh my god. My brain's not working today, chat. Gear down. <laughs> oh shit. For some reason, Detroit has been cursed. Detroit Sea Tows, Hurt Wing, 794, 7 mile final, 27 right, Detroit. <laughs> no problem. No floaties. Are you on CTAF too, baby? Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice. Flaps 2. <laughs> Let's get all of our lights on. Looking good. Engine anti-ice can come off. Oh, baby. Do we have landing rate monitor open? We do. All right, good. <laughs> MSO traffic. Uh, oh, dude. Uh, Flaps 3. On approach. Ground Runway spoilers two, two, uh, armed. Good. CTAF. Detroit Sea Taps for Ring 794 short final uh, 27 right Detroit. Alrighty, 160 knots, flaps full, we're just through a thousand feet. Joystick cam is coming on. Enjoy the arrival, friends. I'll catch you guys down on the ground. My airplane. <coughs> Sounds are up. Enjoy, friends. Sea Taf, baby. You DM'd me an oom um emoji? All right, I'll take a look at that after. After we get her down on the ground. Five, I'm good. Gusty, gusty. 
gusty. All right, landing checklist, gear down, three green, ECAM, no cool. blue. Landing checklist complete. Oscar, Oscar, cool. Mike, Jack. Oscar, Oscar, Mike. 300. Very gusty. 100 above. 200. 200. Minimum. Continue. A little bit of float. Ooh, it's going to be smooth. Ooh, real nice. Nose down gently. Maintain center line. Decelerating. I haven't had a smooth one like that in a while. 60 knots, reverse or stowed. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome down to Detroit which is also apparently Chicago. That was a good one. Little bit floaty, but you know what? We're taking it, Chad, we're taking it. Lots of runway, lots of room. I believe we actually vacated exactly where we wanted to vacate as well, which was on Foxtrot. Detroit Look at that, Detroit almost like we wanted to do that. Uh, Beautiful, welcome down to uh, Detroit, uh, my D4 amigos. We'll stop uh, the clock runway, one hour right. and 24 minutes on the flight time. Ground spoilers, flaps coming in. Good. Detroit, Chicago State. <laughs> oh, man. No, no, no. No idle reverse on that bad boy. Slam it in. Let's go. All right. Landing lights are, landing lights are coming off. Nose light is to taxi, runway turnoffs are off, strobe lights are off, wing lights are off, EPU master start switch is on. Good. You missed the runway in Chicago by miles. <laughs> All right, Dan sent me an Oscar Oscar Mike emoji. <laughs> That's actually pretty good. Chat, what do we think? <laughs> Oom, <Oom>, who's here? <laughs> That's actually pretty good, Dan. <laughs> How did you make that so quickly? I kind of dig that. I kind of dig that, actually. Boom. <laughs> Chicago wondering where Spirit Wings 794 is. Dude, my brain's just not working today. It's one of those days, Chad. We connected originally as the wrong call sign on VATSIM. Couldn't figure out why the controller couldn't see us or hear us. Or, uh, sorry, see my flight plan. Just disaster, man. <laughs> Oh man, we'll have to get some stickers made Retro for that traffic, one. Delta 23, we will. Heavy. We're taxiing via taxi lane, uniform, diner, and we'll be joining uniform, Yankee, and holding short line, like 27 right, metro traffic. Oscar, Oscar, Mike. <laughs> Alright, let's pull up the APU. Traffic, uh, two final four miles for uh, Delta 2533, uh, runway 2 right. No floaties. No floaties. All right, we're going to Bravo 19. There might be an aircraft at Bravo 19, but we're going to try and go to Bravo 19. There it is. No, should be operated by Spirit Wings. It says Delta. Okay. Uh, Bravo 19, where are you? I think it's right here. I think we should be okay. Bravo 19. We'll go in here at Echo. Call it this one. EPU is spooling. Good. Let's go nose light off. We're turning into the ramp. We don't need to blind anybody. Hey, wait a minute. I boarded the wrong flight. I was supposed to go to Detroit instead of Chicago. In all seriousness, does this mean we need to fly into O'Hare now? Yes. Although we flew into O'Hare the other day. Thank you for the support, man. $182 donation chat. Can we please, please, please get some love? Absolutely incredible. Is this Bravo 19? That's Bravo 18. Bravo 19, that's us. Um, thank you. Seriously, holy hell. Matthew, drop in the $182 donation chat. Please, 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 please get some love. Incredibly kind, man. Thank you, dude. How much did you donate before, Matthew? I'm pretty sure that's putting you up, or is that your first donation this month? 
am I thinking about last month? If you had more this month, please let me know so I can get the correct number up here. I feel that that's your second or third donation this month. Why are they not at Delta? Wait, did I select the wrong? Oh, I'm at Delta. What did I select? Bravo? No, nope. don't mind me. Told you, chat, my brain is not working today. I just tried to pull up Bravo gates. No. Okay. There we go. Much better. No problem. Uh, first one of the month? Okay, got you. Thank you. Update the donation board. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yes, I, I'm taxiing currently, but... Yeah, I, I will update the donation board. Yes, absolutely. Do not worry. can only start yelling at me if like, I haven't done it in like 10 or 15 minutes. Yeah, brain.exe is not working today, Chad. I don't know what the hell's going on. Brain.exe, just no bueno today. Detroit, Detroit, United, it is uh, ceasing to exist. The Delta passing left to right for 2 2 left. Alrighty, beautiful. Park brake is on, upstairs, APU is on, good. Engine number two is off, engine number one is off, beacon light is off, seatbelt sign is off, fuel pumps are coming off. Ladies and gentlemen, ground control comes on as well. Welcome down to Detroit. What are you doing? You're doing things in slow motion. Hello? Are you going to dance? No problem. Brain.exe has turned into brain.pmg. You should make the uh, Oscar Oscar Mike sticker the shape of the VOR, like the hectagon or octagon, whichever it is. That could be awesome. Dan, we need to change, the, we need to do a quick little revision. Still editing. Uh, don't use it anywhere. Okay. Dan, can you look at what it looks look like on, like, hold on. If we go to, where's Indianapolis? Search KIND. We're going a little bit too hard with this chat, but I don't care. Um, KIND. Okay, where's the Who's Your VOR? It's got to be somewhere down here. How do I make it so I can see VORs? Uh, open charts. Departures. The Who's Your 5. <laughs> there it is. Who's Your. Oscar, Oscar, Mike. Dan, can you make it look like this? Can you make it look like that? Can you make it that the shape of it? The, like, hexagon? Whatever the hell that is? Can you make it look like that and then put Oscar, Oscar, Mike, and Hoosier in there? That would be fantastic. There's the Hoosier VOR. It's right there, chat. Oscar, Oscar, Mike. Bloomington. There you go. <laughs> oh, man. We're too much, chat. I think we have too much fun sometimes. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if there's such a thing, but... I think we have a little bit too too much fun with some things sometimes. Um, okay, let's go ahead and get external power on. Good, we'll get the EPU off as well. Everything else is looking good up there. Seatbelt signs are off. Good, we're deboarding. We've got everything set up up there as well. Beautiful. Good, we should be deboarding. Yes, they are deboarding. Beautiful. Good. <clears throat> Sigh, everyone's a critic. <laughs> Dan's like, God damn it. I'm go back to the drawing board. Are we ending here? No, we're going back, man. We are going back to, uh, back to uh, New York City, man. Back to New York City. It's gonna be a great one. Remember, guys, don't forget to smash down that thumbs up if you are enjoying the content. We're looking for 300 likes today. I don't know if we'll be able to hit it. Hopefully, we can. Uh, but we are doing the return flight, so we're going from uh, DTW into uh, LaGuardia once again. Um. We're going to go to new flight. Good. That's good. That's done. Good. Only an hour and 10 minutes for the return flight chat, by the way. Um, get back to our music. Good. And go NKS. Uh, here. And we're going KDTW back to KLGA. Good. We are going to be in our 320 with our IEE engines. And it says we're arriving on runway 4. Winds are 100 at 12 knots. 5 mile visibility broken overcast at 14. We'll expect runway 4. If we can switch it to runway 13, that would be great. But we'll see what they want us to do. I think they're arriving on 4, departing out of 13. So, uh, be a nice little crosswind arrival into LaGuardia. Uh, we'll get that set, that set, good. Did you hear that United is giving out free tires and SFO? I did hear that, man. 
poor, guy's poor car, man. Like I was saying earlier, imagine you're on vacation and you come home to your car just demolished from a wheel that fell off a vehicle. It'd be brutal, dude. Absolutely brutal. Um, okay, let me disconnect and reconnect under our new call sign. 313, good, connect. Good, auto ATC is already up, good. Uh, 7242 is the squawk code. I'm gonna do it now before I forget. 7242. Good. Um, that's all set, that's all good, that's all good. All right, cool. Let me uh, edit our flight information over here. and update our flight information. All right, that should be updated for you guys as well. New call sign. Logged in on the network under the new call sign as well. Sorry, didn't mean to do that. My apologies. All right, cool. Good. Just going to wait for the aircraft to deboard. All that fun stuff. Been a rough week uh, for United. It has, man. Yeah. Uh, is Max in chat? I don't think so. I don't think he's here today. No. These send to make do functions in the EFB are great. Unbelievable, man. I, I'm, I'm actually really surprised that that hasn't been there since the beginning, to be honest. Like, really surprised. Love to see the series of events that led up to the wheel falling off on takeoff. I don't know. Maybe just maintenance wasn't done? I, I, I don't know. I don't know if it has anything to do with maintenance. I don't know. I don't know. Um, did I miss a dono? So we had uh, Sanders. I did. How did we miss that one? Were we on approach? Uh, Sanders with a 20 Norwegian Cronin. Thank you. Appreciate you, man. Um, says, uh, my Chicago looks different. <laughs> nice. Touche. <laughs> Touche, Sanders. <laughs> thank you for the support, man. Appreciate you, dude. Incredibly kind, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you, man. Uh, I apologize that I that I missed that one. I must have been right in the middle of looking at shit. But thank you for the support, my friend, for the 20 Norwegian Kronen. Guys, could you please get some love and chat for Sanders? Hammering that donation on our, our short final. Thank you, Sanders. Appreciate you, man. Incredibly kind. The wheel hub and hub were still there. The tire uh, bead just came apart. So just wear and tear, right? Average wear and tear and stuff. Brain.exe, exactly. Not here today. Uh, we need to get... Matthew on the leaderboard as well. First donation of the month. Uh, thank you again, Matt. $182 donation chat. Absolutely insane. Uh, we're going to get Matthew up second place on the leaderboard. Thank you, Matthew, for the support, my friend. Appreciate you, dude. Incredibly kind. Get you up there beside Austin. $182. Get Austin down here. There we go. Sweet. Thank you again, Matthew. Appreciate you, man. Incredibly kind, dude. And thank you, Sanders, as well, for that donation, my friend. I appreciate it, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you, both of you gentlemen. Appreciate it, man. That was a good laugh, chat. I'm showing you guys how to do something, and I'm... <laughs> oh, dude. Brain.exe chat. Just one of those days, okay, chat? Leave me alone, all right? Just one of those days. One of those days. Um, okay. Let's start getting some information plugged in here for our second one. I'm just going to dismiss that because they're already doing that. They're already deboarding. Um, got a good amount of people deboarded as well. How many people are on the return flight? 180 full airplane on the return flight, chat. Oh boy. It's going to be 180 angry people when I smash the tires into LaGuardia. Um, let's go to my flights. We're going to import our next flight. Good. Uh, Detroit over to LaGuardia. We've got a 28 minute turn time. We should be able to get that. It's saying one hour and eight minutes on route today for the return flight. So it should be significantly shorter. I'm also going to stop our block time. I feel like that should be good on the block time. Hour and 24 minutes and an hour 42 on the block. 
So that's good. We can reset those. Good. Um, back down here, let's go to our... Uh, we're not going to worry about mass and balance because we are still deboarding the aircraft. Let's come down here. We're going to go to our knit ref tab. We're going to do our knit request. We'll get our new call sign in, which is Spirit Wings 313. Throw that up into there. Uh, and it request should be filling that in here any moment. There we go. Detroit back to LaGuardia. Good. Everything's set there. We're going to go to flight plan departures. They want us out of runway uh, 2 1. No, I'm taking 2 2 left. We're right there. 2 2 left for departure. It wanted 2 1 right, but there's no way. We're just going to go 2 2 left for departure. So we'll go departures 2 2 left. Uh, good. We're going to be on the Pavel departure, Pavel 2. There we go. Uh, with the SB transition, correct? And we'll insert that. Beautiful. And then into LaGuardia, we're planning for the ILS runway 4. It wants us on the uh, MIP 4. And just to confirm, have to check what that is. Because they, they call that something different. Let me import, import, good. Uh, the Milton arrival, the Milton 4 arrival is what it's going to be. And I know that there's going to be some expect, and we have to make sure that this is in here. Because Mark at 18,000, I guarantee you that's not what it's going to be. So we're going to check that Mark, Billy, and Beauty, all of those transitions are set correctly. We should have a beautiful view, though, of Manhattan as we're coming in. Um... All right, we're taking it via the Echo Tango Golf transition and the approach vias. Uh, if we look at our approach, the last waypoint on here is Proud. Um, if we go to LaGuardia, we go to our uh, approaches and we go ILS runway four and we pin that one, you can see that we've got, um, I think we're just gonna take it via Bang. Um, it's really the only 3,000 feet at Bang. So we'll select Bang for our approach via and we'll go ahead and insert that. Beautiful. And if we scroll through here, everything should be good. Proud, Bang, Rachel, Dennis, and then into LaGuardia. Beautiful. Cool. Everything is set there. I'm happy with all of that. Let's go back to our knit ref. We're just going to leave everything blank for right now. We need to do a knit B and our performance numbers, but we've got our flight plan. Everything is set there correctly. We've got uh, 50 passengers left to deboard. And then we should be good for our turnaround. Hey, Gab, you ever played this game, Weed Shop 3? Uh, we've played, I think it's called Drug Dealer Simulator. We've played that one before. I've never played Weed Shop, though, no. Went spotting at MUC today, four back-to-back -back 350s and one 340. Oof. In Munich? I think that's what MUC is. Might be late, but at least I know how to rewind to see the butter landing. There you go, Montana. It was actually a greaser to be honest with you a proper grease it's been a while since we've had like a super greasy one like that that was a good one though really like that approach yeah with low ceiling and incoming rain captain i don't think we'll see that much manhattan today sadly true very true laugh so hard when you were playing the drug dealer sim it was a good one man yeah going to do the old expressway 3-1 localizer approach with those winds good luck man or are you just turning real weather off because real weather with those winds i mean you're going to have a 12 knot tailwind if you were to try and land on runway 3-1 12 knot tailwind wouldn't work all that well to be honest uh, what is the weather doing yeah so they're about to get if anything that system is pushing through right now um which means though it may clear up for us. We'll see. I don't think we're going to hit that pocket where we thought it was going to be clear. <laughs> we're probably going to land when all of this is like just perfectly over the approach. We watch. We'll probably get absolutely hammered as we're making our approach into LaGuardia. Judging by how that weather's looking. Um, but not bad. Cool. Rachel Ross Transler, Chandler transition. That would be a funny one. Hey, Gap, are you Alan from The Hangover? E correct. Yep. The bead was bad or it was sealed to the rim? Yeah. Could have been anything, really.
so dirty. The spirit. This looks good. Oh, the weed shop game, you can buy a TV and put it up in the shop and you can watch your streams. Jesus, it's actually kind of cool. I may have, we may have to check that game out. He got hope you're having a wonderful day. Taking the kiddos to the Monster Jam tonight should be fun. Good luck uh, with that weather. Uh, Rain Man, good to see you, man. Monster Jam. I remember the going to that as a kid, dude. Hell yeah. Seen like Grave Digger and stuff like that. Man, epic. Hello, just came back from the Matt Pat retirement. Uh, I don't know what that is, but awesome. Sounds good. What's the factor meal of choice today? I got spicy Polano beef for lunch. Ooh, nice. Um, I have a spicy peanut saute bowl, I believe is what it is. Delta arriving right there. Just realized how starved we are for an airplane that's literally only the 320 and the 7.3 that is widely flown around in Microsoft. Yeah, it's been that way for like two years as well, Manolo. Yeah, man. I mean, now we have the A300, so we can do some cargo ops, which next week we're going to be in the 737. The following week, we're going to jump back in the A300. Um, so yeah, we are starting to get a, a little bit more of a wide variety um hopefully soon we're gonna have the 737 max from pmdg or ifly we're gonna have the triple seven soon hopefully the md11 soon um so th there's a lot of promising things that are coming soon so matt pat is a youtuber who has been on this platform for 14 years wow nice very cool flew along with you in my cheap mobile flight uh app flight sim my landing not so pretty plus eight degrees of nose angle a eh, little bit up there. I have to be careful with the tail strike at that one. I don't know what we were. What angle were we at on ours? It's saying plus five. So about there. You say you want to be between like three and five. Uh, no, we are not deboarding the pilot and everything else is done. I think we are fully reboarded now, chat. Um, deboarding one extra passenger, it's saying, but I think we're deboarded. So we're going to go to my flight. I'm going to re import from Simbrief. Good. We're going to go to mass and balance. We're going to reset, or sorry, I have to reset all, then go to ground, then go to my flight, import from Simbrief. Good. And then we can go ahead and load aircraft and we go through GSX. Beautiful. There we go. Uh, they're going to do their thing. I don't need to do anything. We're going to get refueling done. We have to refuel. We see we've got 3,000 kilograms of fuel in the tanks. We need 6532. So we will be doing some refueling today. Uh, but we've got it set so that the passengers can board while it's refueling as well. So um, should be pretty, uh, pretty quickly, quickly to get it done. Just saw the IRL Allegiant Max at the Boeing Delivery Center the other day. I DM'd you about it. Looks gorgeous. I think you sent me a picture. Yeah, looks cool. Is the MD-80 no good? Never see anyone flying it. It's okay, Henry. Um, it, yeah, it's okay. It's not that it's bad. It's just not that it's the best. I don't know. Is VATSIM going to work with Microsoft 24? Of course, dude. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Cap, $20 dono if you wear a Dan's Fault t-shirt and no glasses one stream. Ooh. I'm definitely not trying to insult you here, JJ, but it's going to take a whole hell of a lot more than $20, my man. <laughs> a whole hell of a lot more. That's for damn sure. I don't know why they're not boarding the passengers. They should definitely be boarding. Unless GSX is buggy buggy. We requested waiting for other services to complete. Deboarding. Hmm. I think it's stuck in like a perpetual. We'll see if the fuel truck comes up, but I think it's stuck right now. MD80 is getting better and better, but it's definitely still not the best. Yeah, I definitely think it needs some work. We should be reboarding. I'm not quite sure what, what is going on. Maybe I need to restart the Kutal script. Let me restart that quickly. Let me come down here. We're going to reset all. My flights import from Simbrief. Good. Mass and balance. We're just going to give GSX a second to kind of catch up here. All right. Now it should be good. Load aircraft. GSX. Should be good now. Who did the donation on World Flight? Uh, that was Statui for charity. Statui. Infinite Flight Guy, what's up, man? Good to see you, dude. Welcome back. Hope we're doing well. Hope all is well, man. All right. It should be good now. 
Should start boarding passengers. Should start getting some baggage loaders and stuff up to the aircraft. Your Microsoft is so stuttery. Uh, just because I switched views and it's trying to load in aircraft, man. It's pretty normal. Notice GSX being a little bit more buggy in the last updates. Um, I think that was my fault. I don't think I loaded the... Uh, I don't, for some reason it wasn't done deboarding and I restarted the GSX script. Now you can actually see that like things are happening. They're actually like moving, you know, they're actually, actually leaving and doing their thing. It says that it's also boarding the passengers now. So if we look at our tablet, you can see that we should be, there we go. You can see that passengers are actually boarding, which they weren't doing before. So probably my fault. I think you have to be a little bit, a little bit, uh, easy with it sometimes. Did you get the cost index from the OFP? Um, I usually, Alexander, only go with a cost index of five for my climb. Usually gives the best performance in the climb, cost and to speed and climb ratio. Um, and then I usually bump it up to about 35 or, or 55, you know? I think so, Matt Hub. Yeah, I think you can do that as well. I'm not quite sure how it works, but I think so. Apparently today's catering is, uh, I'm gonna have to remove the GSE, the ground services. I guess I don't need all these ground service stuff around the scenery. I bet I get better performance if I removed all this stuff as well, cause it's way too cluster right now. Like, look, we got Southwest, catering coming up we got the fuel truck out right now like we literally got everything going on <clears throat> here's the refueling catering's going on as well you've tried doing it though uh you came a flop ah ecamp i used to get crushed desktops referring to nt dll kutal dll sometimes even lack of virtual memory usually these come together just happened two hours flight on cruise any suggestions I've never received those ones, so I really don't know what would be causing that, man. I don't know. How do you remove them? Um, in the scenery. So if you go to your, if you go to the Indie Builds launcher, you should have a choice to remove like ground service clutters and ground service vehicles and stuff. It should be through the options when you install the scenery. You can like turn them on and off. Start refueling here momentarily. There we go. We're refueling. Do you have any plans to use Beyond ATC when it comes out? Seems quite impressive for what I've seen. I don't know, man. RCM, usually they're flying on VATSIM or Pilot Edge. I don't know how much you'd see it on the channel. Maybe. We'll have to see, man. If there's if there's enough of a, a demand for me to start using it, it may be something that I may consider, but... There's a small problem in that in since Phoenix 820 CFM and IEs came out. Maybe. I don't know. Lack of virtual memory comes with using the app that makes Google Maps instead of Bing Maps. Hmm. Um, Infinite Flight Guy, 52 months. Thank you, dude. Says, wow, 52 months. Can't wait for June to see you at FS Expo. Uh, have you booked your flights to Vegas yet? And can we see Daisy, our first officer? Uh, Daisy is in my room sleeping, so I'm not going to bug her. Um, I have not booked my flights yet. I'm just waiting for a response back from Thrustmaster. Usually Thrustmaster books my flights and just sends me all the information. I have asked them this year if I can book my own flights and then just invoice them for how much the flights cost. So I'm just waiting for my response. They were on holidays this last week. Uh, it was March break in Canada for a lot of Canada last week and this week coming up. Um, so they'll be back in the office next week and um, I'll get an answer from them. And as soon as I get an answer from them, I'll book my flights. Yeah. Only time I think you're using Beyond ATCs in small airports like Innsbruck or when I'm flying offline. Exactly, you know? Thank you again, Infinite Flight Guy. I appreciate you, man. I just read it. Sorry, man. I didn't see it right, right away. 
Thank you for the 52 months, man. Appreciate you, dude. Sceneries that aren't Unibuilds, how do you remove the clutter the manual way? I don't know, JR. That is a good question. I'm not quite sure. I'm not, I'm not well versed in that. You probably have to like open up like the scenery, go in like the SDK and remove some stuff, you know? So. Don't tell us so much about your relations with Thrustmaster. Who are you, my lawyer? You my mommy? What, what's wrong with what I'm saying? Everybody knows that I go to Flight Sim Expo sponsored by Thrustmaster. I live stream and I'm exclusively at the Thrustmaster booth the entire expo. This is not secretive or information that's not known. The fuck? Use the Bing one with no mods on it? I, I don't use Bing. If that's what's causing issues, I don't know. Um, we just had uh, Tower jump online. Okay, Tower just sent us an A cars as well. So that's cool. Um, Kurt Pavel 2 departure SB V expect 301 minutes departure frequency 122 uh, expect plan runway 21 right so they are going to send us to the right side interesting I wonder why they do that um, 21 right I guess that's where they're going to send us for they send us all the way around here 21 right probably for just I guess getting us out that way but um, okay, well, we have to start revisiting things down here, chat. So we're gonna go back to our flight plan. We'll go to DTW. Um, we are gonna plan two one right for departure as for what the controller is suggesting. Um, and he did clear us on to the uh, Pavel two. So everything, the rest remains unchanged with the SB transition. And yeah, we'll insert that. We're just changing two one right. Okay, cool. Uh, Ronnie, thank you, man. I appreciate you. Huge no floaties too. Says, thinking of doing Heathrow to Kuala Lumpur tonight. 17 months have flown by. Hopefully many more to come. Hope you're having a great day, Captain. Ronnie, huge no floaties to you, man. Thank you for 17 months as a, uh, as a first class member. Incredibly kind, man. I really do appreciate you, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, that sounds like a good one. How long is that flight? Heathrow to Kuala Lumpur. That's gotta be... That's a long one. What's that? 10? 9? 10 hours? I know I have Air Boeing... Uh, I have an Air Boeing set up. Boeing yoke with Airbus throttles. There you go. Nothing wrong with that, man. There's a minor issue with the Phoenix that there is the landing gear sound lag. Once the gear's lever is down, it takes one to two seconds for the gear sound to come through the Phoenix. I think that's normal, to be honest with you, Matt Av. I think that that's very normal. I think that uh, you don't necessarily hear the noise as soon as the gear gets dropped. I think that's normal. I think we're done refueling. I think those guys are done. Yeah. Wait, does it saying how much that cost? $2,797, chat. That's, that's gotta be false. There's no way 3,000 kilos of fuel only cost $2,700. Is that right, $2,800? For 3,000 kilos of fuel. I feel like we need to add another zero onto that. For that to make sense. But here come the baggage loaders doing their thing. You got a discount. <laughs> you got me ever use self-loading cargo? I have, yes. Um, I still think just using GSX is, in my opinion. It, it, GSX is the whole is the whole shebang. You actually get like, you know, the catering, the cargo, the yeah, all of it, you know? Do you see the text.exe stiffy in the bin behind the seats? Yes. Bootleg Jet 1A fuel, only for spirit, right? Must be these IAE engines. They take, they take other fuel, different fuel. No problem. If it was 27k, then there would be no profit on flights. True. Thousand gallons, probably six bucks a gallon. You would think. 82 cents per kilo is average. Is that what it is? I don't know, man. Who wants to offer to pay the fuel bill today? It's a big one, man. It is spirit. The fuel price might be right. Maybe. Who knows? Who knows?
You're excited to see the Australian Zoo after we land? Am I missing something? That one went way over my head, Mopar. Am I missing something? Should I know what you're talking about? Just let me know if I should know what you're talking about. <clears throat> That's the Oscar Oscar Mike fuel. <laughs> nice. Chicago fuel prices. Ayo. How are we in Chicago already, Jack? He thought a Kuala Lumpur is 12 hour and 50 minute according to Google. He. That's a little bit long. A little bit long for my liking. Just a little bit though. How do you choose the gates for your flights? Is it random? Uh, cardio, no, I use Flight Radar 2.4. So Flight Radar 2.4, if you have the silver or gold or whatever membership, um, this is an annual subscription, you can actually zoom in and it'll show you. This is not the flight, this is the departing flight that we went to, but the other flight, you could see if you zoom all the way in, you could see that it went into the like Delta, there's Delta 12. You can see a Spirit parked here at Delta 11, I think that is, so. Yeah, if you zoom in, you can see where they're parked and yeah, uh, this is where the flight that we did, the other flight, this is the return flight, so you can see where they TK ass on and turned out, but uh, the previous flight, that's where they parked was Delta 19. Check DMs. Ooh, this is top notch, Daniel. Chat, Daniel is hard at work on a Saturday for you guys, by the way. How about that? Get that as a die cut sticker? Be, I'm only gonna get like so many of those made. So many of those, we'll, we'll get a few ones made. This is quality, Daniel. This is quality. Daniel working for us on a Saturday chat. Better be appreciative. Mr. Daniel Berry, the one and only. That's a, that's a beauty. <laughs> Oh, uh, dude. You still prefer the oval for the record? So do I, but that makes so much more sense, Daniel. Because it's an actual... It's an actual VOR, like... Is there a storm over DTW? Those clouds are gray. There's a storm everywhere right now, Infinite Flight Guy. Yeah, it's, it's bad. The weather is not very nice right now. The oval is ironic. The oval looks good, too. I don't know, man. That looks so good, though, because it's an actual VOR. That's the one, Lee. Yes, correct. The Oscar Oscar Mike VOR. That is the one the controller got upset about at us. Yes, and told us to study our charts. <laughs> that is the one. Clear skies out of ORD, bit bumpy though, en route to Denver. Nice. So it's clear up in Chicago. Nasty down here still. We approve, yes. Yes, we do. That needs to be a t-shirt. It'd be a great one, actually. It's funny, though, because, like, only... Only us would know what this is about. And that's what I think makes it so good. Is, like, most people would look at that and they'd be like... The fuck does this guy have a Hoosier VOR? Like, who, like what? Who cares about this? Little do they know how how much the Hoosier VOR means to us. That's where it could be hilarious. Where do you get announcements for the Phoenix? There's a Discord that you can join. Uh, let me see if I can get you a link to that Discord. Uh, I actually left that Discord already. If somebody can send me a link, I think it, who sent me the link? I think it was Jay? JJ sent me the link to it, I think. Hold on, I may be able to get it. Yeah, it's right here. Copy. Here's the link to the Discord that has all the... Uh, all the cabin announcements.
I'm in love with the IE engines, do the fly-by-wire Latin VFR A321 PMG 737 are catching dust and rust in the maintenance hangar, it's, uh, or in the Microsoft hangar, yeah, it's, uh, I've enjoyed flying the airplane, man, I've, I've, I feel like I'm just kind of getting used to the new flight model as well, um, but I enjoy it, I, I do enjoy it, yeah. Why do you use FS to crew for your flights? I don't use FS to crew for my flights. This is the dumbest Midwestern winter ever. It's been crazy, man. It's been super mild. Super mild. Uh, I'm taking it, man. Definitely taking it. In hindsight, we should thank the Grumpy Controller for Count Canada's inside joke. I mean, shit. Landing was on the floaty side. I mean, a little bit, but nothing too crazy. It's not like we were floating half the runway. Did we float maybe just a little bit extra for that perfect butter? Absolutely. We still vacated the runway. One, we were still well within the touchdown zone. And two, we still vacated the runway exactly where we wanted to vacate without slamming on the brakes or anything. So no, I'm perfectly happy with that landing. Perfectly happy. Not all flights land on the thousand footers, guys. It's okay. The winds were also crazy, dude. Considering the winds were gusting, made a slight little quartering crosswind. <clears throat> very little rudder correction before we touched down, but no, I'm very happy with it. Yeah. We have Oscar Oscar Mike in Detroit, exactly. Boom in Detroit. Quick cabin tour? No, no cabin tours. Cabin tours are retired. I don't even have the cabin turned on. So even if I wanted to do a cabin tour, look. There's your cabin tour. No cabin, sorry. You noticing the IEs motoring longer for quick turn flights? Read somewhere that they'll do that as a cooling function. Correct. Yes. Very unrealistic landing for Spirit. Don't worry, we'll get the realistic one back into New York. I'll absolutely plant it into New York. <clears throat> Just so you guys can be like, wow. Smash. Spam the smash emoji on me. But I, I, I full blown plan on absolutely planting it back into New York City. We had the beautiful landing. Now we get to fly back to New York and just smash it in, man. We'll be perfectly good to go. The aircraft is hard to land. That landing was excellent. I don't think so. I'm getting used to it more and more, that's for sure now, but... Uh, realism, exactly. Why'd you turn the cabin off? Does it eat frames? Uh, I don't know if it does anything to do with the frames. I just don't like having the cabin on because when you have the cabin on, you can't get good wing views, right? I prefer having a wing view without the window attached to it so that I can see everything, right? I don't like looking through like a little window where I can barely see the engine. I much prefer a wing view like this where like I am I am the window. There you go. Alright, we are fully boarded. Aircraft loaded. We'll dismiss this. We're going to send this information down to the McDo. We'll go to our knit ref tab. <clears throat> go to our knit B. We've got 61, 31, 6, 6 6.5. Good. All of that looks well. We're going to, uh, sorry, cost index of five with a cruise level of 370. That is our cruise altitude today. Good, init B, init A is done, wonderful. Go to our performance numbers now. We'll grab some perf numbers up here from our electronic flight bag. Uh, DTW, two on right, surface conditions are dry. We're doing a flaps one departure today. Force Togo no anti-ice off packs will be on. Sync our load sheet, sync the live weather, and we'll calculate our V-speeds. 42, 42, 43. Flaps one slash down 0 0.3 flex of 62. And we're looking for 1640 across the board for our throttle. Um, engine out and acceleration. Um, good. We'll send all that data down to the McDo. <clears throat> Beautiful. What was the number? 1468. Just want to make sure I... 1640. Uh, 1640, 1640. Good. And then we're going 1640 in this guy as well. Beautiful. Um, that is done. That is set. We'll go ahead and APU master start switch can come on. Good. Recently changed all my Microsoft to new drive and had to download everything again. My jetways and DTW are purple and pink. Sounds like you're missing some type of scenery file. I would uninstall the scenery and reinstall it, man. Sounds like you're missing some files, some libraries or something that comes with it. Because they definitely shouldn't be doing that. That's for sure. All right, APU is spooling up. Let's jump outside. We'll listen to this bad boy spooling. Music is coming down here in a second as well. 
All right, there we go. Music is done. We'll pause that. Listen to that EPU spooling. Everybody ready to go deaf? Good. So am I. I need to get new headphones again, chat. There's a rattle in this headset and it's driving me bananas. I think I'm going to order some new headsets. I don't know if I'm going with the same one. I like these ones. I really do like these ones. Um, the quality is a little bit iffy. You can see it's starting to fall apart. The ear pad is starting to fall apart as well. I don't know. They're not that expensive. That's why I would maybe go with another pair of these. I think they're like 100 bucks or 120 bucks. You excited for MK Studios LaGuardia? <laughs> depends on the performance. Really depends on the performance, Diego. Uh, APU bleed comes on. Good external power comes off. Fuel pumps go on. Red beacon light is on. Seatbelt sign is on. That's going to let the ground crew know we are ready for push and start. Uh, I have a new squawk code. Uh, I think. New squawk code. Uh, squawk code. Departure... 7242. Nope, 7242. Good. And we're already on a reporting, so that's good. Beautiful. Um, I don't think we have to call for pushback. Do I have to call for pushback? Uh, we're going to push back onto Echo. I don't think we have to call for push. I'm not quite sure, though. Depends where the no movement is. See, I don't know why everybody's pushing back this way, unless he's going out like that, unless he's going that way and around. I guess. We'll see. We'll see what they end up giving us. Uh, we got some company messages to work through here for a quick second. Go to our McDo menu, Atsu, AOC, received. Uh, arrival message, return. Oops. Load sheet, accept. Load sheet. Except, and then we're going to have the other ones because I messed up on that. So we've got 180 plus 1, an absolute full airplane today, chat. 180 plus 1. So full airplane today for us. We're looking good. Frame gen actually does wonders. Went from 20 to 30 FPS in Toronto to 50, 60. Yes. It essentially doubles. If you have it installed and working correctly, it essentially doubles your frames. Maybe a little bit less. Maybe like 90% your frames, right? Uh, nose right facing southwest on taxi line Echo. I believe that's what we want to do. Release parking brakes, cool. Park brake is released. Push. Mikko, thanks so much for support, man. Appreciate you, dude. Huge no floaties to you. Thank you very, very much for support. That is incredibly kind. I really do appreciate you, man. 1 through 5.0, we're online there. Um, APU's on, bleeds are on, seatbelts are on. Good. We should have started our pushback as well, which we have. So we'll go engine to the start position. Sounds can go up. And we'll spool up engine number two go and I'm assuming he's going to want us to go out this way so that's why we're he's pushed back that way because he's going to go out there and I'm going to push back this way so we can go out that way as well Michael thank you for the support man appreciate you dude huge enough floaties to you thank you thank you thank you man block time hey thanks for reminding me block time is on got us a standoff on the taxiway now it may take a second for the engines to spool up because of the cool down, the crank. So we'll keep an eye on them. I can already tell that they don't sound like they're spooling properly because they're probably cooling down. What is the temperature that I'm looking for, chat? Here comes fuel flow now. But what's the temperature? It has to be under 250. There goes N2, the temperature was under 250, and there it goes now. So I love that they've actually modeled that. It's pretty damn cool, man. Pretty damn cool. Please set parking brakes. Set. Alright, good. That's looking good and set. Let's give him a flash, chat. Flash our taxi that on. Almost uh, air start time or hot start. No, you just turn it over to crank. Just turn it to crank and you'd be fine. I wonder if you can sit at the gate and run them crank to cool them while you set up for the flight. I don't know how they do it, to be honest with you. I don't know. All right, engine number one is already under 250, so that will be good. Let's go ahead and start up engine number one. Get the P 
PTU barking away. I don't know if I would ever go with both, to be honest with you, man. I don't know. I'd have to look at their headsets, Mark, but I wouldn't want an aviation headset. Kilo Yankee, Kilo sets up the Yankee Victor and Mike 2 on right. The Cactus 22. Sparrow at 172, once the Cactus taxi behind the company clears. Kilo, continue. <laughs> Mid flight today from Zegar, Croatia to Kakao in Poland, all the way with ATC. Fun, fun, fun. Nice, Michael. Yes, very fun. Sounds great, dude. Um, what's that voice? Hey, man, don't make, of any, don't make fun of anybody on Batsim, dude. You don't know what's going on, man. I believe that he's had throat cancer, and that's why it's like that. So I wouldn't, you know, now you probably feel like a piece of shit for saying something. So don't uh, just keep that in mind, man. Don't You don't know what anybody's dealing with. Get some Sennheisers. I've had Sennheisers before, Greg. I've been eyeing down the Bear Dynamic okay, uh, TT770 closebacks. We'll, uh, Those are the ones that I've been eyeing down. I love the sound under the, the DTs, uh, the Bear Dynamics, but um, we'll see. We'll see. Probably going to come down to price, you know? Who offers it at the best price? Um, two good engines. Looking good. Let's go engine mode selector back to the normal position. Ground spoilers armed. Flaps one. Go auto brake. RTO max. Um, down trim 0 0.3. Good. And upstairs, EP can come off. EP bleed can come off. I can turn that down just a little bit there. Beautiful. And we're all looking good there. Cool. Most does not do gaming headsets. I would not recommend using their stuff for gaming. Probably will not yield to a pleasant experience. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, Cactus 2254, traffic, no factor, can you see taxi? Alright. Traffic, no factor, can you see taxi? Cactus 2254. Spare wings 172, get the taxi, uh, can possibly get the taxi going, you have traffic combined. Yes, sir, we're on. Tower Lopes, we're being 313, hold position. Hold position, Spruings, uh, 313. Just ordered some Korean fried chicken. Ooh. The jet blue coming south on Kilo. Runway 21 right taxi via Kilo side step Yankee Victor Mike. Sorry, was that for Spruings 313? Yep, yeah, sorry. Uh, after the jet blue coming up the ramp from Kilo. Uh, so hold on, he held position. All right, we'll wait for the uh, jet blue coming up on Kilo for Spare Wings 313. Yeah, so uh, after that jet blue, uh, runway 21 right taxi via Kilo, sidestep to Yankee Victor and Mike. All right, Kilo will sidestep to Yankee Victor and Mike for 21 right, Spare Wings 313. Kilo, sidestep to Yankee. Spare Wings 172, will you be ready to go at the end? Uh, okay, Yankee. Uh, Kilo, sidestep to Yankee, which I think will be right there. Uh, Victor, and then Mike. So we're looking good. I wonder what sidestep means. Does that mean just like right here we go over, or is that... Do we just continue all the way down Kilo and then make a right on Victor? I wonder what sidestep means. I wonder if there's like taxi instructions for that, but... Or is he just saying go out anywhere that I can? Move to the side? Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Like what... Where? At what point do I move to the side? Do I take Kilo 8, Kilo 7, Kilo 6, Kilo 5, or do I just continue down Kilo? The instructions were Kilo, sidestep to Yankee, Victor, Mike, runway 21 right. Taxi 
It means go to Yankee via Kilo intersection when able. Intersection? So at any one of these? Like, I could go out at Kilo 8. Should I go out at Kilo 8 and then Yankee? So there's the jet blue. Park brake off. Start moving forward. There he goes. T taxi spurring two thirteen hours. All right, takeoff config test is done and checked. We'll get our nose light on. We're leaving the ramp area. Line of way, runway eight two one right, get to twenty two. Good, good, good. Back after a show. Uh, do we make it to Cord yet? <laughs> Maybe. Right, I'm going to stick on Kilo here for a minute. Have to do some JetBlue Ops, mostly United so far. Nice. We'll go out on the next one here. There's that spirit departing. 2-2, two, two, right? Cap, can you show us your brake sensitivities? Um, I believe I have them set to default and just ch turn your reactivity down. My reactivity is down to 5%. It doesn't matter whenever you get over to Yankee. Well, I'll do it now in case there's another uh, inbound airplane I'm trying to use Kilo. We'll make a left now. What sensitivities do you have your twist sass tiller access to? I think I have it set to minus 40 on either one, <clears throat> I believe. All right, then we're making a left turn onto Victor, which is all the way down here right before the runway. Be out on Victor. <clears throat> What's my favorite taxiway? Oof. It's a tough one, man. There's so many great taxiways out there. <laughs> Real tough one. I don't know, dude. <laughs> for, a second, for a second, I thought you said kilos must be stepped on. I was like, wow, we're not flying in Columbia today. Experiment 172, you're climbing out of my earth. This is not for the teeth. For the chance to move on great blood. Polderbahn? Papa? Papa for Polderbahn? This is Bravo. We're making a left on Victor. Bravo seems pretty cool. Could be pretty cool, yeah. As well. Really asking the hard hitting questions today. <laughs> oh my god. <clears throat> Guys, chill out, man. Don't, but don't be disrespectful, man. Obviously, he's not. I don't think anybody would choose to speak like that on purpose. So, like, let's just chill. Clearly, he's got something going on, right? He flies with us quite often. So, if it's your first time hearing him, I'm not, I'm not sure what to tell you. But okay, yeah, just chill. Right. Right, so, show off. a little bit of respect, chat. It goes Our a long way. Trust me. Runway two one right, clear for takeoff. Okay, just twenty two fifty four. I love how responsive. I actually find the IEs, they do take a second to spool up, but I actually like how responsive they feel as well. I do enjoy that. Do you think the 737 MAX has a future because of the accidents? Uh, I mean, I'm sure it does, yes. I don't know to what extent. <clears throat> I know that a lot of people are, are seeking Embraer and Airbus now, so I don't know. I don't know. We're out on Victor. We're gonna make a left turn on to Mike, and then all the way up for two one right. Now you need to hit this pen before uh, takeoff. A. Hey. Cheers to that, man. I can't take a blinker. This cartridge is brand new and it's harsh. It's hurt. No, Flame man, that's not it at all. But at the same point, it's like, listen, you don't know what's going on, right? So. Trying to preach the good word, man. You know, you don't know what's going on in people's lives. You don't know the circumstances, so maybe it's not the best to, you know. I don't think he's choosing to go on Vatsim and to speak like that is what I was getting at. Just be respectful, man. That's all it is. Especially to other Vatsim users. I don't care what you guys say about me, but just be respectful of other Vatsim users. That's the, you know, the main thing. 
Make some toga no packs takeoffs. Oof. No, we're gonna need likes, man. We're gonna need likes for toga takeoffs, John. I don't know how many likes are we at. Two twenty-four. We should be able to hit <clears throat> three hundred likes. If we hit three hundred likes before takeoff, we need seventy-five more likes. If we hit three hundred likes by the time we get to the end of this taxiway, I will do a packs off toga takeoff. That's gonna be some serious, some serious deep diving on the likes there, chat. <clears throat> Can we make it happen? 300 likes. Packs off. Toga take off. Only if we hit 300 likes, though. We gotta, we gotta have some some compromises here. Dislikes. Hey, man, that's on you, dude. Okay, uh, 2254, you're you like to Myers, please, no further. Did you have a great photo of Alberta? In the summer, I fly to the Maldives first time with Emirates and maybe on a 77 Max and fly to Dubai. Ooh, that'd be fun. That'd be really fun. So 100% death ratio. <laughs> and the packs are not coming back on. <laughs> That's what we should do. And packs don't come back on until we reach 350 likes. Huh? There you go, chat. You're just tuning in now. 300. Look, we're... Oh, shit. I was going to say we're... Uh, we're racing the Delta A320 over there. Who's getting the first takeoff? I'm racing you. I'm gonna slow down. I want you to go first. We need to reach our goal. 350 likes, chat. Sorry, 300 likes. 300 likes, we do a toga packs off takeoff. 300 likes. We gotta do it, chat. We'll let him win. Oh, he's letting us win. No, we gotta slow down, chat. Metro Tower, American 1258 with information. Charlie looking to pick up IF. Gotta get the likes, absolutely. New rules, turn the packs off, and when we reach 300, is reached. Chat's going to kill us, man. I don't trust them. I don't trust them at all. At all. Gap, you got any of your shirts for sale by chance uh, so they could be authentic, worn, flying shirts by Cap? No, I don't. Spirit Wings 313 looks like you won the race there from like 2 on right last way. Uh, two on right will line up away. You know what? We could be we could be friendly. We'll, we'll give it over to the Delta if you'd like it. I look at that Delta twenty two thirty one. Spare wings is being nice for one. So they're gonna charge you five bucks. We'll line up away. <laughs> we'll line up away. Thank nice. you, uh, Mr. School Bus, for letting us uh, take off before you. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> that was good. All right, see, look, chat. I bought us more time. We should get to three hundred likes. Three hundred likes. Toga packs off. Take off. How many likes away are we? We, we, we got to be close. 300 likes, make it happen, chat. I, I've just bought us an extra like one minute or two minutes of separation time to ensure that we can get this 300 likes. We'll stop here and hold short. We'll watch the beautiful Delta A320 departing out of runway 21 right. We got to be close, chat. Have we achieved it? We got to be close. If you haven't done so, smash down that thumbs up. Having some fun with chat today. Gonna hop in the MD-11 tonight. Gonna go back to X-Plane again just for that plane. Absolutely awesome. Nice, man. Great. We've got an MD-11 coming here soon for uh, Microsoft. I'm hoping it's gonna be just as good. I'm, uh, I'm very excited. Yeah. We reached our goal. Hey, chat. All right. Toga packs off. Sounds up. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna annihilate my left, uh, my left earbud. It's already vibrating and weirdly right, broken. Uh, Zulu for Delta 2231, uh, no floaties. No floaties. Arnav. 313, two. runway 2 and right, line up and wait, caution the jet blast. Up and wait, uh, 2 and right, to Spirit, 313. Imagine flying an extinct plane on Vatsim, how nerdy. An extinct plane on Vatsim? What are you talking about, man? If you're, gonna, if you're trying to make fun of us or something, you got to do better than that, dude. Come on. You haven't said anything in 20 minutes, and that's the best you can come up with? I think you need to go back to troll school, man. It's not very good. Not very good at all. You're, you're losing the battle, my friend. <clears throat> you are losing the battle, good sir. All right, let's get this bad boy lined up. Two, one, right. All of our lights are on. We're lit up nicely. Oof. Look at that lineup. 
professional. Ready to go, chat. On the brakes. Park brake is back on. Good. Cool. Wonderful 16 minutes so far. Not bad. 16 minutes. Tax of the runway and hold note. When was the last time you flew on an MD-11 IRL? Hold in two minutes for traffic at that Delta Coast. So let's see what happens. No problems for wings 13 uh, MD-11 still fly all the time. Tower. They, they fly cargo, man. Remember, there will be no sim update after sim update 16 until 2024 launches. What are we on right now? Sim update 15 is about to come out, right, Sherwin? So we're going to have radar one more. Break. Spirit wind 313, RDAP, Joe Lou, runway 21, left, clear, uh, correction, 2 on right, clear for takeoff. RDAP, Joe Lou, uh, 2 on right, cleared for takeoff, Spirit wing 313. All right. Park brake is off. Upstairs, packs off as promised chat um sounds are up joystick cam is on you guys ready Delta let's do it right. throw up, up to about 40 percent chrono comes on all the way chat man toga srs nav select nose down pressure on the side stick air speeds alive Minus the crazy ass quartering tail crosswind. That was good. Um, 313, you're climbing on our airspace. Pay it off to be, pay it to be nice. I guess that Delta took the bird for you. No further. Why don't you come up your place? Uh, I'm sure Sim crashed. That sucks. Over to Unicom. Have a great day, man. Thank you for jumping on. Give us ATC. We'll see you soon. It's very sweet, 13. Flaps clean. Unicom up to our cruise altitude 370. Good up into the soup as well, so I'm throwing on autopilot, bringing you guys back up into the flight deck, 4,000 feet, and climbing. Good, good. Man, that was, uh, whew. Those were, sound was spectacular on that departure. My goodness. Yeah, I was, uh, there's one thing that I really gotta get used to, um, and I think I know what the problem is, and I'm gonna check afterwards. It's the, the dead zone that they put. So Phoenix says to use a 9% dead zone. And I feel like that's where I'm really struggling with my rudder pedals. Because they are the Thrustmaster Pendular Rudder System and it is a little bit sensitive, that that 9% dead zone that they suggest that you use makes it real, real weird. Your sim didn't crash. The Phoenix app crashed. Ew. Well, that sucks, man. Oof. Look at that. Up and above the clouds. That sucks, dude. Yeah, that was insane. Thank you, chat, for 300 likes and getting us uh, that wonderful um, packs off toga takeoff. Sheesh. Ripping out of there. <clears throat> so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to using my 2% dead zone that I used to use and... I'm going to try that because I'm really struggling trying to keep any type, any time there's any type of like gusting crosswind, I'm just, I find myself constantly fighting the rudder pedals instead of me being able to make like small adjustments. I feel like I'm like constantly going like this to try and fix it 
and uh, obviously it's not working very well so hey gap do you install the phoenix on the c drive or do you change the install location i believe it's on my c drive yes i think so got to run to costco Ooh, lucky man have a fun time <clears throat> costco's a blast uh, why do we have a discontinuity up here? I need to remove that. There we go. And nine is too much, I would agree. Yes. Okay. Um, remember what I said about the arrival for Milton? So here it says, you can see it says, uh, where was it? Mark at 18,000. If we look here, you can see it's got us at Mark at 34,000 feet. So we're going to want to change that. Um, so we're going to want to go... Um, altitude constriction, 18,000 feet, and we're going to insert that. Okay, good. Uh, from there, we're just going to confirm a couple other ones. You can see we've got Billy at 13,000. So if we scroll down and we find Billy, we're going to see Billy. Right now, it's at 15, so we're going to go 13. A little bit more of a steep descent. So Billy at 13,000, and we'll insert that. And then what we're going to want to do is uh, the next restriction was, I believe... Uh, beauty at 10,000. So we'll find beauty. There's beauty, and we're actually going to put 10,000 at beauty. All right, and we'll insert that. Good. Okay. Uh, wonderful. And then those are all the restrictions coming in on the approach. Now, these are expects. These are not, ho these are not hard, like, these are expect altitudes. But we do have New York City on. We have New York uh, Center online most likely they're going to want us to respect those things. You know what I mean? So, I gave you as many chances as I can. Just go kick rocks, man. Go kick rocks, dude. I gave you as many opportunities of trying. I, 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 I told you guys in 2024, I'm doing my best not to just, like, ban the idiots immediately. But if people are going to do stupid shit like that and be racist and, like, just, yeah. Obviously, we zero, zero tolerance to that type of stupid behavior. Go kick rocks, kid. Have a good life, man. Are you using reshade or anything? I am not. No. Default sim. Default sim. Some people's kids, they should have been swallowed, as I like to say. I know that that sounds harsh, but... Mommy should have... You know, it's the reality sometimes. Sometimes life is harsh. Um, I mainly use flex, but sometimes in the 340, I have to use toga because it's a heavy girl. Exactly. Toga's fun, man, every once in a while, you know? It's fun. What happened? Don't worry about it. It's nothing. It's fine. It's all good, man. It's all good. It's, it's taken care of. It's done. Harsh, but the truth the truth is never easy. Hey, man. It's the truth. <laughs> Damn. Smash that thumbs up. Yes, sir. We're going for 350. Now that we reached 300, I don't know what we can do on... How about a no... No landing gear landing for a thousand likes, chat. <laughs> we should start setting these just absolutely incredible goals that we could never achieve. But if we did ever achieve, we got to land with like one wheel or something like that. Nose, nose wheel first landing. This has gone someplace over the rainbow. <laughs> Saturday, man. Sorry. That's the cap I miss. Don't worry, he's still here, man. Just, you know, trying to keep things as not as crazy. I can't be telling everybody to go fist themselves, you know. Barrel roll and approach for 2,000 likes. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? Yeah, if you go to the EFB in the settings and you click use airline settings, it will use the actual configuration of the airline. You need to switch on your callouts and units. Uh, no, I know that CWA. I don't. I don't personally like to do that. I like to keep it just like the way that I fly it. Right. I like having all the callouts as well. So, yeah. Some people shouldn't be on the internet. Agree with that one wholeheartedly. Yeah. Definitely, man. Definitely. Because like, imagine what these people look like in real life, right? Like, imagine somebody came up to you and did, like, I'd punch them in the nose as quick as, as quick as possible. Just a little boop. Right in the nose. I guarantee he doesn't, doesn't act like that. Doesn't say shit like that anymore. That's the problem. On the internet, people can't get punched in the face. And you can really tell. Some people really, really, really can tell when you've met somebody and they've never been punched in the face. It's as clear as day. Some people just fucking need to be punched in the face. That's just the reality of it. It's unfortunate sometimes, but I'm telling you. 
Bet you wouldn't act that way if you got punched in the face. Just an open hand slap. Yeah, it's a good one too, for sure. Yeah. It's a flight sim stream for crying out loud. <laughs> You're right. You see the stuff we have to deal with by working on the internet? Spexio? It's crazy, isn't it? This is what happens, man. A backhand slap would do the job great. Yeah. <laughs> yep. I need to be punched. Some people do, man. Some people do. Incapacitated pilot landing on the shortest runway. No, we leave that for Will. We leave, that's, that's a perfect Will. Short. YouTube short. Just hit 100 hours on Vatsim? Nice. Congrats, man. Very cool. How was your first 100 hours? How has your experience been so far? Have you been enjoying it? Oh yes, gone and gone, Steven. We tried to give him the benefit of the doubt, but then he just started being all racist and shit and putting stuff in chat. Just being stupid. Discontinuity equals Detroit. <laughs> we didn't get to see much of Detroit, man. I mean, to be fair, I much prefer this. This looks beautiful. The kind of cloud cover in between some land. I believe we're over Canada right now, actually. Yeah, we're definitely over Canada. See how beautiful the land is down there, chat? That's how I knew we were over Canada. Um, but we're very quickly going to leave the Canadian airspace. Now, I wonder how this works. I wonder who controls this little sector here. Is this Toronto center or would this be considered like how, do, like, what do you do? Do you de depart Detroit out of with Detroit and then Detroit departure eventually hands you over to Toronto center? And then Toronto Center hands you over to Cleveland Center? Or do all U.S. flights in this area automatically get sent to Cleveland Center? I would be curious to know. Like, if, if I have a flight plan, let's say I'm departing Detroit and I'm going, staying U.S., would I end up doing Toronto Center even up here? Hmm. Toronto Center takes you? Interesting. Very interesting. I always wonder how that worked, because, like, what are we, in the airspace for maybe seven, ten minutes? It's interesting. They have to use Canadian phraseology? <laughs> it's all the same. Oh, we're just a boot, a boot near that waypoint, eh? There, I don't think there's much of a difference between the Canadian and the U.S. phraseology when it comes to that. I don't think there's any difference, is there? Bunch of hosers, get out of my waypoint, eh, you hoosiers? Go to Oscar, Oscar, Mike. It's similar out west. <coughs> Vancouver Terminal handers, handles one of the American islands. Interesting. Hmm. They keep apologizing. Oh, sorry about that. You had to come into our airspace there a little bit of a squeak. Very sorry about that, eh? We'll have you back down to Cleveland in no time. Enjoy the maple syrup. <laughs> I love that that's how, like, everybody thinks Canadians are. <laughs> oh, man, it's great. Take us Osprey, what's up, man? Good to see you, dude. Welcome back. Cap, don't risk your Thrustmaster sponsorship on dealing with little kids. Who's, again, who's risking any sponsorship dealing with anybody? I don't, under I don't even understand what you guys are talking about, man. It is, it is... There is no question of a, of a doubt. Everybody knows that I travel to Flight Sim Expo with Thrustmaster on behalf of Thrustmaster. That is not a secret. There is no secret. There is, there is nothing that I am possibly going to get in trouble about anything. Also, Thrustmaster is an amazing company. They, they don't, they're not, nor would they ever get any upset about anything like that, man. Well, you seem very rattled today. <laughs> Ow, man. Just, we're having a great day. We've had some great laughs, some great conversations. I don't know. I think you guys seem to be. Some people in chat today have the case of the weekends or something. Or the case of the Mondays. Chat's being weird as hell today, man. You'd be risking your sponsors if you didn't deal with people more like... <laughs> people are insane, man. I, I, I feel it's chat, dude. I feel it's chat. 
fight level maple syrup 350. We've got some maple syrup for you up there. <laughs> Could you imagine that, man? Every time a plane landed? It'd be hilarious, dude. Uh, it's coming up on spring break. Is that is that next week for all of the kids? Uh, spring break was this week that just passed for a lot of people here. Um, I wonder if spring break is this week coming up next week, yeah. Hey, no pointing fingers now, eh, bud? <laughs> Hockey at flight level 310. We're all rattled, you know, because of landing in Detroit instead of Chicago. Yeah, we were supposed to go to Chicago. We were making calls on Chicago, but we weren't there. Uh, smoke ribs and coat them with maple syrup and butter. Ooh, yeah, that would be good. I'd be down for that. That'd be real good. You know what I really want to try, JJ? Proper, like, burnt ends. Like, proper, proper burnt ends. I kind of had burnt ends, but, I, yeah. I want proper burnt ends. I love both Airbus and Boeing products, but I had an issues with the Boeing yoke. The aileron axis was messed up, glitched all over the place, but I love the Airbus stick. Huh. That sucks, man. Have you, uh, have you reached out to Thrustmaster to see if maybe they can get you a replacement yoke? If you're having so much trouble with yours, I know that they're pretty good with their um, uh, with the warranties and stuff. So, <clears throat> people upset to this captain version weren't subscribed five years ago. <laughs> How do you install custom cameras? Uh, depends for which airplane, Matthew. But there are tons of tutorials. Instead of me trying to explain it to you, Matthew, without being able to show you, um, Google or YouTube how to set custom wing views Microsoft Flight Simulator. And there's gonna be hundreds of tutorials out there. Yeah. Have you come across a twitchy Z-axis with the TCA? Yes, I have, Yusuf, I'm, yes. Yeah, apparently they know what it is. It's something to do with one of the wires. It like rubs on something eventually over time. Um, there is a way to fix it. There is a video up online of how to fix it. I'm, I'm not, proficient enough to open up my joystick and figure out what's going on probably could do it but I also it doesn't affect me all that much because I only use the z-axis for my nose wheel so anytime it goes crazy I can kind of counteract it luckily I have rudder pedals so the rudder pedals override anything of the twist axis so yeah <coughs> pardon me gotta run to Trader Joe's smash landing into LaGuardia Matthew thank you for the support today dude have a great day man get some good treats on me Mm, Trader Joe's. I wish we had Trader Joe's up here. He got first time catching live. Wondering if you could recommend a good single engine piston GA airplane for Microsoft. John, welcome to the channel. Hope you're doing well, man. Uh, I do not fly a lot of general aviation aircraft. Chat, would anybody in uh, chat recommend? I know there's, isn't like A2A or something? Don't they have an airplane out? What was that big plane? Not big, but the, the, the GA plane that everybody was going crazy about and they were absolutely in love with. Um, I do have one, but it's the, um, the SR-22 is free. We flew that the other day. That was actually really good. The SR-22, default SR-22 that comes with the sim. Um, the Comanche. Okay, that's the Comanche. That one was good. The default single engine planes are pretty good. Okay. I know that we flew the, the SR-22 and I actually enjoyed it. It was pretty fun to fly. <clears throat> quick little thing as well, so, um, I can't remember, was it the Comanche that everybody was going crazy about? The Just Flight lineup, the Comanche, the DA-42, NG Cows, stuff like that, okay. Carinado has some good ones, okay. Must be the weather, <laughs> maybe, Mark. People be misbehaving. SR-22 might do the trick for me. Can use the side stick from Thrustmaster 2. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, we flew that actually last week, John. So like I said, we had a lot of fun with it, man. I would definitely revisit that airplane. We're going to do... Um, we're going to start doing these community fly-ins more often than not. Uh, I don't want to do one every six months. I want to do one like every month or two. So, yeah. The SC-7108, that's a single piston. <laughs> Just Flight Arrow. What's the one that I have, Lemon? Do you remember the one that I have? I think it's the Arrow as well. I can't remember which one I have, but I have one of the Just Flights. And I like it quite a bit. I think I thought it was the Piper Warrior. 
Can't remember. The SR-71. Yeah, it's a little bit quicker than a single piston. Honestly, Spexio, I haven't flown it in so long. I don't think that I would even... My, my opinion even matters. When I first was flying it, I wasn't a fan of it. I thought it felt weird and it just... Yeah, didn't really work for me. <clears throat> I don't know how much it's been updated. I don't know how much has changed. Um, yeah. I'm not quite sure. The landing challenge was freaking hilarious. Had me uh, and the wife dying the entire time. I mean, it's so good. We need to go back to the Caribbean bomb tech. That's what we need to do. And then we actually need to, like, line people up and have them doing it into, like, St. Bart's or into, like, Saba or something like that. That's always a great time, man. We need to go and do that one again. Definitely. Would you smoke with Austin at the expo? <laughs> I can confirm that Austin does not smoke. The good good, that's for sure. Yeah. SSG 747. Oh yes. Let me rush to download that one. The hot glue they use, some of it comes uh, and looks like it makes a bad connection to the wire. You just open it up and push the wire tight on the hot glue it again. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Uh, hey Cap, random question for you. What's the name of the provider of the FMA for the 737? Is an actual FMS unit. Um, it is a, it's not an actual one out of a real aircraft compulsive sim. There is a link down below in the description. It's always there available for you. Just look for it. I think it says, uh, uh, well here, I'll get you the link. But if you ever want to look at any of the videos, it's down in the link. It says, interested in your very own Boeing CDU. Here is the link. I'll provide it for you right now. Here's a link for the CDU. It is a replica CDU. Um, I love it. I've had mine for a good couple years now. <clears throat> no issues with it. <coughs> plug and play as long as you have the software updated. Plug and play device. Super simple, man. Super easy. Like, super easy. I give up on typing. Keyboard is conspiring on me. I swear it. John, thank you for your support, man. Welcome up into business class. Huge no floaties to you, dude. Thank you for your support. Appreciate you, man. Welcome to the channel. And uh, thank you for your uh, for your support, man. I hope you enjoy your stay here. <clears throat> Custom emoji standing out in chat with that beautiful green name. And, of course, uh, membership milestones, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. She's just bright out there, chat. It's like a super high layer of cloud. Now you're good, Compulsive Sumpat. You are good, man. Almost at cruise altitude, 37,000 feet. I bet you it's going to tell me that our, yeah, I was going to say, optimum was probably 3.5. <clears throat> because of the weight of the aircraft, we definitely probably should have been at 3.50. It's okay. Not like we're going to fall out of the sky or anything. You think their cockpit simulator now? Tried to follow the link to get mine to Cockpit Master. Didn't let me but put my payment information. Had to go to the cockpit simulator to buy interesting I can never keep up with these honestly Stephen. there's so many different like companies that are under the same name that sell the same products I just yeah I don't know uh, John 46 months appreciate you my man this is almost four years incredible John huge enough floaties man thank you for the support dude two more months and you'll be celebrating four years I think you get the diamond you're going to get your diamond uh, maple leaf. Right now you're on platinum, so you're going to get your diamond leaf. Thank you, man. Appreciate you, dude. <clears throat> Not sure if it's still similar, but cloud base about an hour ago. I flew over uh, 1,200 feet. I don't know. I don't remember it being so high. There's like, if you look down, you can see there's like a, a, a layer here. Just a very thin layer of cloud that we're up above. Did you ever get the mini FCU? I did, Alexander. Yeah, I'm using it right now. I, I do enjoy it. I think the build quality could have been better. Um, the front panel, the buttons that you press, the 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 screen, everything everything like that is great quality. The actual like unit itself just feels very cheap and very flimsy. Um, it's it's made out of about paper thin sheet metal, and the design of it is you know very 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 bare basics bare bones, but 
Um, I don't know if I can show you. Can I pick this up and show you? I probably can. Here, let me show you. I'll go to my joystick cam. So, look at it sitting like this, right? So, you see how this is all, like, warped? You see how it's all warped on the top of it and it doesn't, like, match the back? It's because it's literally paper-thin sheet metal. And instead of it, like, going slightly over and then, like, folding the metal over like should have been done, it's all warped. And, and you can see how it's right. And that's not me. This is just regular use, right? Like, I'm not doing anything crazy. Uh, can I pull this and get more? Bear with me here. I don't know if I can show you, like, the back of it. Again, you can see, like, it's kind of warped. See how, like, the back of it, it kind of, like, does waves. It's all, like, warped and stuff like that. So, uh, the build quality could be better. It definitely could be better. Now, as a product, I like it. I enjoy it. Um, I think it's, uh, it is awesome to have the, you know, to be able to, to plug in altitudes and stuff like that. It, it's great. It works. It does everything that it should. But um, the actual unit itself, like, the, the frame of the unit definitely could be better and you can see that's probably where they cheaped out a little bit and um maybe got some of their cost back or something um again this could have happened it, jj absolutely like it could have happened with shipping but again that doesn't stop the fact that it's like literally sheet metal man it's not uh you know i'm, I'm not saying this definitely happened during shipping it 100 percent. but um you know like i said if all they had to do dude was like put it even like a quarter of an inch hang over on the top and then bend it over and fold it to stop that right like it there's there's so many ways that it could have been done but it's the the actual design of the unit is just it's very cheaply made and again that's where they made their money back right so um jay my man six months uh in capped and still enjoying the live streams and always getting a good laugh every stream no floaties. Six months in Jay captain man. and Thank still you, enjoying the live streams and always getting a good laugh every stream. Hashtag mm. no floaties. Thank you, man. I really do appreciate you, dude. Huge no floaties to you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Incredibly kind. I really, truly do appreciate that, man. Are there any cheaper alternatives to the CDU from Cockmaster? Not that I'm aware of. Compu I mean, Compulsive, the only other option really to save you like a quick buck is if you have an iPad or a, an older, um, I mean, just any type of iPad or anything like that, a tablet you can use what's called web FMC and you can give yourself an FMC with a tablet right beside you or hell, I even think you can use it on your phone. If you had a phone, you could just buy something and put your phone right there and use it as that, as an FMC. That would be really the cheapest option as far as actual physical units. I think that this, the Cockpit Master one is probably the best value because of the software that it comes with. You have to remember the software is huge, man. The software being able to make it work with P3D, Xplane, Microsoft, that's the big feature when it comes to these actual physical FMCs is the, the software that ships with it. You know, like you, without software, nothing's going to work properly. So, um, yeah. And then we got Mark. Huge no floaties to you, man. Thank you for your support. I appreciate you. Incredibly kind. Uh, drop in the $28 donation. Huge no floaties, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Incredibly kind. I truly do appreciate it, man. Thanks so much. Just hit it really it would probably do it unless it was very very thin but still yeah well, could have been Big even put theta. a tab on the back could you yeah. talk us through your approach flaps usage as you're doing it smile yes i will do my best usually i do i always say like um as far as like flap speeds and stuff like that man usually i let the aircraft kind of just hang out and, and take care of those um 513 knot ground speed jet by the way oof um yeah uh i, I can definitely let you know Usually at about 15 miles, you're going to be doing flaps one. Help slow down the airplane. You wait for 2,500 feet, and then it's going to be gear down flaps two, almost instantaneously. You want those two things to happen. Gear down, always gear down first, then flaps two, usually. Um, again, all of this changes as well, Mark, because sometimes there's speed restrictions. Sometimes there's, there's you know, the, the controllers are telling you how you should have your you know your speed and if they need to slow down or speed up so there's a lot of variables when it comes to flaps but just like basic coming in flaps um about 15 miles out flaps one bring your speed back 10 miles out seven to ten miles out gear down flaps two uh and then accordingly it's speed so you'll have if you look if you're flying airbus anyways you'll have speed restrictions for flaps so see these little green lines those are like your flap I'll show you when we're descending, but 
Does anyone know what the company message means? Send ADC for five minutes. Yeah, so if you go to here, JJ, you go to the if you go to the AOC, you'll see ADC delay messages. There's certain things that you can do. I don't know where they are, but you can go to you can put in delay codes. I don't know where you find them. You can find codes. And essentially what they are is you're sending it over. So like you would put a delay code of like 05 into time minutes. Let's say you'd have, we're running 20 minutes late. So you'd put 0020, we're 20 minutes late. And then you would send that off. And then that would say like, whatever the code was, the codes are in the bottom right of the homepage of the tablet, are they? Uh, oh. Delay allocation card. Okay, so there you go. So there you go. So there are your codes. So ATC delay, it was an ATC delay. There was a ramp delay, engineering delays, operational delays. So there you go. So all of that information is here. I didn't even know that it was there. There you go. Cool. So that's what it is. If you're ever delayed, you put them, you can put that code in there and then you can send it off. It's just for realism. Right? That's all it is. That's cool. You can even send in, like, your next flight information and stuff as well. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool some of the stuff that they've added and some of the stuff that's always been there that we just never really notice, you know? You have to count for each minute you are delayed, apparently. Yeah. Count my Phoenix keeps yelling retard at me after I land. you know how to fix it? It started after V2. Did you redo your throttle calibration? Your throttle calibration should be, uh, uh, yeah, your throttle, uh, make sure you're redoing your throttle calibration. That should help. Um, let's pull up the weather and see what things are doing here into New York. We do have Vatsim on, I believe. Uh, do we still have New York Center's online on 2532. So we'll contact, we won't contact, but we'll pull them up now. One, two, five, three, two. Um, we've got approach online. We've got tower online. We've got ground online. Man, shit, we're about to be fully staffed up into New York, chat. Ayo. This is going to be fun. Uh, LaGuardia, ADIS information, Foxtrot, winds 100 at 9 knots, 2.5 mile visibility, rain, overcast at 1,200 feet. Uh, 7 degrees, altimeter 29 or 9 or 9 ILS runway 4 approach and use, departing runway 13. Cool. So we're going to grab all that information. We're going to throw that down there. 100 at 9. Uh, top of the sense in 71 miles. We're just going to throw this in now. Uh, 100 at 9, so it's going to be a nice crosswind arrival, 9 knots, definitely going to feel that one. Um, we're going to go with a uh, 7, that 2.5 mile visibility, that's going to be crazy. Uh, 7 degrees, 2 niner, 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 7 degrees, 2 niner, niner, niner. And we'll go to our minimums on the ILS runway 4. Uh, ILS minimums 283. 283. We'll set that into there. Beautiful. Cool. Hey, Cap, I got some close up pictures of yesterday's United 730 Max that slid off the runway. Where can I send them? Uh, just put them in the Discord, man. Other Media Split would be a great place. Everybody would be able to view them. Discord, Other Media. Nice. Now it says ADC received. Thanks. There you go, man. It's a glitch that happens sometimes. If you go to external view and back, it fixes it. Ah, there you go. Miles, I said to go to external view and back. It's a bug. Interesting. Again, I don't know how you guys figure this stuff out and how you guys do this, but... How someone figured out that you have to go to the external view and back. Probably just mashing buttons and it probably stopped. What's frame gen mod? Uh, exclamation point frames in chat, Compulsive Sim. Essentially what it does is instead of only 4,000 series graphics cards being able to use frame gen, it makes it so that 2,000 and 3,000 series cards can also use frame gen. Somebody, whatever, tweaked it, hacked it, somebody did something. Somebody did some stuff and they figured out that 3,000 series cards can also do frame gen. Look at those clouds right there, dude. That is not nice. 
not nice, chat. I'm glad we're above all that right now. Another question, if anyone knows, but IH GSX says I disabled it. Any ideas, anyone? Um, so Miles, I don't, I don't want to call you out on this one. Did you buy and pay for a little legitimate version of IAH? GSX a while ago will not work and will disable itself if it cannot find a key for an airport. Um, if you did, if you did pay for it, launch your, uh, launch your GSX updater with FSDT installer and make sure that you link the sceneries in the launcher. If the scenery is unlinked, it will not, it will act as if it was pirated and GSX won't work at that airport. Yeah. So Miles, like I said, try that alternatively. Try and do that, man. Open up your FSDT installer and make sure that it hasn't unlinked itself. That has happened to me where it's unlinked through an update or something. So make sure you do that. Yeah. Uh, New York Center is calling us on one uh, two five three two five. We'll get that going here. One two five three two five. Um, we'll call up New York. Turn that down here just a little bit. New York Center, good afternoon again. Spirit Wings 313, flight level 370. Spirit Wings 313, New York Center, cross, mark, flight level 190. Mark at flight level 190, Spirit Wings 313. All right, so he wants us at market 13. Yo, good uh, uh, sorry, 19. So we're going to put 19,000 in at mark. Throw that into there. Insert. Good. It's going to bring our top of descent back just slightly. 42 miles. So nothing wrong with that. Good. JetBlue 5795, turn right, right turn, heading 170. I got uh, distracted with the stream and took off way too late. Uh oh. How do you get the range rings in the Phoenix? Uh, they should automatically be there, no? I don't know, you don't do anything. JetBlue 5795, only turn right, heading 170, join the runway 13 localizer. Right to 180 and join the ILS localizer for runway. 13, Jet 5795. Good sir, good afternoon, Continental Continental 392, what's your 15,000? Continental 392, New York, climb and change, level 360. Jet 71 is back. Thank you, United 396, contact Washington. All right, so we're cleared down to 19,000 feet, so we'll bug up 19,000. And we can see here, top of the sense in about 36 miles, so we're almost there. United 396, United Whoever asked about the range ring, go to the fix page in the McDo. Range, oh, sorry, I thought he was talking about, because like in the Boeing, these are your range rings. I thought he was talking about that. Okay, yes, I'll explain it to you because I, I need a little bit of a refresher. So I think what you do is you go to... Uh, how do you do this, chat? What do you do again? You go to flight plan and then you just click on which one do you do? Care 549, leave my airspace. Boston closed. Frequency change. I always forget this. How you do this? You go to flight plan. Oh, that's right. You take the next waypoint. Is it this one? You take this one, and then you go fix info. Where's it? Click on the left on here. Fix info. And then you United can put in like, how does it work? You put in, do I put the airport or do I just put the runway? Do I put KLGA 04? Or how does this work again? Actually maintain one 2000 for now. I'll have higher for you in about 10 miles due to airspace. I don't know if you put, or you just put LaGuardia. No, you can actually select the runway. Delta 2666, contact approach 120.8. Whatever you want the rings around? Yeah, but what, do you take like 04? See, that doesn't work. So is it KLGA 04? New York approach, one two zero. There you go. And then we want a radius. We want to put like five miles. And then you go next page, you do the same thing, KLGA 04. And then you can put like seven miles. Delta 
six nine. And then you go to next page and you do the same thing. KLGA zero four. And we can do ten miles. New York Center rare contact uh, five west of Keating. And then you should three, have seven, zero. The Center maintains flight level three one zero. Rings around it now, and which we do. Morning. See, it's always good to have little refreshers. Cactus twenty two fifty four, say present air speed. Three twenty, cactus twenty two. Now, can you click on any of these? Like, can I click on Mark and just go fix info? No, you can't. It has to be the next. Wait, you can click on any of them, right? And just go to fix info. It doesn't have to be the. You can even click on the top one, right? Fix info. Yeah, okay, good. You can do all of that. Just click on the top one. Gotcha. Hey man, no, you're good, dude. Like I said, it's always good. Chat always refreshes me, too. Reminds me. Always good to know those things. United 396. United 396. New York Center. There is somebody, I think, Lemon. Someone's flying his cactus. Yeah. All right. Top of descent. Nine miles we're cleared down to 19,000 feet. Are you flying on the beta? Uh, no. Nope, I am not. What cartridge? Uh, Galactic Burger. Galactic Runts crossed with Triple Burger. Very interesting. Galactic Burger. United 4176. I maintain oh, wait. Is that the... Yeah, that's not a, probably not a good call sign to use, right? Got wall. Alright, let's start our descent. Three miles out. Seatbelt sign on. Give you a nice little wing view. Listen to these engines spool down, too. Watch when we hit profile. Listen to this pull down. I'm gonna fly Denver to IH. Nice. How do you install the Phoenix 320? Just buy it from the website, man. There she goes. Starting our descent into New York City. On the profile now. Beautiful. And we're set to hit mark at 19,000. See what I mean, chat, about that you, as well? Remember that originally the flight plan had us at mark for 35,000 feet. So you can imagine how even just getting into his airspace, we almost started our descent actually into there. So Always good to read your charts, especially coming into New York when they have all these like... You know, expect. Even as an expect, I would still change that and put that into your flight plan. We're coming up on Milton right now, and then we're going to have Mark at 19,000. Milton. Are the camera views in the Discord? They are, Kelvin, yes. Please read where you have to install them, though. Please read your charts, especially in Indianapolis. A must have. Must have. Good afternoon, New York Center, American 855 at flight level 380. What makes the 320 follow the constraints? Did you manually change the flight level? Uh, yes, Alexander. So if you go to like, let's say Mark was our restriction, if you right click on Mark, you'll see altitude constraints and speed constraints. So you would just change your altitude constraint. You would just add that as a constraint. That's it. Even without charts, you can survive VATSIM. Mm. I don't know, man. Maybe flying into some airports, yes, but flying into any of the major airports, the big airports, nah. You're probably not, man. Probably not. Probably not the best idea. Currently have spinach, feels, blueberry kush. Highly recommend for good nighttime strain. Um, spinach, feels, blueberry. Interesting, okay. I'm not the biggest fan of spinach, John. 
Um, although, you know what? I think they're great as like uh, not wanting to break the bank brand. They've definitely got better. I think when they first came onto the market, they were very E. I think everybody kind of was, you know. You can read everything out from the constraints. Yeah, but again, again, what I was trying to explain, Yusuf, is this is not a constraint. How would you know? This says expect flight level 180. So the aircraft, initially, before I changed it, the aircraft was had us at 36,000 feet crossing mark, which is wrong. So that's what I was trying to say. Is even getting into his airspace, we basically had to start our descent almost right into his airspace. So, Mike, what's up, man? Good to see you, dude. Hoping they make flight moderate winds better in 2024. Six knot of wind is way too exaggerated and should barely feel that in an Airbus. Well, that's what I was just saying, Tom. Um, it's funny that you say that, man. I actually was watching a V1 stream last week and kind of like the same thing, right? He had, I don't know what it was, dude. It was like 12 knots gusting or something like that. Crosswind into... Uh, into Orlando and he ended up like all, literally almost landing off of the runway and he's just like this isn't this isn't how it likes and alternatively I was also, wa also watching a flight deck to sim stream where he was flying into Barcelona and he was also um, he was also uh, mentioning how the real aircraft would not perform an act like that it wouldn't uh, you know with that mild of a crosswind you know, you really only start to feel like big, heavy crosswinds in those airplanes. You don't feel the six knots, the eight knots. Um, yeah. Not familiar about American procedures, but I don't think you can just start descending uh, without telling ETC. Uh, I'm very confused at where our conversation was going, Yusuf, but... Um, yeah, no, normally you don't want to tell ETC that you're going to start descending. Alexander, my man, dropping the 10 Australian dollars. Huge no floaties to Alexander. Thank you for the support, man. I appreciate that, dude. Incredibly kind. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate it, man. Hopefully for FS 2024, the weather engine is fixed. What do you have with the weather engine? I don't have many issues with the weather engine. I actually don't have issues really at all. Um, let's get some engine anti-ice on here. Good. SF, take care, man. See you tomorrow. Uh, dude. We got a fun uh, flight tomorrow, man. Real world jet blue uh, ops. We're going from New York down, down to uh, Nassau, Bermuda. No, not Bermuda. Bermuda? No, not Bermuda. Nassau. Spear wings one seventy two contact approach one two zero point eight. Captain joining you from the kitchen, my Maui. Hey, Ray, what's up, my man? Good to see you, dude. The Bahamas, Here, thank you. There's no uh, lighting currently with Microsoft Weather Engine. There's no lightning. I think they removed it because lightning was just going bananas. Do you remember when there was lightning? New York. It was insane, dude. Roger. I'm going to bring my cost index back down to like a little bit normal. 35. JetBlue 423, New York, Cross Cameron, 11,250 knots, the altimeter 29906. All right, there's 19,000. The aircraft is going to try and descend. It's going to hold 19,000 because that's what we've got plugged in. We'll see if he keeps descending us. 250 knots, Cameron. With you. It's my favorite, man. Cameron, JetBlue 423. Delta 23, reduce speed, 250 knots. 250 over 823. And uh, is it okay if I request a cruise flight level down to 270? Jetway 5795, taxi ramp with me. Taxi to the ramp, uh, Jetway 5795. Right, plus four, we've got our engine anti ice on. <clears throat> Had some lightning thunder going through Rome one time. Hey. I always learn something from your streams. Thanks, Ken. Thanks so much, Alexander. Appreciate you, man. Huge enough photos, too. Thank you, thank you, thank you. LaGuardia ILS approach is spicy. Uh, 132, back with you, requesting flight level change down to 270. Weather in New York City looks spicy. It is today. Yeah. Very, very spicy. 
We're going to go auto brake medium as well for this arrival. We are landing into runway four. Spirit Wing 313, Cross Beauty 10, 10,000, Allentown on Center 2990, greater than one hour old. All right, Beauty for 10,000 and uh, cup on the QDH. Spirit Wing 313. Delta 690, descend and maintain 1 0 10,000. The altimeter 2990. All right, an hour old, he said, but we're just going to go with the uh, LaGuardia QH 2999. Good. Coming through 18,000 feet now. Let's go 2999. Good. Cool. Calm winds in Denver. Nice. Lucky, man. Definitely not smooth winds here today. It's an insane cloud formation. It is. It's a little bit scary. A little bit daunting flying into that. Do we have an update on what the winds are doing? Let's see what the winds are doing. Hello, Cap. Do you have the JFK uh, Newark Teterboro airports in the New York area active too? I don't, Elias. No. So what I've done is for my streams now when I'm flying into New York, what I'm going to do is I'm uninstalling every New York airport that I'm not using. So currently I uninstalled JFK. I uninstalled Teterboro. I uninstalled Newark. The only New York airport I have installed right now is LaGuardia. And performance seems to be much better that way. It's not so stuttery, if you will. I don't think we dipped down below 40, 45 FPS as well out of our departure out of LaGuardia. And there's quite a few airplanes down on the ground, so. Wouldn't be a Captain Canada flight without crazy winds. Exactly. Watch what happens when we fly into the Bahamas tomorrow, too. I guarantee you. Just a thunderstorm will pop up tomorrow. No problem. Should be a setting to deactivate sceneries you're not using to save FPS. I mean, there's a program that you can use, Mike. Uh, it's a very handy, very handy tool. I forget what it's called. I think it's add-on linker, I think is what it's called. Um, I unfortunately just have way too many sceneries to start worrying about that type of shit. Uh, I may start it, if it works for Microsoft 2024 and all of our sceneries do, I may, uh, I may start looking for it there. That's a great tool. I've heard it can help a lot with people that are struggling with performance, people that are struggling with hard drive space and stuff like that. Delta 23, turn left, uh, heading 360. You're using the rudder dampening shortly. feature with your TPRs? I am, Tom. Yeah. I am, I am. And Delta 823, descend and maintain 111,000. And reduce speed uh, 250 knots if you're not already. Yeah, we're at 250 knots and uh, descend to 11,000. Temperature is plus 15. No need for the engine anti ice. Plus 15 out there right now. Good. Speed's rolling back. We should have a 250 constraint yeah, here coming up. It's beauty at 10, which we should have in here as well. We had already set up beauty at 10 with a star, so that's good. Uh, Benny, celebrating 27 months. Huge enough floaties to you, Benny. Thanks for support, my man. Appreciate you, dude. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I've got uh, LaGuardia. LaGuardia Approach plugged in. Do I have LaGuardia Approach? Yes, I do. Okay. 120.8, and then we've got tower frequency as well uh, on 1187. 1187. Just downloaded add on linker. Seems like a solid program. Thank you, Cap. There you go, Cardo. Yeah. I just noticed this livery doesn't have CPDLC installed. Uh, correct. Yeah, there's no thing down here. Clouds are awesome once you get closer to New York City. A few uh, layers. You have 10K. Nice. About to be a 10K as well. ACAP, uh, can you fly to Paro, hardest airport in the world? We've done it a couple times. Easy dream player. We do need to go back. Uh, I actually owe it to Captain Will as well go fly into Paro, so yes, we will do it eventually, at some point. Uh, American 56, 65, New flying Airbus recently, uh, I'm more familiar with the 737. How do you get rid of an altitude constraint on departure, or how would you go past it? Uh, you can always go into open climb, 
So with the Airbus, you have the pull feature, which is give you control, or you have the push feature, which gives the airplane control. So on climb out, if there's a restriction, you would just bug up a higher altitude and pull it out. See how this is like a, that's a pull out, out, and out and in. So you would end up pulling it in. Pushing it in is up arrow, pulling it out is down arrow. You would pull it out, give you control. It's the easiest way that I can describe Airbus for people that don't understand the push-pull features. Pull it out to give you control, pull it in to give the aircraft control. You could do para once the Phoenix 319 American comes 50, out, that'd be a good one. 65, yeah. Skills that maintain that one, would be a good two, one. All right, we're at 10,000 feet, nine, speed's seven, rolling back nine. to 250 knots, good to hear. Uh, can you say that again, American 6666? American 5665, skills that maintain one, two, 12,000. Pull will basically ignore constraints, yeah, once you skills, take control. Uh, 12, yes, 50, correct. Uh, Altimeter is 299 or 4, is it? We've so been updated. Uh, still showing 299 or 9er. Yeah, I'm still showing 299 or 9er. They probably need to update it, but what's the real saying? Uh, yeah, real is still saying 299 or 9er. Unless it's been updated, but remember that the sim. New York approach 120.8. Thanks for ATC, man. Have a great afternoon. Spear Wings uh, 313. Delta um, yeah, remember that the sim is usually about 20 minutes late, also updating the weather, so the you don't necessarily want to change it immediately. Um, just remember that the simulator is running about 15, 20, 30 minutes behind actual real weather, right? So it's not an instant, you know, weather. So you just have to remember that as well. The altitude was at about 3,000. Uh, LaGuardia, where is that? KL. I don't see. Okay, I see LaGuardia Aedis. We have Hotel. All right, cool. LaGuardia Approach, good uh, afternoon. Spirit Wings 313, info Hotel 10,000, beauty. Spirit Wings 313, your approach, good afternoon. Expect the ILS runway 4, LaGuardia Altimeter 2994. Looks like the ILS runway 42994 for uh, Spirit Wings 313. Uh, Moff Jam, I believe he has throat cancer or had throat cancer. He's got something wrong with his throat. He's flown with us before quite a bit, actually. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's what's going on. I think he has like a, a, an issue with his throat. He has his what, larynx, whatever it is, I believe. I don't want to speak for him because I don't know entirely, but I'm sure that's what's going on. He has explained it before. We ever get a 350 in Microsoft? Yes, any build is making a 350. Huh. Is it true or false? Good to see you. Welcome. When do you ever do a flap three landing? Uh, high altitude, actually no, you wouldn't want to do it high altitude, just high winds, John. Any type there's like high gusting winds, head winds and stuff, you wouldn't want to do that. That is windy. Alright, as you can see, we're at 10,000 feet and we still have 65 track miles to run, so... Yeah, pretty crazy. Look at it out there, we're just coming through a layer now sitting in between two layers this is what I love about Microsoft man and, and honestly no other simulator has, has given us cloud visuals the way that this sim has being able to sit in between two cloud layers just incredible man I'm pretty sure the spirit wings in front of us just went missed approach as well so that could be a little bit sketchy if he's going missed so it's like to drag you in yes it does Quality Wings is no more, man. Um, apparently, all the develop all the developers from Quality Wings have just hey, moved over. They've they've down. switched. Some are working for any builds. Some are working for PMDG. Oh, yeah. Heck of a crosswind on that landing. It was fun. Nice, okay, great. Do you have a good visual? What call sign is Cactus? Uh, Cactus was for U.S. Airways, which no longer exists. They were bought by I think American Airlines. I believe bought them. 
Believe it or not, I'm more excited about the Bluebird 7.5 rather than the PMGD 777. I guess it's all about the preference. 100%, man. I, I totally understand that, though, dude. The 7.5 is a cool-ass airplane. Um, visually, performance-wise, it's a beast. So, I, I get it. I get it. What was the number to make the clouds 4K? Uh, it's not the clouds. It's the shadows. You change the shadow resolution. 4096 is 4K. 4096. Flew LaGuardia with 30 minutes ago. You're going to have uh, to wrestle her to get her on the ground, so Airline be on your game. Oh, yeah. We're smashing it in, Bennett. We had a, f a mi what was our last landing chat into Detroit? An absolute greaser. 57 feet per minute. 896 on the G. Come on. Absolute greaser. So I've already got my greaser for the day. We are planting it into LaGuardia. I promise you. Promise, promise. 10,000 feet as well. We can get some landing lights on. She going down. Going to aim for those 1,000 footers and just smack. Plus 9. Could get a little bit of engine anti-ice on here again coming through some of these clouds. Present day American Airlines is U.S. Airways management. There you go. Knew it had something to do with American Airlines. Any more info on the triple seven? None. Seen a few. Uh, seen the new screenshots of the triple seven. Seems okay. Uh, there have been any updates anyone knows about? Uh, which one are we talking about, Davers? There hasn't been a PMDG screenshot of the triple seven. I think in a couple weeks now. Okay, go twenty two fifty four. You're gonna be all right from there. Short hop to Amsterdam yeah, afterwards. Nice. Short hop. Contact 2254. <laughs> Thanks, contact. Tower. Nothing like a you know, six and a half, seven hour flight. 827 Spirit Airlines may have been something to say about that foot per minute. That's not even close the to their standards. Way too low. What happened to quality wings? I thought they went under. Um, so, as I mentioned, uh, the developers have kind of just been dissolved. I know that there's a couple developers that work at PMDG now. There's a couple developers that work at any builds. They've kind of just been dispersed. Uh, quality wings does not exist anymore. As as we were mentioning, they've uh, like there's no there's no copyright on them. You could you could register the name Quality Wings now for flight simulation products. There's no they they lost their their uh, their holding. I want to do SFO to Mexico City, but it's a hike. It's a long one. Yeah. Pen rip before landing. Oh, lots. Lots, lots, lots. Oh, yes, Ray. We got big boys coming. I'm going to say he's going to get a 168. All this talk of some uh, smacking it down, and he'll find a way to almost butter it. Uh, I don't yeah, know. Spirit wings, we'll see. Uh, through we'll see. Three and a half to five. Kind of the, uh, climb. Spirit wings, 688 near departure. Good afternoon. Radar content. Climb and maintain 1010,000. Fly Factor Story, I know it's not everyone's preference, but for the people that are currently using X-Men 11, X-Men 12, it's more info regarding the release date. Yes. I don't know if there's any release date. I know they've been teasing pictures, but... Spirit Wings 313, do you send them in 8,000? 8,000, Spirit Wings 313. All right, so I'm going to open Descent this, because there's no reason. It's got our profile path all weird, so I'm just going to open Descent down to 8,000 feet. That'll be a little bit better. We're back down under these clouds now, and it's plus 10. Get the engine uh, anti-ice off. off. Hell, turn left, heading zero, eight, zero. Would have been nice to have a study level 787 from Microsoft. I think somebody's going to do one, DS. I'm kind of surprised that one hasn't been announced yet. As far as, like, some of the other planes that have been announced, I'm kind of very shocked. Because the default, the default 787 is not very good. Even with the mods, like, they help a little bit, but they're, it's still not very good. So I'm, I'm really surprised that somebody hasn't stepped up and decided to do a 787. Um, that being said, I think that we will get one. Uh, you know? Three thirteen, decent maintain seven thousand. Seven thousand, Spirit Wings three thirteen. PMDG secret project could be. I don't know. 
When is that? When is FS weekend? Next weekend is that weekend party thing in Amsterdam, right? So next weekend in Amsterdam. Aren't they announcing something or are they saving that? Pardon me, there's been so much speculation. Delta 690 decent and maintain 8 thousand. Everybody's got secret Delta projects Delta now and it's Delta. such a such a cock tease, man. Pardon my French. It, it truly is, man. Everybody with these secret projects and shit, like... Just, just tell us what's going on. Tell us what you're doing next. You don't have to have a secret project. Let's go now. 1187 for us. Such a tease, man. Secret project this, secret project that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listad, yes. FS Weekend, that's what it's called, right? FS Weekend. I would love to go. If it's still a thing next year, I'm going to do my best to go. I think that it would be fun. Proceed direct to Benji, join the runway 4 localizer. Proceed direct Benji, we'll join uh, runway 4 localizer, spare wings 313. Alright, direct Benji. Let's go. He gave us 7,000 though, he's got to get us lower, I'm sure they will. You want to know what Dan's secret project is? Oof. It's a tough one. Tough one. Fly by Wire will be showcasing their 380 at FS Weekend. Nice. Cool. Nope. They're saving the secret project for Flight Sim Expo. Okay. Interesting. Are we going to take bets on what it's going to be? I yeah, bet... Uh, I bet you it's something we don't care about. <laughs> How just like I bet you it's some like love affair that they have or something. Who knows, man? I hope it's a 787. It would make sense, right? Seven three, seven four, triple seven. It would make sense. Either a 787 or a, I hope they're not doing a seven five because we're gonna have, you know, I think I missed a call. Sorry, sorry. Was that for three thirteen? No, three wing three thirteen. Benji at her above three. Clear to ILS four. Benji at or above three, clear to LS4. Thanks, Spirit 313. All right, we're going to descend. Um, yeah, I uh, I mean, I'd love a 787. I just hope they're not doing a 75. Hell, even a 72, man, that could be kind of cool. A PMDG 727, no, as long as we have Benji other airplanes coming out. Like, man, that could be cool, dude. But I would much rather a 787, like a modern air, uh, a modern Boeing from them, is what I would much prefer. 76 could be an option as well. That could be cool. I feel like a 787 is just so much more of like a value bang for your buck. I don't know. I don't know. A Concorde. Oh, I hope not. All right, we're descending 1,000 feet per minute. We've got to bleed off some speed here. Getting a little bit of rain on the windshield now. Uh, temperatures are good, plus 11. We don't need to worry about that. I thought FS Labs was doing... I got localizer armed. Lokestar captured. I thought FS Labs was doing a Concorde. Don't we have a Concorde in X-Plane? Uh, sorry, we have one in X-Plane. Do we have a Concorde in Microsoft? can never remember. Let's yeah, arm our approach so, uh, as uh, well. We're about to capture Glide Slope. There's Glide Slope Star as well. Delta Beautiful. Delta Looking good. Search. Oak Star, Glide Slope. Wonderful. Captured. Delta 691, Benji across Benji. We've got tower set up on the second one, 18.7. We are currently 12 miles out. Want a long hauler bad? Should I go with the A300 or wait for the 777? A300's not really a long hauler, Captain Nolan. Um, as much as I would love for it to be, it's, it's not really. I think it originally started out that way, but um, yeah, uh, I would wait probably for the 777 for if you want a proper official long hauler. Still, the A300 is incredible. If you can get both, get both, because that airplane is damn good, man. Damn good. I love that A300 for some cargo, man. We're going to fly the 73 next week and then fly the, the A300 the following week, unless we get a release, may get a release of something that comes out, who knows. The Horizon Latin VFR A321, any good? No, don't support that type of behavior, Kyle. Don't support it, man. There's no way that you should have to buy a payware airplane to then mod it with a with freeware systems to make it flyable. That just doesn't make sense. It should be a free product for the community. 
they should not be selling that and making money off that. It's complete garbage. Complete garbage. All right, nose light on, runway turnoffs on, wing lights are on. Over to tower 18.7, thanks for ATC, spare wings 313. All right, flaps two. We are currently sideways with 34 knot crosswinds. That's not good. Credit Tower, good afternoon. Spirit Wings 313, ILS 4. Spirit Wings 313, LaGuardia Tower, good evening. The wind's 120 at 12 uh, knots, runway 4. Clear land, previous uh, arrivals reporting breaking action as uh, poor. Runway 4, cleared to land, Spirit Wings 313. We recognize that voice. Exclamation point C Max in chat. Pop 3. Exclamation point, C Max in chat. No, I fucked that up. C Max. I've never seen Captain uh, berate a developer like he did Latin VFR for their A320. Uh, no, there's been plenty. There's been plenty. Flaps full. And armed. And armed. Good. And auto brake is set as well. We've been cleared to land. 1,000 uh, feet. Don't see anything yet. I've been getting the runway about 800 feet MSL. A firm will report for you as well. We're uh, just getting some lights now at about a thousand. Captain Sim, yep. Another one. Another Garbo Garbaggio. Garbaggio producto. About 800 feet. We're getting visuals, chat. Maybe just shy of 800. I just saw it passing through 800. That is a 20 knot gusting crosswind, by the way, right now. 500 feet, still nothing. Ah, we got it at 500. Thirsty cams on. My airplane. Enjoy the arrival, oh. friends. Oh shit, we're not doing recording. Uh, recording. Recording. Okay, we're recording. Whew. All right, let's do it. 300. 300. 100 above. 200. 200. Minimum. Continue. Oh boy. Oh boy. Thousand footers, chat. Thousand nice footers. Oh my god. 40, 30, oh, ah. 20, retard. You, you witnessed nothing. Go around. Flaps one. Shit. Tower Swing 313 is going on. Spearwing 313, Roger Flood, runway heading, climb and maintain 3000. Runway heading 3000, Spearwing 313. What the fuck was that? <laughs> Holy shit! I had no control of that airplane, chat. <laughs> I had no control of that airplane. Left heading 300. Left turn 300 zero zero Spirit Wings uh, 313. Spirit Wings 313, Cole, New York, 120.8, we'll talk to you in a few. 120.8, we'll talk to you in a few, Spirit Wings 313. Flaps clean, 300 on the left turn, climbing to 3000. Oh my macaronis, chat. Uh, climb, auto throttles off for some reason. Good. Holy shit. 120.8. I'm going to go speed uh, like 230. Autopilot back on. Bring you guys back up here. <laughs> what was that? Dude, I don't know if I've ever had a... I don't even know what that was, chat. I have no clue what just happened. New York Approach, Spirit Wings 313, heading 300, 3000 on the go around. Spirit Wings 313, New York Approach, uh, radar contact, turn left heading 220, stay in touch. Left turn 220 and uh, looking to go back and shoot the uh, ILS 194. Spirit Wings 313, expect that heading 220, 3000. 220, 3000, thanks, Spirit Wings 313. Okay, I got to do the. Okay, that works. All right, autopilot's going back on. My autopilot was all bugged up. All right, 220 on the heading, 3000 uh, on the altitude. Uh, 
Wow. Uh, America 5821, I don't even know how to explain what just happened, to be honest with you. I, I don't even know how to explain. It's like I lost everything on the aircraft. Everything was, like, incredibly delayed. And then when I was trying to... F it just was nosing down, nosing down. It's almost felt like my trim got stuck. That's the best way that I can describe the feeling of what just happened. I have no clue. I've never had the airplane feel like that, man. Like, that was fucking crazy. Like, I had no control over that. No control. Zero control. Like, the... the it literally felt like I was, like, the wings were just going like this. Literally felt like I was falling out of the sky. I was insane. I don't know if I've ever felt that before, like, especially with this airplane. Uh, and there's really no need. It, it's supposed to be, like, nine knot crosswind. I don't know. It was crazy, dude. If we have to go around again, we're going to shoot runway 1-3, because the winds are blowing right down the runway for 1-3. Um, he would probably give me 1-3 if we, if we requested it. I think there's an ILS into runway 1-3, so they might give us that. There is an ILS into run 3. I wonder if we can request that. New York Approach, uh, Spirit Wings 313. What are the chances we can, uh, get an ILS 1-3 for the winds? Uh, Spirit Wings 313, uh, to make a couple phone calls. Give me one sec here. Hey, firm, thanks. Spirit Wings 313. Let's see what he does here. Let's see if this is possible. Because, uh... We got the replay. We'll be able to watch the replay. That's the best part about that. We're going to be able to see exactly what happened. Um, we do have the replay. So we'll be able to watch the replay and see what happened. So, How many go-arounds are we fueled for? Not very many. That's why I just requested... We're already kind of sitting at mins. Um, I, uh, that's why I requested runway 1-3 as a little bit of a change-up. We'll see how that goes. Yo, Max, he wants 1-3. Should we give it to him? Nah. Fuck him. Uh, not a problem. Turn right hitting 270, and that's back to the ILS runway 13 approach. We'll turn right 270. Thanks so much. We'll expect vectors for the uh, runway 13 approach. Spear wings 313. <laughs> Max, like, no, 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 no. He ain't allowed. He ain't allowed. We ain't doing that, dude. <laughs> All right. Uh, where are we? LaGuardia. Why can't I do a departure? No. How do I have... To... Don't I have to go back to a NITREF? 21, turn your descent and maintain 7,000, speed 210 knots. Descent and maintain 7,000, speed 210 Do you actually have to redo this in an Airbus? I think you do, right? And then go here and go to arrivals. I think this is the way that you do that. ILS 13, no star. Uh, approach via, no via. Insert. Okay, and then that should take us to pay me. That was called a real dead micro burst. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Right turn 360, Spirit Wings uh, 313. JJ, my man, thank you for the five boats, dude. Appreciate you. I don't know what that was. We ain't ruling anything out, but that was gnarly. Like I said, I haven't felt an airplane do that, I don't think ever. I don't even know how to deal with situations like that. That was insane. Um, how do I clear that? Do I just clear that out? Okay, that's how I do that. That's how I do that. And then that's how I do okay, that. Three thirteen, turn right heading 040. Right turn 040, Spirit Wings 313. Alright, 040. American 58, and I'm going to slow us down here, 210. Good. And we're going to go KLGA-13, 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 10, okay, it's going to give us radar vectors back. I can already see what he's doing here. I mean, Spirit Airlines, so in fact, might pass the line check with them. <laughs> yeah, can you share your real turb cat settings? It's set to default, Diego. Default, man. Spirit Wing 313, turn right heading 060, just to maintain 2000. 060, 2000, Spirit Wings 313. 
Zero six zero two thousand. Four eight nine. We'll go Mike open Alpha, descent. Runway one six. Taxi via Charlie and Lima. Cross runway one one. Man, that runway was one, six, via Charlie and Lima, crazy. Crossing runway one one. Port nine. Did we even get a? Did a landing rate pop up for that one? It didn't even get a landing rate, which makes me believe that it was the tail that hit. Not even the. I don't even. I don't even know, dude. NTSB and FFA wants a copy of the playback video. That's why we're on a simulator, my man. <laughs> don't gotta worry about that. Don't got it. Airway 313, 8 miles speed, turn right heading uh, 100. Just going to maintain 2000 until established on the local object. Clear ILS, runway 13 approach. Right turn 100, maintain 2000 until established cleared uh, ILS, runway 13 approach. Spirit wing 313. American okay. 58, 21, Auto brake. Ground spoilers. Flaps 1. Gear. Speed. One thirty in on the VAP. Okay, localizer armed. Good. Um, let's go flaps two, and we're going to maintain one hundred and eighty knots for now. All the lights are on, so we're still good up there. And our new minimums for runway 13 is 212. 212. Into our barrel minimums. Good. Cool. That is all set. That is all checked. There is Loke Star captured. Beautiful. 10 miles. We'll go approach. Speed. I shouldn't have put gear down. I don't know why I put gear down. Just the altitude. We were really low. And all is set there. All is good there. All right. We're just waiting for Glide Slope, and then it'll be over Tower 18.7. Last time you've had some conditions in GA was uh, Australia months ago. This is, uh, yeah, pretty gnarly, man. Pretty, pretty gnarly. 2994 with the updated uh, Q&H as well. Thanks, Bear Wing 313. Contact Lagordia Tower, 118.7. Good day. 187, thanks for ATC and thanks for the accommodation for uh, Spirit Wings 313, man. Score. Alright, cool. 187. Get this done. We should have gone around beforehand. That's the problem. I was trying to get it into go around, but it it literally felt like I like I was in like a flat spin. That's literally what it felt like. I had zero control of the aircraft. I I don't it felt like if I didn't move the side stick, we were just gonna flip over. That's honestly what it felt like to me with the controls. It was very odd. I've never felt that in a desktop simulator. If that if that makes any sense. I know it's hard to explain. It's probably even harder to understand, but that's that's what it felt. It felt like I was in a flat spin, like I actually wasn't moving forward. I had no control. It felt like I was stalling out of the sky. I guess that's the best way that I can describe it. I don't know. It was super weird. You can like you could tell by the way the wings were moving, man. We were just like oscillating like this, and I wasn't. There was no movements and stuff. It was pff, wild, man. Tower, hello again. Spear wings three thirteen. ILS one three. Spear wings three thirteen. The Guardian Tower, hello again. Wind one two zero twelve knots. Runway one three. Clear to land. One three. Clear to land. Spear wings three thirteen. All right. Flaps are full. We're currently sitting five miles out, passing through sixteen hundred feet. Does Vatsim ever close airports due to weather? No. No. That's why they're in a simulator, man. That's why it's kind of just fun to do these types of things, right? It's all in fun, man. Round two. Yeah, but at least we're, we actually have, like, a proper, like, headwind now. Look, like, see what I mean? Like, that's actually a proper headwind. So we should have much better luck at this time. Power, good afternoon, Not American falling out of the sky. Yeah. American 5821, the right, all of our lights are on. We're looking great. One, uh, one, we're going to want to vacate to the, one, three, the well. one, right. One thousand. And we'll see. Oh, wait, Hopefully we hit uh, Lima or Mike. Uh, yeah, we're thousand feet. Joystick cam's going back on. Enjoy, enjoy the arrival, friends. We are recording already, so no need to record. Winds are blowing right down the runway. Should be able to handle this a little bit better, chat. 
one would think, one would hope anyways. <laughs> My airplane, enjoy the arrival, friends, for the second time. Landing checklist, gear down, three green, ECAN memo showing no blue, we're cleared to land from ATC. Let's have some fun here, chat. Gentlemen, welcome down to LaGuardia. I don't know, man. Not very pleased with that one, to be honest with you. Right there on Mike, right on Bravo, short of uh, four at the Papa. Right on Mike, right on Bravo, we'll hold short four on Papa. Um, Spirit Wings 313. All right. Not the best chat, if I'm being honest with you. Mike, over to Bravo. Definitely not a hard landing, but not a very good landing. Kind of all over the place, man, to be honest with you. I don't know. I don't know if it's just like New York struggling to land here, if it has to do with the weather. Um, I don't know. Just weird. Ground spoilers and flaps clean. Um, yeah, I, 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 I think it's just my struggle with flying this airplane. Uh, right now with, with the new flight model and stuff, getting used to it. Uh, we'll contact ground 1217. Thanks for ATC, Max. You have a great day, dude. Take off. Take care. All right. Over to ground 1217. Um, landing lights are off. Nose light is taxi. Runway turn off off. Strobe lights off. Wing lights off. AP master start switch is on. Good. I also, like I said, for me, um, I'm going to do this right now. I know I shouldn't stop, but I, I got to do this because I, I think that this is part of the problem too, is the... Uh, the dead zone that I have on these, which they suggested using. Um, I got to put that to like two. I, I think that that's what's causing a lot of my problems with like the crosswind and stuff like that. Um, I'm going to do that. They say dead zone of minus nine or eight or whatever I had it set to. So, we'll see how that goes. All right, cool. Bravo. Papa, we're holding short of runway four at Papa. Bravo, Papa. Got a Hellcap, see you, uh, and thanks for another great stream. Uh, Captain Nolan, take care, man. Hopefully I'll see you tomorrow, dude. Some more fun flights planned for tomorrow. What it would have looked like in X-Plane 12. Um, I don't know, man. I'm sure there's lots of people that stream X-Plane 12, so you can probably go check that out. Uh, let's go ahead and spool up the EPU. Live three miles away from LaGuardia and the weather really does suck right now, but it's a good uh, landing. It was okay. It was okay. Well, it wasn't our best, wasn't our worst, that's for sure. Uh, again, a little bit too floaty and kind of just all over the place. I, I, I feel like I really have the flight model locked in and then I do a flight and I'm just like, I don't... <laughs> It, it's it's still very much to get used to when it comes to this flight model and the way that this aircraft flies, especially after this last update. Um, 
but uh, but yeah, not our worst, not our best. It's fine. Something's wrong with the sim. You shouldn't have full rudder deflection just to stay on center line. Correct, Adam. Yes, I, I agree with that 100%. Uh, there's definitely, like I said, man, the crosswind components and stuff like that right now, it, they feel Flat just a, a little bit crazy. Um, so, yeah, I totally get it. The winds were also kind of like all over the place, man. Can't wait for field there, LaGuardia field there uh, is not, sorry, can't wait for MK Studios, LaGuardia field there is not good. Yeah, it's not. It's not. And if you're going to be having a New York airport, it's got to be, you know. Ground Hello, Spare Wings 313, short of uh, Runway 4 and Papa. Spare Wings 313, LaGuardia ground. Spare Wings 313, cross runway 1 tree at Papa, left turn Alpha. Across one way, uh, four, uh, sorry, one three at, uh, pop on, we'll, uh, taxi and terminal by Alpha, Spring 313. It's Alpha, Alpha, sorry about that. Alpha, Alpha, thanks. Alright, APU bleed is on, good. Man, I didn't realize how late it is. I have to go for a dinner. We gotta hurry up and get in here, Jeff. We got to hurry up and get in here. Here's Alpha Alpha. Back from Trader Joe's, made sure to get lots of snacks. Also found Biscoff inspired cookies with cookie at Crumble. Ooh. That's nice. That's badass. Did you disable JFK in Newark? I did. Yes. I did. I did. My only concern is with the MK Studios LaGuardia would be the performance, man. That would be the big thing that I would be most concerned about. What is the performance going to be like in those airports? Um, MK Studios is usually a little bit heavier on the performance. So what's that going to mean for, like, already struggling with performance into New York? You know what I mean? That's the only thing that would concern me, to be honest with you. That's it. Um, Terminal A is where we're going. GSX, is that going to even show me in here? Terminal A, I got Gates A, short, I guess it would be. Uh, we'll go Alpha 5, no. And Swiss Port, good. And Alpha 5 should be right on the corner there for us. Cool. Sweet. Good one as always. Thanks so much for the stream. See you next time. Take care. Sit skis. Good to see you, my friend, and uh, hopefully I'll catch you tomorrow. Tomorrow's stream is going to be very cool. Tomorrow should be fun, man. Yeah, JetBlue down to the Bahamas. Uh, we'll also take a brand new uh, look, sorry, at the uh, freshly brand new updated um, JFK scenery, which should have massive performance increases as well. So that should be cool. Stand five, and we'll just, uh, we're going to leave everything turned on. We're just going to get our replay going, and we'll watch the go-around, and then we'll watch the subsequent uh, arrival back here into New York LaGuardia. Alrighty, beautiful, good, park break is on, great. Uh, I'm just gonna, like I said, we're just gonna get everything ready for the replay, so we're gonna get all the lights turned back on. Good, lights on, lights on, lights on, good. That's good. Scone, what's up, man? You're very interested in invasion. <laughs> I think you mean aviation. <laughs> Nonetheless, welcome, hello. Um, all right, cool, let's hit the play button. The go around is going to be pretty quick, so let's go here. Let's see what the go around look like on the outside. Um, I almost want to like go to like a different view. All right, there's us coming in, and this is right here is where I start to struggle. And it honestly felt like I just didn't have control of the airplane. It's like almost dive bombing right now and dipping the wing, like I'm literally stalling. Definitely tail struck it. Hold on, let me bring that back here for a second. Definitely tail struck that. I'm almost positive that that was a tail strike. But you see what I mean? Like it literally felt like I was losing control of the airplane. I'm pretty sure that's a tail strike. Oh, 
Oh, actually, we just avoided a tail strike. Just avoided. I don't know how we avoid that tail strike, but we just avoided that tail strike. Let's watch that again. Uh, this one. Go right, right down here. Watch it from here. Yeah, that was... Uh, I, I don't know, man. Like, just avoided. But you see what I mean? That the airplane... It, it, it lost everything. I don't think that that was anything that I was doing on my controls. It literally felt like the aircraft was stalling and sputtering and losing. You, you see it, like, instantly. It's right here. It starts to go nose down, and then it starts like I'm losing all control of the airplane. And then smack down into the runway. Very lucky no tail strike. And then back up. Gear goes up, and we're in the go-around. And then we come back around. That was fucking crazy, dude. Like, actually crazy. And then we end up coming back all the way around. And then we end up coming in for the arrival. Um, oh, we're already down on the ground. We need to back this up. All right, right about there. And then here's the arrival back in, the regular arrival. Crazy, man. Absolutely crazy. All right, friends, I have to run. Seriously, I, I didn't mean to. I didn't realize that today's stream had already gone this long. So uh, that was weird. Very, very, very weird. Um, I think we did okay. Again, I forgot to put flaps up before putting gear up. That's the really only thing in the go around. I always think to shove the gear up so like you can gain speed, but it should be flaps up to position one or two, then gear up. Um, but yeah, that was really, really weird. Even on this landing, the way that the aircraft felt, it didn't feel normal. It felt really weird. I don't know if it's because of the higher winds. I'm not quite sure, but anyways, I'm not going to lose sleep over it. I still think it was, I, th I think it's cool, the fact that we get to, to kind of see those approaches. Not uh, not every day we have uh, these weird-ass approaches with this crazy-ass wind. Again, this approach felt really good, just uh, flared it just a little bit too early. And then into the ground, and I don't know what happens here after the ground. Full right rudder deflection, but the aircraft is going to the left. I don't, I, I can't, I can't pinpoint it, just very weird in general just a very weird approach and and flight but uh, anyways i wish i had more time to hang out friends i will leave you with some epic wing views i know we can't see much hopefully tomorrow we can see a little bit more on our departure out of um jfk which we're planning to do tomorrow if you do want to fly around uh we are going to be doing jfk down to um nassau the bahamas so that's gonna be a fun day of flying and uh, we will be on VATSIM. so if anybody wants to join please do join thank you very much mods donators and sponsors for everything that you do for the channel without you guys here none of this would be possible so seriously thank you all for the support truly do appreciate it that was a fun one man i mean not always we get crazy ass weather like that so uh really cool really interesting i wish i had paid more attention to what the winds were doing um if somebody wants to i may end up rewinding that and just seeing if the winds were doing anything crazy on short final there that caused the aircraft to feel like it was stalling or if it was on me not adding enough power maybe the engines were i, I don't know dude but uh, anyways thanks for tuning in today as promised we had one great arrival into detroit and one sketchy ass arrival into laguardia friends have yourselves a wonderful saturday evening look forward to seeing you guys all tomorrow for a flight down to nassau with jet blue happy landings my friends see you